PKA 647 with our guest, Harley Taylor. This episode of PKA brought to you by Lock and Load, Blue Chew, and of course, RealDBG.com. Bunch of wonderful sponsors. You probably already know them. Harley joining us from the top of Big Ben. Mm. Thank you so much for taking the <laughs> Classy up there. It is. Yeah, bro, I'm out here in England, man. I just got my dick sucked by the brand new king. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was no. like, it's literally a crime. Harley, your sound yeah. quality is terrible. He's like, that's just <laughs> the crime. bell. It happens every hour. <laughs> Can uh, you not say that the, in England? That's the brand new king sucking me off. Boy. careful no, have, that's like they have strict rules there about i don't think you can say like fuck the can you say fuck the king yeah no you, you it's can't. the same as in germany when uh with the thing with uh displaying swastikas they'll lock you up and remember yeah, we're when, going there uh, fast this time our boy had his dog <laughs> so throwing the, the, the it's a new record up. Do, do the royal family have sex outside of just family members i think there's a incest well, only course. rule of course. But we got the Nazis. I can't believe we got the Nazis in 10 seconds this Gonna time. lose that. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that was the We're whole controversy with the uh, what, what was that um the 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 lady that uh the prince married, that brown girl. Meghan Markle? Is that her name? Yeah. I think. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I that was the even, whole thing, right? <clears throat> you, didn't, you didn't realize that she was not white. Right. Yeah. And um, well, I've known for a while because I read it, but I mm. she identifies as Italian to me. <laughs> no. projects, I tell you what, my radar yeah. went off immediately. I, Did I, could, you? I could, yeah, I could sense misogyny. Yeah. I, you <laughs> know, I don't want to be, I don't want to be that guy. Mm-hmm. But I, I, I feel like when you say not white, it's mm-hmm. like one thing. But when you say not white. It sounds. It just hits in a particular way. Yeah. <laughs> it's not hard H. It's mint. Not quiet. She that's called, she a, not that's called a dog whistle. <laughs> it's also like well anyone, done, anyone who's been out in the sun at all in the last thirty days, standing next to the royal family, is going to look very ethnic. Like even mm. in England, they're the pastiest people. They hate sun. The small amount they get in England, they they despise it. Let me ask you an honest question: Has your opinion of uh, England diminished? Would you say in the last five to ten years? Do you think Hugely. less of them as a nation? Hugely. Like, like honestly, because I because I saw recently a poll of Englishmen, um, and they were like, "Yeah, we feel like our our country is diminished in the last five years. We are worse off than not just worse off, but like we're a we're less powerful, less prestigious. We've yeah. we're diminished. I Why? feel like they're kind of just our little." like orderly we they do whatever we tell them to do no, they don't do anything yeah. without our approval like like the but u.s just kind of owns your them. your your country too if you ask people they're gonna be like oh hell yeah this country's in the shit or not we got yeah, boys but, being born but they don't know if they're boys <laughs> <laughs> this country's fucked up That's so and true, you go to Can- if you go to canada they're gonna be like Countries run by Fidel Castro's illegitimate son, and they're taking our freedom. Fucking place is <laughs> fucked up. People I mean, if like America that. is strong or weak based on their political affiliation. Three years ago, the Democrats would have said this whole thing's in the shitter. It's going terribly. Wage gap or some complaint they'd whip up. Uh, now, like unemployment's the lowest it's been since like eighteen years or something insane like that. And. Uh, uh, but Republicans are still going to be like the economy's in the crap or everything's terrible. Um, and then the, and the inverse is true. They would just find a thing to complain about Trump. Yeah, the economy is bad. Uh, the, right the one that bothers See? me is crime. <laughs> the yeah. way that, well, the economy is bad. It's, it, Why yeah. is it bad? I, it's it's the corporate profits being at records, the enormous, uh, the very low unemployment, the real wages rising. What, why no, is real wages are not rising. Yeah, the consumer are. price index is going up. <laughs> Food, fuel, all these things are more I expensive than they were. A couple years out of gate, the, uh, would be the answer to this question. <laughs> the, uh, right? the, 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 the price, let's see, unemployment rate, average 572, reaching an all-time high. And it's fucking, oh, this may of 1953 that didn't really answer the question <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least catch up to reagan's time <laughs> i'm sorry zach Look, posted it here and i didn't really scan let's it, just but it all talked admit about... that the, oh, oh, the, I said 18 the years. most people would agree that things aren't going great right now with i i i, yes. I think i know the unemployment numbers are uh are what they are but i think a lot of people say that that's a lot of people working multiple jobs to try mm-hmm. to you know keep things together and yeah, um, I don't know. I, I, Most people's to principal me the, the world concern right now is economic. Like, You're talking about like as far as dollar and maybe moving yeah. to another. I mean, as far as what people's like time. stated concern is in the voter base, it's economic. It's 
and I'm not blaming Biden. I, I don't want do this to like just, slide over yeah. into like. Oh, uh, so who you blaming, Kyle? Who are you blaming about the financial You know who I'm fucking blaming. I, yeah, I, <laughs> you know who I'm blaming. I know. Right? Just, just oh, now, say it. now I know who he's blaming. Um, <laughs> but uh, but all that aside, like, do we want to talk about Trump at the at that town hall because that was sure. ridiculous? I didn't watch any. That was fill me didn't? in. Didn't not a lot of lick. Okay, so Trump was found civilly liable for the sexual assault and uh, the defamation against that uh, that that journalist, Jean Carroll, um, maybe. Yeah, and he was found innocent of of penetrating her, raping her, or whatever. And they made him pay a sum of something like five million dollars combined. He's appealing between the for, yes. Yeah, um, and who knows where that goes. But the next day, and Trump Trump was like, I'm going on CNN tonight on his truth fucking mobile, whatever the fuck. He's like, I'm going on CNN tonight. Might go terribly for me, might go terribly for them. We'll see. But, hey, they made, it, they, they made me an offer I couldn't refuse. So here we go. <laughs> I would love to know what they paid Trump to go out there and – in front of a crowd that was oh, registered, they paid him. I know they paid him. They go out there in front of a crowd of registered moderates and registered Republicans and put on a fucking show. He bulldozed that moderator. What she did the best she could. She'd be like, "No, no, no, you're lying. That's a mis. That's this there were no that. moderates, by the way. They were all Trump leading. Uh, Trump leading moderates. The lady interviewing and... him. I'm the so moderator. Sorry. I was talking about the crowd. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh no, no. The there crowd was, nobody was packed alike. full of Trump sycophants. Again, registered New Hampshire Republicans and moderates made up the crowd. They made and sure not to have any independents. They were Trump-leaning independents and Trump voters. It's important because I, I know this. this I'd love to. I know. I'd, I'd love to see that because I, I wanted to see the makeup of the crowd more thoroughly. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter though because of how it plays on TV and the planet because they played it and they Trump was getting laughs, cheers, and at one point hmm. she was trying to give him some shit and he was like. You're a very nasty person. You're just a nasty person. And they're like, yeah, <laughs> it's like it's she's she thought that she was going to be there putting the fucking bright lights on Trump. And suddenly she was in hostile territory. Somehow the first question of the night was about January uh, 6th. So mm -hmm. I saw this really cool clip where, again, this was definitely um, registered. um independents and and republicans that made up the uh the post debate like interview people you're like mm -hmm. you just watched the debate what did you oh, take the focus from this group okay yeah yeah, yeah. And they asked together like how did you feel that he stuck to his lies about um you know the last election how do you how do you feel that he's you know still talking about that and he's like well y'all asked him the question that was the first question of the night and and he's like yeah well we wanted to know about it that was his reply. And it was it it, it it came off really well for Trump. It was I think it felt like it was a huge huh. win for Trump. Um, of course, everyone on the left and the far left is screaming foul, and they're not just turning on Trump. Now they hate CNN. Now CNN's the bad guy. They hate too. CNN. Oh, oh the they yeah, hate yeah. CNN, oh. CNN fell off. That's that's the word. That's CNN the word. notorious. That's what my, nice that's my boys. That, that's what all my homies are CNN saying has now. CNN. CNN has yeah. a yeah, new management. Off. Like it's mm. off. Nah, CNN. CNN, CNN, CNN again. Now. It's great. So CNN's been saying for a while <laughs> they wanted to be more straight news, just the facts, right? Because they were kind of drifting into MSNBC territory during the Trump presidency. Yep. And they have a new billionaire MAGA owner now. And they're a fire gun. That's what they call him. Um, <laughs> and you, you, wait, you said CNN has a new billionaire MAGA owner? Yeah. And Ooh, that's what name? I keep reading. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I, I forget who it is, it, but, but it's a new around. guy. He's a libertarian. And he's, yeah, he's like really like shifted what's going on there. And like, yeah. so, so they fired uh, Don yeah. Lemon. They fired Brian Stelter. So you, they fired a bunch of the most left leaning people at CNN. And, and the lowest rated. Brian Stelter and Don Lemon had terrible ratings. Okay. They weren't. And uh, the new CEO, Chris Like. I'm not sure if that's his name or not. And uh, um, they're, so they're trying to be a little more straight news. And they held pretty much a rally for Trump on, on the air. The, they yeah. packed the audience full of Trump sycophants. They laughed at every line he made. They, laughed, they supported Me him all the way. They didn't like the uh, the moderator. And now yeah, people feel you know like what? CNN did a bad thing to air his lies. I'd be interested to see like, yeah. CNN's rating change in shows over the past year or so. Because this just 
This seems like a, a ratings the, grab to try yeah, and the, like entice people. Like, hey, uh, hurry up, uh, watch CNN. We need more people to watch our pharmaceutical ads. Look, uh, we're going to show Trump looking good. Like, granted, like I, didn't watch, I, didn't, I did not watch one second of this, but mm -hmm. I would say it all has to do with ratings. To, dude, it's great. Um, it's, mm -hmm. it, there's montages of it with air horns. Okay, like, like they, 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 they asked him, the audience asked questions, too. And this chubby white chick was like, asked him something about at gas prices and I don't know, mini mini minivan mom or some shit. And he's like, drill, baby, drill. You know what I mean by that, don't you? <laughs> and the cut, so the audience starts whooping like 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 Trump was sexy or something. And then uh, later on, um, I, I wish I knew that lady's name. She wasn't the 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 one who was interrogating him. I'll say, um, <laughs> she she was. They were arguing how long after the riots or something on January 6th that he asked them to stop or something. She's like, you waited five hours or something. He's like, no, 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 I'm going to have to whip it out. And he reaches in his jacket and he pulls out um, like transcripts of his tweets to, to show, I guess the timeline of when he tweeted, I don't give a shit about any of that, but just the double entendre kind of like silly showmanship of, well, I'm going to have to whip it out on her <laughs> right after Wait, it was a piece of paper. It was a whole roll of transcripts of tweets, oh. like printed out. Bro, he like, kills that. He's had documents before. I've seen him pulled out folders, and it's actually the funniest bit. <laughs> it's like actually something I think he took from WWE. People used to take out like documents and be like, "What I got right here," and no one ever gets to look through those. But he's, remember that time when he did that conference? He had all those papers in front of him and like binders and folders, and you're like, people are like, "He's got the information." For this guy, he's got the fucking info. What I like, loves what I like about him. <laughs> I was on mushrooms photo. once. You were on mushrooms once. Okay. Uh, did you, Do you know your I camera went know. out, Harley? Are you still here? Nope. Okay. We'll hear from them. They well, have bad internet. I got a FaceTime randomly. Sorry. Oh, okay. Oh. Somebody just who randomly FaceTimes. This guy yeah. I paid a jerk off on FaceTime. But anyways, continue. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> I get that. <laughs> No, uh, yeah, so Trump held a rally on CNN. Uh, he did. I got If you're a Republican, I got to say it went really well for him. Um, and if you're a Democrat, you're mad at CNN because mm, it's like they betrayed them. Huh. That's they should have watched more. They'll actually change. That's the like program. being mad at a YouTuber because he changes formats. You should have watched more Minecraft, dude. You wanted you're... Minecraft. You should have watched more. Oh, you don't like the format shifting over? Oh, you don't. Oh, oh. you don't like me. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. He doesn't say the N word anymore. They, and he yeah. does charity <laughs> boxing. I'm sorry. Kyle's right. <laughs> Kyle's right. The reason they're making that change is not because like ratings were high and things were successful. CNN was kind of failing. Yeah, I mean, like cable news is not going to be around forever. Like they're already getting blown the fuck out by the internet. Like if I. I I know Tucker was talking about like doing something on Twitter. He's doing on Twitter, like that. yeah, Did that's what I've been hearing. And if if that like, like does what people think it will do, which is blow out the total numbers on like traditional media shows, if it does, it's gonna that, do and, crazy. And with, it's with gonna any do crazy sort of consistency. Stuff. That's like, one of the biggest that tweets could I've ever seen. Really show value, but it's also totally different because his his million his market is what he has to hope is that. Twitter's big enough now that his core market of boomers actually switches over to it because a lot of the people who watch Fox News are old and they're not going to know how to switch over to a new medium. They're just going to go to a different guy on the same. Dude, this is true. This is 100% true. I, can I pause? Your grandparents don't do I, I just don't like the phrasing. Like they don't know how to change the channel. No. Shit. What I actually see it as is brand loyalty gets deeply ingrained in old people use head and shoulders for 35 mm -hmm. years you're gonna have a tough sell getting them on lever, sell some blue. whatever the fuck sure sell some blue. <laughs> um good at that <laughs> thanks yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they just get set in their ways and it's very hard to get them to change i don't know that cnn is going to pry anyone off of fox even if they get fucking tucker well, oh maybe no tucker. I, I don't think anyone who watches fox is going to switch to cnn or vice versa i, I was meaning the medium itself I'll watch like more. i don't i don't think a traditional oh, tv oh. viewer is uh, who, especially one in their 70s is going to pivot to online as their premium choice of media they might watch fucking greg gutfeld and go well tucker's not on tv no more like and that's mm -hmm like the end for them. But if he I manages like to field. retain a huge amount of his audience, that's the oh. only other guy at, at Fox I know. I'm and sorry, I didn't he's follow. Good. I thought you said they don't know how to change the channel to CNN. And I'm like, well, oh, no, no, that. they just they, don't they, know they, how they're to. They're really do good that. at changing channels. They probably do it all the time. But yeah. no, they don't know how to go to Twitter and find Tucker's show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they legit Yeah, the same oh, way, like, like even us now, like I know Harley's all over TikTok. 
None of the three of us have TikTok. It's like the first social media that's come out that's been like, you know, not for me. Like, think I about like someone who's either. 78 Why years old. Why are you doxing me as the gayest guy here right now? Cabby, you just doxed me as the gayest well, you guy. Well, long ago. I don't think. Oh, you know, you can't see that. You turned your it's head. It's just me it. on, all up on TikTok. How'd you know I was doing dances on TikTok? Did I talk about that last time I was here? You showed us your, your chub dance where you gave your, <laughs> oh, where you yeah, flopped yourself. It. <laughs> I slapped it around a little bit. I said I was going to, oh yeah, what he said dick. Dude, times. I got to say, I have never, I've never <laughs> had such a spike of respect toward Harley than when he just seamlessly went, yeah, I fluffed myself for that. I had to. <laughs> it I'll looked, it it looked it terrible before I did it, so I had to fluff it. <laughs> yeah, it was pathetic. It was Conor pathetic. McGregor does that. It's pro move. Yeah, don't, you, yeah he went a little too hard time. though. You don't want it standing straight out like that. <laughs> you know what else I think, it is? I right. think Conor McGregor is also taking a lot of Cialis for vascularity because you, you pop so well. That makes sense. And so he gets out there in those tight ass shorts. Mm hmm. I think stage fright would make my dick shrink up just from being out there, but he thrives on that shit. So he, pro he he's up there. Yeah. And he's like, oh, that these these maybe he's able to get turned on by those sexy ladies over there. But but sometimes, unfortunately, you get the visual of him just staring at another shirtless man, and he's at three quarters mast, and he's wearing mm -hmm. like some European style undies or something, and and it, dude's dong. I mean, I mean, congrats, but I don't need to see all that. Yeah, it takes an enormous you know, amount of energy. It's too you know much. what I did today? You know what I did today? What'd you do? I hope it has to do with underwear. Flopping. You see Wings of Redemption? <laughs> Close. Yeah. <laughs> you saw. Wings I went. Redemption? I went. I went to the press conference, and I saw Jordy in person. Never met him in real life. Ooh. You know, <laughs> if I had known that you were going to be there today, I'd have sent you five hundred dollars to have you dress up as an old timey whaler. And to be out in the crowd with a harpoon and go, you're she blown! I'm like, so like, excited in for a camera. second. I was like, if I knew you were going to be there, I was going to be right there with you. Oh, but no. instead, you're like, I was going to pay it. To that I'm, a, I'm a felon. Um, but <laughs> I, I always no, forget telling. about that. Me too. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's sad. It's sad. I cry at night. <laughs> about wings, though. Tell me more. Well, it's so crazy. One of what's crazy is like, I go and I get up to the press conference, and like, this is where I realize that, like, like I'm a fan and I have a parasocial relationship. Yeah. So it's like my girlfriend, I was like, oh, that's like his wife. She's a fucking look, bitch. Oh shit. The fucking that's wings his wife right there. Ah, oh, bro, look at her. You saw the whole pod. I was like, I can't believe fucking wings his wife right now. Fucking crazy. <laughs> and then Jordy came in, bro. Must have been 11 feet tall, 780 pounds, fucking came in. I was like, <laughs> 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 and also, uh, Boogie, but Boogie, I met Boogie before, so I, you know, I'm like, what's up, sure. Boogie? How you doing? How tall is like, I'm good. Uh, I'm really bad at this. Both of them have to be under six foot. Okay. They have to be under six foot because right. I only know when someone's under. Oh, don't worry, Woody. You're taller than Wayne for sure. Why I've met Wayne a couple times. Yeah. Yeah, I, you're taller, bro. I, worry, I saw taller. a different. <laughs> When they had their shirts off, Wings looked like he could put his chin on top of Boogie's head. And in this picture, they look a little closer in height, although the Wings is still taller. Bro, Boogie I mean, drank I mean, Prime. Boogie Boogie took a big mouthful of Prime energy drink and spat it on the dirty head. And I was like, I, I was like, I don't give a fuck, bro. Like, I'm fighting bear. Dude, but it was you like, you're smack spit? You Dude, gotta, I love I smack him. <laughs> You've got to smack him right there. You got to mm -hmm. slap. Well, actually, Jordy said that. And then you back Jordy up was... into like a karate stance that's comical so you can <laughs> then walk away because you can't fight. Can you, believe, can you believe I met this motherfucker one time and I'm like, Jordy this, Jordy that. Let me crack my nose. Wings. Yeah. <laughs> Wings was like, he was like, I was ready for him to slap me in the face. Because I was like, bro, you fucking spat that shit on your head. Like, well, I would have fought. He was like, he could have slapped me in the face. I wouldn't have done anything there. I was okay. Like, okay. He's a professional. Yeah. Oh. Well, low key, I was like, maybe Monk. he's mad. Maybe he's mad lazy. He looked a little <laughs> maybe mad. He's mad lazy. <laughs> he did. He did. Actually, he had one. He had one killer line because because Boogie came out and Boogie was dropping all the common bangers that we know. He yeah. was like, "Damn, wings." He was like, "You left the mobile home," and he was like, "Everyone here is here to laugh at you." And mm -hmm. he was like, "And when I'm fucking when we get in the ring, he's like, I'm gonna." 
I'm going to, I'm going to drop you. And Wings was like, what are you talking about, man? I thought you go up those stairs over there and they almost dropped you. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. Boogie, Boogie was low key struggling, just like doing his thing. Like, you know, uh, moving and, 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 and Jordy seemed much more comfortable existing as a big man. Can I just you know say, what not I mean? just that, not just that. There's yeah. a moment where, let's show the clip. Let's, let, let's just show it. It's like a minute, right? Jordy Maybe hitting belly- like a heavy bag outside. Is that what you're looking for? No, let's show them belly bumping and everything at the point. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. That's a good oh, because, I have because, that on my phone. <laughs> because you can because Don't you pull can it see, up. <laughs> you can see in that moment that Wings is the one with the power. Like, like they bump at each other like three times and Wings wins that every time. And Boogie mm. has to go to this like arm pushy thing to try to try to like not look like a punk. Uh, it's I, I mean, you know, it, not only that, their you're, shirts on. You're, you're right. And um, by the way, thank you, Woody, for all the beautiful things you said about me uh, in regards to my fight. Oh, getting God. punched out of the ring and oh, all that. Did you see that? I love uh, that. Yeah, yeah. You, you took that well. Um, you did. You took that well. Yeah. Uh, like, I was thinking about that. I was like, when you pull up. He- oh, my God. There's <laughs> even more belly down there. <laughs> you're not, you're not belly. It. See, I'd have kicked that little fupa. <laughs> you show me your fupa, I'd kick it. Don't fuck <laughs> me. I'll put on this karate. Shut up, like, kicked it. Like, <laughs> hacky sack kicked it. Like, kept hacky sacking yeah. it. Like, <laughs> Wings has to because of his hips and all. But, yeah, yeah. I little little sideways hacky sack. Man, yeah, fuck that. I, uh, a I told them both. I was like, they... yeah, where they were pushing, they were like yeah. bumping and, and, and wings. And this is what I was saying why I brought up my fight is that like there's an element of wanting it. And my first fight, I boxed Aaron. And like we were both like boxing. But when I was boxing John, I was like, oh, he fucking wants this, needs this, and means it. Mm-hmm. I saw them on stage and I was like, Wings fucking wants this, needs this, and means this. Boogie's like, I'm so happy that I'm not in a wheelchair. What? And, 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 and yeah, I, yeah. I mean, Boogie's like, I'm so happy I'm not in a wheelchair. And Wings is like, I'm fucking ready to put you back in. And he literally said, I'm gonna put you back in there. Um, and I, I think that is an element. That is an element that Wings has. Oh, man. Um, well, look, I'm gonna have to watch. It's Saturday afternoon course. at like 11 a.m. for the East Coast America people. Obviously, the fight's taking place in London or whatever. Um, man, I, I I was completely wrong. Uh, I didn't think Wings would would actually go through with uh, any of this. There's like five steps along the way where he could have backed off, uh, backed off and quit. Did he have a hiccup that was like an? Experience? Boogie said that too. Boogie was there like was some contract uh, stuff, but I don't think that was on his end. I thought there was like Boogie, a sickness Boogie was or like you got or maybe I'm crazy. Boogie was like you got you got <laughs> fired from your own show because you couldn't go camping. And after this fight, you're going to have no money. You're going to be living in a tent at the end of it. And I'm like sitting there next to my girlfriend. I'm like, he's saying that because what happened? There was this thing. And I'm like trying to break down all the dumb shit. And she's like, uh-huh. The Lord. uh-huh. Um, but after I went up to Wings, and I was like, yo, man, I'm fucking here. I literally like don't tell KSI, but Wings versus Boogie is why I bought a fucking flight from this shit-ass <laughs> country. Uh-huh. Um, uh, but I was like, I really want to see you guys. And he was like, hell yeah, man. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to be on. I'm going to go on PKA tonight. He's like, oh, yeah. He's like, tell Kyle that I want to have a PKA reunion. Okay. No. Uh, I want it. Mm. I want it, too. I want it. I want it more than wings. Maybe uh, a I was like, oh, really? I was like, really? He's like, yeah. He's like, tell Kyle. I was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, all right. And so that's it. Yeah, I told you. And I have to tell you. No, okay, yeah. No, it's I don't know what it is, and I'm going to save it for later because I have no idea what it means. But yeah, continue. I was going to say I was wrong. Uh, I, I want to be clear about that because I really did not think he was going to go through with it. I really didn't. Me neither. It's, I agree uh, with you. Neither did I. And good for uh, him, man. Good for, still got to get in the too. ring, but it, he's yeah. like ninety five percent of the way there. So I, we can almost call this good, bro. Yeah. Like if he if he backs out now. Oh. I'd be very surprised you know, if Wing does anything but if Wings does anything but win this fight. Yeah. Bro, if, they, if either of them back out right now, like I'm right here and I'm like, funny, mm-hmm. I brought my gloves just in case this shit happened. Turns out <laughs> yeah. I'm a heavyweight too. I'm a fucking redemption. I think I can fuck one of you guys up after get mad at you. Did you go in there and actually kill Boogie? Like that's what would happen. <laughs> You'd punch his head off his shoulders. Dude, you know, I there, actually have, I have a speech of this fight being anything other than total wings victory or boogie being kind of, you know, injured badly. 
Like, hopefully that doesn't happen. But just looking at Boogie standing there, you know, he, I, he I really struggled to stand wing. next to wings, even in the belly bump. I don't think Boogie could get injured. I, I feel like the thing is he'll go down too easily to get hurt. To get injured takes a lot of stick to bravery. You have to you have to weather a storm or two to really get rocked in boxing. Boogie will drop too quickly for any lasting damage. Oh, no, not a punch. I, I'm meaning like he puts too much torque and his leg shatters. Like his, his ankle breaks, his knee gives out. Like after that much time of doing nothing, like trying to like throw yeah. a hip into a punch, like I bet you could really easily overexert. Like I'd be I'd be pretty scared if I was Boogie way more than Wings. Like he he knows the I, limitations. I think of the I just think the fall could be bad. Like I know it's a canvas and it's spring. no. You're right. You're right. I thought that too, Kyle. I thought the same thing. I was like, falling is not something you do when you're like is it a big is boy. it boxing like, ring the was, same as an octic? No, I've been in boxing rings. They're bouncy. They are bouncy. Mm, I, and yeah, I, I recognize but you still, that. But yeah, still, not not like as so much big. as you would think. I don't know. I worry that a fall could could break a hip or dislocate something. Like if you're bouncier than the ring, the ring isn't that bouncy. (laughs) (laughs) Like the ring's hard. Um, You know, like it's funny. Like 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 when uh, for for my match when I was going down there, like I'm sure they'll they'll have this too. Um, I did my um, I'm walking to the ring, and as I'm walking, even though if you guys watch, like I was very stoic and I was so like I'm fucking do this. I was conscious, and I'm walking down there, and I'm like, bro. I can't believe John Hennigan is going to be punching me in the face. And like, <laughs> I'm like, we're, this guy's going to punch me. I'm, I have to punch him in the face. This is fucked. And like, I don't know. Wings, I feel like almost has it, but I don't know if, if, if Boogie has that. I don't mm. think if Boogie grasps, like, you're going to have to fucking punch him in the face. Yeah. And I like, I feel like Wings means it more. I'm surprised neither of them got a trainer. Or uh, anything like that. Um, I, 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 I did that right away. Um, a lot of creators on Creator Clash the first time didn't get a trainer or a boxing coach. The second one, everyone did. But the first one, I was like, are you fucking crazy? Someone's going to be trying to punch you in the head. You don't want to learn how to. And yeah. I see them both. They're punching we were, their things. They're punching their things. But, you know, I don't know. T- talk we to me. We were talking about this You're before the show. You're a boxing I, aficionado. A boxer, professional boxer. What am I saying? You've looked at the form of wings. You've looked at the form of boogie. Tell me your analysis. Both very uh, well. I think I think Wings, his punches. Just watching like the, like the Keemstar thing that he filmed there. I, I think Wings looks like he he Can punches you harder and more accurate. He yeah. looks like he punches harder and more accurate. And like I said, like bro, like Boogie's been a little cushy. Like if you can think yeah. of a person who's got some pent up anger on YouTube. <laughs> like, like it's these two. Yeah. Yeah, but wings especially, right? Mm-hmm. Like when you walk see. out there, Wings isn't even gonna see Boogie. If he's smart, if he's smart, Wings will see Sean Ranklin in front of him. He's not gonna mm-hmm. see Boogie. He's gonna see every person that's ever made a thing. Or a video, or whatever. What if he'd beaten up Keemstar right here? Like, like, what? How crazy would that have been? If he'd taken uh, this—that's not even Keemstar. That's, it's, that's overt flow. <laughs> you oh, can tell because looks like, so much, he looks, looks a lot like him. <laughs> well, I'm except I think I'm pretty sure overt flow is like normal oh, height. But look, I mean, they look so much. You see, right? Yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're, you're totally too. right. <laughs> totally I, mean, just, I didn't know that was overt flow because I don't, I don't know him by like sight. But I made a joke the other day when I saw those two uh, together, also wearing sunglasses at the same time, that. Uh, Keemstar was like Hitler, that he had a body double at all times, yeah. <laughs> ready to take, the, take that bullet for him so he could disappear down to Argentina with all his yeah. money. <laughs> like one day he's going to push it too far and he's just going <laughs> to, that avert flow button's going to get pressed. <laughs> I'm, I'm, living, I'm living my nightmare timeline and I, and, I, and I can't believe it that I'm happy with it. Because like my nightmare timeline, I was like, what if I like lose in spectacular fashion? After like beefing with happened. Keemstar a whole bunch, and thank you, my brother, <laughs> and 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 beefing with Keemstar so much, and like, what if like that happens? And I'm like, then what if Keemstar makes my dream match happen and actually gets wings out to the UK? Then I'm gonna have to be like, Keem Keemstar is the best YouTuber that ever existed. And he doesn't even have a YouTube channel anymore. I don't even think Keem, he's, he's allowed, allowed to. Know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's like, I'm like, I am. I'm like well, I, I lost and. Fucking wings is in London. 
and I'm here to watch them. I'm like, it's actually kind of chill this well, whole thing, to, you know? I didn't know King I wanted to give my, uh, I I to give my two cents on watching those two throw punches because the thing that we noticed way back when, when we first saw that first footage of Boogie, was that, like, he doesn't rotate his hips. It's all arm punches, and that's not poor technique. You don't fix that with a trainer. That's someone who's who's immobile. That's someone who has a, a handicap because of their weight and, and hip issues. So that's why I say these guys don't need trainers. It, it, all you're going to do is get hurt. Like, oh, all they could do is over train. They're, they're both handicapped mm -hmm. men. You're not going to teach them uh, this new physical skill that requires coordination and endurance right. and power and all those things. Combined. You know what? But, but you know what? It, it, I think like what a trainer can do is finding what's good for you. And I've gone to a trainer like when I was in bad really? shape and he was like, yeah, he's like, let's go on our, on our, let's do crab walk. And he made me crab walk and I never saw him again. I was like, fuck that too hard. Like, I don't want to, I don't mean yeah. to be rude, but like, if I'm like a trainer for boogie or wings and I've been there too, I was like, you know, for over 310 pounds. If you're a trainer for me, I just want someone to come with a fucking leash, put it on my neck and take me for a walk. If that's the level that I need, then I and I, I like that I have the accountability and I've paid for a person to come take me for a walk. So they should literally should have hired a dog walker and had them walk That's around the, the block that he needed three times a day. And and you know what? That would be a, oh a big God. deal. Look, I, look, there's Lift this with this, your this, knees. Oh my, <laughs> oh my God. All right, this is silly and for YouTube. I think you should have hired a trainer, and I, I surprised I'm the only one who thinks that. You know, like. Someone teach this guy to keep his hands up. Someone teach this guy what defense looks like, to blade his upper body. Like, these are all things that are quick. Yeah, look, he almost hurt it himself. He almost hurt himself right there. <laughs> Someone teach him to set up his right with his left, right? Jab, jab, hook. What? Like, like just some combo. What oh, for? <laughs> because he doesn't know <laughs> that. I, there is some low-hanging fruit of improvement that they didn't grasp. Uh -huh. they, they're just going to show up with emulating people they've seen on TV and never having yes. learned, really? I, I mean, they've seen the best in the world. They've been watching. Do you for think? Years. Let me, do you <laughs> think? Let me be. Let me be like crazy for a second. Okay. There's no shot that these two guys are like posted up with fucking Mountain Dews and Hot Cheetos in the same hotel right now, and they're like doing rock paper scissors to see who takes the fall in the first round, a minute and thirty seconds in, and they're both like, "Fuck, Keem Star." Here's what. Oh, there's no way you, Wings would do that. Wings here's what knows I actually he has believe. The w. So Wings would do that. Wings has tried to do things like that before. I what, what I will say, about. He's oh, I know, I actually to, know this. He's literally tried to pay people to take the fall before. Like, okay, so so don't act like, oh. don't say Wings yeah. would do this. I didn't know. But, I know so much about yes, him. Yeah. It, when when <laughs> people too. try to fuck, people be like, Wings wouldn't do that. I'm like, actually, he did that. Here's the recording. <laughs> what, can you film me? What was the, the right, fight? Quickly, thing? what happened was after he lost that 1v1 on Bog, infamously to uh to um syndicate help syndicate there oh my was my god big, zach amazing work this is literally his his communications with syndicate maybe a few days to a week afterwards after there was a big stink they he's wanting to redo the match and he's wanting syndicate to take the fall and uh they're going to split the prize money that's going to be uh put up by alki david to, to to stream the whole thing and in this deal if you look carefully wings gets the money I think, right? No, like, no. Uh, he's spending it 3,000, 2,000 syndicates way. So he's going okay. to give him 60%. Okay. So that, you, yeah, yeah. You, you, you happen to accidentally mention like the one person more fascinating than either of them. Have any of you met Alki David? Yeah. You met him in person? Mm -mm. I spent a weekend with him. <laughs> he tried to hire me. He tried to hire me to run one of his companies. Really? <laughs> what? This guy, by the way, guys. This guy is uh he's like a multi billionaire or something. His his he's family has some like Euro the Europe or something. Yeah, co Coca Cola in Europe or something like that. Um and uh he got obsessed with like YouTube gaming and stuff. We took a couple meetings with him and uh, he, he was getting sued at the time by like Discovery or something because uh they didn't have the rights he didn't have the rights to uh do some shit. I'm not sure. And uh he he happened to be one of the most interesting guys ever because he's just like he was just so crazy rich and somehow was like balls deep in the youtube gaming did, community he, like fake the battle rap community suicide? no oh wait so, did he i didn't know about well that. actually fake live stream suicide might be pretty accurate yeah. yeah so so here's what he did he told everyone he announced that he was going to live stream what is it called an assisted suicide euthanasia like, but, 
It's my favorite rock for. band, the youth in Asia. <laughs> yeah. All right. So he said he was going to announce this guy who was, ter- or, I'm sorry, live stream this guy who was terminally ill and they would live stream him dying. And I'm not even against that. Like, well, the live streaming seems a little not cool, but uh, <laughs> the idea of someone like just living a few more weeks or months in pain and ending early, like you get my thumbs up if that's what you want to do. But the internet, whoa thumbs down he was gonna like murder this person is how they viewed him and it turns out that this was all kind of a scam it was sort of a prank they're playing on the viewers uh they ended up doing the live stream and after they killed the guy they got up and danced and they played monster mash yeah (laughs) zach if you feel if you can what we were talking about can you pull up alki david farting into the microphone at his uh wife's fashion show uh, if you want, uh, I just found this like such an excellent demonstration of power. Uh, this guy, like he 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 put on this fashion, like whatever his wife was doing here. I don't know what her thing was, but she had she had dreams and ambitions, and he, he helped her do it. It looks like he kind of made it all happen, put it all together. And it's this show, and they're like on the red carpet for her launch. And of course, the owners of Nine Hundred Two One Go and. Uh, of course, have faith and film on, and many, many other companies. Good to have you here. Thank you so much. You look beautiful, Nishka. Well, I'm a little bit chilly, Jan. That's okay. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> then he gives it back. He gives it back to her to like talk into, it. and she's like, "Alki, I don't want this in my face right now." And, and then he laughs. He's like, "Ha ha!" He's pointing at the sound guy. You heard it really loud. He's like, "Like this guy." Um, and I think he owned Film On. I think Alki owned Film On at the time. Uh, yeah, I think hilarious. he did because I think, yeah, that, I was like low key, very respectful behavior. He just, for those I for those of you who didn't watch the video. He just grabbed the mic from the interview and farted in it, and, a, and, a, and that that was awful. Is he still going on? Podcast? It is a demonstration of power. It is a, like all of these people are subservient to me. I can fart in this mic with no consequences because I'm yeah. David. Yeah, no and cool. no one knows anything about what happened there or what they were doing or what any of it was. But we remembered the fart into the microphone. Well, I mean, there's not he like there's fart police out there. Any of us can do it. It's just uncouth. <laughs> I well, you, you feel have, like you have to have a fart at the time, and you have to have the timing to grab it before it's done. Like it's it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an in the moment thing. You don't walk around locked and loaded with farts. Like, mm. you think he came there? He, that he made, day? He made no, a decision he, real time, real quick. Boom, improv. Real time. Yes, no, he planned that. He had some cauliflower thirty minutes ago. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> eating eating steamed broccoli in the limo. Uh, peppers. We had a we had a, a meeting with him, and like we went, and it was my partner and I. And we were kind of like waiting, and he was like, uh, we were like, oh yeah, we were meeting with Alki, and we were like, oh, okay, he's just like he's he's busy, and we kind of saw that he was like over there, and he wasn't really. He was like eating a sandwich. Um, we were just like kind of waiting, and we kind of hung around for like. 35 minutes we had other meetings we're like oh okay we're like okay well we're we're going uh and they're like okay and like he saw us and you know he just like looked and didn't think much and then we were leaving and then uh the girl was just like oh she's like oh they're leaving epic meal time to leave you know and he was like that's and by the way context is like 2012 or 2013 yeah. so he was like that's epic meal time and like he stood up and like ran out after us and he had like a mustard stain on his shirt and like <laughs> mustard on his face <laughs> and he was like, do you need to do a hologram epic meal time? I can get the hologram set up. And he's talking and there's mustard all over. And I didn't know who he was really at the time. And I was just like, but later I said, to my brother, I was like, that was the richest guy I ever met in my life. He told me that he'll, he'll turn me into a hologram with mustard all over his shirt. I was like, this is crazy. I was like, I better go look him up. I look him up. He's farting in the microphone. I was like, damn, we should have fucking stuck around waiting for him when he was ready. I like this guy. He knows what he likes. Mustard I, and I didn't even think of him as the richest guy I've ever met. I've ever met, but he's got to be. I don't... Yeah. Yeah. I've never I met think a, he's up a there. billionaire. I've never met a billionaire either. No. One of Kyle has a friend who's very wealthy. He, um, you know what he invented? This is cool. You know, um, when you take a picture of a check to deposit it instead yeah. of like mailing it or something like old school, this guy somehow created that system and sold it to banks and oh, made I a love lot of that money. guy. Yeah, <laughs> what a great guy. He that has made life so great. What a good, <laughs> what a good invention. Like that's it's great. great. It, it yeah. is great. Yeah. I don't know the details of fraud prevention in that, but it must be pretty 
hard to do. Well, it, you, they prevent you fraud so. by making sure it's on a dark background, and then you take your phone and go up and down until it eventually takes the photo, <laughs> and then that's that's like I guess that's phone. all it takes. That's <laughs> all it takes. Sometimes, like I'm going down on the check, and like it like cuts off some of it, and I'm like, eh, I guess, <laughs> like I guess <laughs> you're the one taking the photo here. Like, <laughs> I guess that's okay. You don't need to know. I guess exactly what it's for. <laughs> but uh, this is tangentially related to like the boxing and. I guess like Sam Hyde and all that. Are you guys? I know you're familiar with fish. Oh, bro! What the fuck? Don't say that name. What the hell, bro? I'm still friends with Idub. Oh fuck! Don't say that. Catch Sam Hyde, man. I'm better than This this wraps into this ironic. <laughs> into I don't know much about his drama and everything other than what I've heard from. I'm goofing him. around. I, I it's so crazy. I I I like Idub. Friends with Ian. Think he's great. I actually do think he's awesome. I do think he's had an ascension and evolution of his career. And I also owe Sam quite a bit. He put me, you know, he kickstarted a lot of change in my life positively. And I think he's a fucking hilarious guy most of the he time. He is. Uh, sometimes I'm like, damn, he really said he wants to kill her? Uh, <laughs> yeah, but he did. I think he's a little hat on. So, you know. <laughs> did, I, did I say, did I say, his, did I bring up his husband a bit here on the podcast? No, I don't I think, think so. He, 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 did this, he did this fucking, I actually, it's the only time I've, ever called him up and i was like uh can i ask why you did this <laughs> it's the only time like i don't do what you want do your thing it doesn't matter but mm -hmm. uh i like i hang out with people and they're like man what's the deal with him and i'm like oh he's really hilarious and he's actually really nice and uh i doubt a nazi would be that nice to someone like me uh, yeah. but so i don't i you know Are i, you I never get that <laughs> I, was, I never get involved with his his thing, what he's doing. But it was the only time where I hit him up, and I was like, "Oh, uh, you said you would uh, you would kill someone, or you wanted to 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 do do physical harm to them." I'm like, "Is was that a bit, or was it like did, were you like excited and you, you made a mistake?" I'm like, Cause I, "I do think he's a very smart guy, and I didn't see the the, the long play of that." So I was like, "What is it?" He was like, "Hey, man." You got a boxing match coming up. <laughs> you worry about that, and after the match, you can ask me whatever you want. Okay? And I was like, okay. <laughs> okay. Probably well, like get that. back to him about that. But, yes, so, coach. I, I had said that, and then and then I saw actually he got a couple of mainstream coverage, uh, and they they don't want to talk about like oh he's doing this crazy reality show that's so fucked up, which I want to talk about in a second. Yeah. Um, but instead, they were like uh, he said he wanted to do physical harm to this person or kill this person. So I was just watching him and Jet the next day or so. And uh, this I thought, like, I, I had a friend with me and I was like, I think of myself at, as good at this type of shit. And he, what he does here, I thought was like, uh, like on the spot, like a master class of that type of thing. Mm -hmm. He was like, uh, someone was like, hey, man, uh, that chat was like, what do you think about uh, like uh, Hezbollah uh, beating up the cat? And he was like, a fucking hate that little mutant or whatever and he was like honestly like oh fucking kill him and jet was like and he was like oh can't say that i mean i hope someone kills him and jet was like <laughs> and he's like you can't say that he's like no and he's like i if if, if someone killed hezbollah if that happened to happen i would be happy oh and no was like, <laughs> and then he was like okay if someone took garden shears and stabbed it into the back of his fucking skull and stomped on his fucking groin until he was dead, I would be the saddest person on earth. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> and I was like... <gasps> he just, he hates the thought of that poor little fella getting injured, clearly, he, sincerely. Yeah, he cares. He did it. He, he, he worked through it, but he found <laughs> it and he did it there. The, the um, clips of him saying stuff that's over the line and jet being uncomfortable are hilarious there's like a whole compilation of like sam hyde tos compilation and it is hysterical it's him yeah. just like doing his you know going over the line in his style very funny but uh regarding the fish tank thing so if you're not aware sam hyde has this reality show where a bunch of fish contestants are in a house all of the windows and doors everything you cannot see out the rules are stay inside, no weed, and no phones. And so it's six weeks of 
these eight people all put together. And the setup, it's on fishtank.live, is you get to click and switch between 10 different cameras. So you can go to bedroom one and see what people are doing there. You can go to bedroom three, living room, kitchen, all that kind of shit. And it is a master class example of like why reality shows always hire actors and are always scripted because he genuinely picked like eight of the most genuinely strange autistic people he could find and put them in a house. And the challenges are often brutal and clearly made up in the moment. Counting, sometimes, sometimes, counting grains sometimes. of rice. He comes in, throws rice all over the room, and he's like, count the rice. Yeah, he, he came in and like did like the rice thing. He'll do stuff just to upset them, and then he'll do things to try and create problems, or he'll be like, he'll barge in his enormous self wearing like a seersucker suit, like just like dominating people physically in an uncomfortable way, and be like, tonight's challenge is the drunk dickhead off. Whoever is the meanest, most ruthless person to your fellow contestants wins a fish buck. A fish buck is a piece of paper he prints out with a fish on it that is purportedly redeemable for $500 each at the end of the show. And as he introduced those, he was like, you guys are going to want to take care of these fish bucks. These are definitely worth $500 each. Listen to me, folks. If I'm lying, sue me. And then so he's making <laughs> so oh, fish bucks to people. And, uh... And, like, people get kicked out of the house, but no one, I don't think, has actually really gotten kicked out. It's just people are so psychic, uh, psychologically tortured by text-to-speech from Sam Hyde's audience. Uh, but there is someone, leave. someone John got kicked out. Oh, yeah, the, uh, Simmons, the guy Simmons that, got yeah, kicked Simmons. out because they discovered one of the contestants, this Asian guy, had written a book, my understanding was, about his years as a camp counselor. But what he wrote the book about was how to hook up with the people at camp and the kids the at camp? Uh, apparently yeah like, it was too yeah. weird it was a yes. bit it was a, it was weird enough that the excerpts from the book mm -hmm. caused people to be uncomfortable yeah. was, and, what, what was the title the most dangerous game like, the like most what the dangerous <laughs> game? dude it, it was so like apparently it was so reprehensible that like sam went into the house and was like you have three on minutes his day to off get your, yeah you have three jason minutes gold to striker went in on his day of off Oh, not yeah, his yeah. day off. <laughs> and he's like, you know, fuck you, uh, get out of here. Norm, he, he, he was just in there with a weed eater attacking the kitchen. And you're telling me he's got to go right back in on his day off? Oh, uh, the, uh, the, really <laughs> yeah, he was just yeah. in there yeah. attacking the kitchen with a weed eater. You yeah. saw that. Uh, it a, a lot of <laughs> it's it's 24 hour live stream. And so like usually just every night, like after this, I'll pop in and see what they're doing. It's either like sitting around doing nothing boring or it is like the most beyond interesting, entertaining, surreal thing ever. What happened recently, just I guess yesterday, is, you know, Frank Hassel. This ties in with Boogie. Everything's getting connected. Frank Hassel is the gentleman who uh, said to Boogie, I'm going to come in your house and fuck you in the ass. That's Hassel doctrine, you know, and forced, you know, uh, you know obviously forced Boogie to, to do that, that uh, warning shot. Yeah. There was a goal that as soon as they hit their, like, subscriber limit or whatever, Frank Hassel would be unleashed on the contestants. And so they let Frank Hassel into the house last night, and he, like, immediately proceeds to, like, start tearing people's stuff up, breaking things, like, being very uncomfortable around people. But, and that was all expected. This was all 100% expected. Harley, that bag's so loud! Harley, stop fucking playing with the bag! I want to note that that wasn't me. <laughs> I, I, I was like, all right, he's done. And then he's, he's like, done. let me close it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want these to get stale. <laughs> but, uh, if you know, uh, the, so last yesterday they brought Frank Castle into the mix. And if you're familiar with another character kind of in the IWs universe, his name is Airsoft Fatty. So Airsoft Fatty was this big, morbidly obese guy, is this guy, there's an iDubs documentary about him with like 30 million views, hugely right. popular. It's called Full Force, and it was tracking this big fat guy's like airsoft journey and and like his, his, his interesting life in Battle Creek, Michigan. And this big fat guy, who's arguably the most likable, like earnest, genuine seeming guy in the world, airsoft fatty, his name's Chris. At one point last night, like he went up to a room by himself and like started crying and this guy's like morbidly obese. Like he clearly, he, you know, 
lost his mother, doesn't have a, a father in the picture, like in his mid twenties, like he's had a rough go of it by anyone's estimation. And apparently a lot of people on Reddit and whatnot harass him and, and make his life very difficult. And he was like, he like marched himself up to like bedroom four by himself and like started crying and saying like, I you know pull it together. I can't take this anymore. It was very sad. And Frank fucking Hassel walks in and sees this guy like crying and starts to be like, can I pause? Uh, you know what? I'll get, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Help me understand. Frank Hassel is Thank you. the character this that Sam Hyde plays. I'm right, right? No, no, no. Frank Hassel, the, the guy on the left there uh, is Frank Hassel. He makes content where he hassles people. He her, he messes with oh, them in he's public. he's the guy that messed with Boogie. Correct. Yes, I'm he's sorry. the guy that okay. messed with Boogie. And this gentleman here, uh, Chris, Airsoft Fatty, he was in this room crying. <clears throat> and Frank Hassel came in. And saw him crying and started going like, you know, you know, kind of broke his character and was like, oh, you, you need anything, man. You you let me know what's up. And he started to leave. And Chris started to like open up and like cried a little more like this is fu I'm having such a hard time. Frank Hassel like broke character entirely, went over there, like patted him on the back, comforted this guy. You know, the guy's saying, I feel like I'm worthless and everyone hates me and says I'm useless. And he's like, no, you're not, man. Like, stop saying that about yourself. It was it was genuinely fucking endearing watching in real time as like this dude who has a really tough life is actively comforted in a way that's genuine and human by someone whose entire job was to come in and fuck with them. Mm. Like the realness overtook mm. The, the act. He also pretended to die of a heart attack mid uh, mid stand up show, oh, which was which shit. was actually funny. It, I, I are you are we completely sure that that sort of, you know, consolation and friendship that he was showing there wasn't just the first stages of sissy hypno? <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe, maybe I'm a fool and I, I fell for it, but it was Matt, Airsoft really... thought he was manipulating him. <laughs> mm. Yes, he needs money. It was a game. It was a move. It was a tricky Listen, thing. bro. I it's know fucking soft, money Patty. moves. I know manipulative money moves when I see them. My people fucking made the... They wrote the book, bro. It's called <laughs> Talmud. No, I'm joking. I don't buy it. Jesus. Um, well, I don't buy it. I, I do think it was interesting, and it was it was great, but I, I, I see Airsoft Fatty. I'm like, I don't know, bro. I see a performer. Crazy to say, know. right? I know. I know it is crazy to say, but I always default to I'm like... But at the end of the day, that's a YouTuber. And I don't know if I could fully trust the YouTuber, really. I met Airsoft yeah, Fatty once. He was a nice guy. He was cool. But something about mm -hmm. these YouTubers, bro, they fucking weird me out. I only care <laughs> about honest. the parts. Uh, I only care about the parts where they, you know, he attacks the kitchen with a weed eater mostly. That's I like that. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, like, I, I actually messed up weed. like, bro, beating the shit out of the kitchen with boxing gloves? was way funnier than it should have been. Because <laughs> he punched the shit out of that cabinet and he goes, oh, whoa, fuck, sorry. Like apologizing to the people around as though he didn't just intentionally break it. I thought he was going to destroy that fridge. What is that house? What is like, all right, so so I've got it's, some basic questions. Do you, do you, who owns that? Is that a house like in the country somewhere? I mean, we'll hide on that house. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, whoever owns that house made a huge mistake. Like there's... An enormous amount of damage, but it, all over. like, like, does he own it? Is he renting it, or is this an Airbnb? It's probably that rented. Just if it were rented, uh, I, feel, I like, feel like yeah. he came in and bought that shit outright. Does yeah, anyone have okay. a vibe for how much money he's making off this fish tank thing? A well, lot. the hosting's ten a day, right? Jesus, it's. it's I don't a, know. I don't know if it's bringing in crazy bank. Okay, but it's definitely brought in enough attention to do it again. Yeah, uh, it's it's it's. I think it's very successful. Bro. You go in there at any time, and you just see people spending money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I know the he is. I'm sorry, go ahead. You know, I'm mean, like he's like he's just like he's just a very funny person. Yeah, he's very funny, and I always. But I'm like, listen, I see shit like that, and I I find him so funny, <laughs> and I know the appeal of some of the other things that he does and says. Um, and I'm just like, I can't help but be like, Ooh, it makes me, I don't know. <laughs> I have but like, too much empathy oh, to enjoy his humor. Like I always put uh, myself. Yes. Okay. Some of the things. I agree with you. That's what I'm saying. It's the things that I too have too much empathy where I'm like, ooh, duh, I don't know. But I then watch him. He's, 
he asked a guy to hold pads for him, right? And Sam Hyde had 150 pounds on this person who's holding his pads, and he doesn't seem to be holding anything back. So even though he's holding the pads, like they're hitting him in the face, he's he's like getting crunched. He's he's he is beating up a person under the guise of hitting the pads. And we just like, found the line, Woody. You and I, I know our exact line. I found that thing hilarious. Really? I found him I, holding the I bag. Very funny. That guy is uh he works out, he's a fighter, he's an alpha, he's a if you're like oh, I'm a fucking top G, I love Andrew Tate. If you're that kind of guy, then it's okay for you to hold the bag and get kicked. You're a top G, you love Andrew Tate. So you can do you get know, kicked. Do you know this lore, Kyle? So this gentleman that was holding the pads for Sam Hyde has a pretty severe speech impediment, and he's oh. Uh, and Wu Tate's top J. And oh, Tate and Twist and Tate, Cobra Tate. I love the tape letters. Could okay, you follow. tweet this out? To yeah. yeah. And you know what? Nothing wrong with this guy. I actually, if I were in the house, I would fully converse with this person, interact with him. If I were another fish, I would be like, bro, can we do some fucking push ups, please? What are you hmm. doing? Like, you know, you're pretty focused on this shit. Yeah. So that I do think if you're that type of person, yeah, you can get fucking kicked by Jason Goldstriker. On, uh, on, on John's, uh, John is the name of the guy with the speech impediment. And like every character, every fish has their own little like contestant page that clearly Sam wrote. And like before I had heard this guy talk, it was like, you know, John's a jack of all trades. He may have a speech impediment, but it's often mistaken for a European accent. And, <laughs> and, and like I, I was like, that. what? And then I like started listening to him talk, and I was like, oh god, no, it, it's never you mistaken didn't. for a European accent. So, so we, we, so we switched yeah, topics. Man. I didn't, I didn't know his backstory. All I saw was the clip of him holding pads, mm. and he looked like a guy getting bullied. He was, he was a guy getting. Bullied. He was, and he I put was, myself in he, his but some position. People should. And I think, that, like, what would I do? It's not like I could drop the fucking pads and put. uh the fuck is it? Is Sam in his place? Like, mm. it, well, you're on in the show. Also, you're trying to get money. He has your phone. <laughs> yeah, <he has> your <laughs> phone. <laughs> it is wild. It's wild. This is the only time where I, by the way, I was like, oh, this show's crazy. I watched like I was like on the third day, and I was like, this is the one time where Sam could actually get in trouble for something. Yeah, he's like, this is the one time where I'm like, this is like, this is like producer nightmare city. <laughs> Because so much of not it. only is he doing silly things, but he's got those silly people there who I'm dollars to donuts. He's got people there who have attempted suicide or self-harm before in the house with him under extreme stress with all <laughs> sorts of crazy shit around and cameras filming all of it. I don't know. I wouldn't want to be responsible for any of that. No, it, I don't know how you get I, insurance for that. You can't. What is no, it? Six no weeks way. for 10 grand? It's six weeks. Now it's 30 grand. He'll randomly go in and be and increase the amount of money. Oh. Uh, I think it's like 30 now, right? Sam is a very generous person. Regardless of everything, at the end of the day, when someone has been through it and they do it, I don't doubt that he will be very generous. And I don't think he's going to swerve on them or anything. Mm -hmm. um, what about the $500? I, 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 I think, I think he's going to pay the money for that. For okay, sure. okay. Yeah, yeah, I really do. Okay. I, I, I can't imagine him not doing that. Um, he's, it's, he's, it's, he needs money to do his vision and he has extravagant visions i'm only mm -hmm. talking as a person that's like you know met him before but like what i gather is he needs money to do his extravagant visions but money's not the main motivator for why he does things mm -hmm. um so i don't think he would hold out money or anything like that and even like you know some of the 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 crazy stuff he said like you know like you said woody like me too i, I feel like i have too much empathy i get worried like you know, maybe my body's shifting like I should be a dad now. And I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, I don't know about this one. It could make me cry. You know, like I, I <laughs> maybe it, that's what it is. Well, like some of those kids are like you could be their dad almost, right? You're starting to look at it like that. It's like, oh, he's like what is he, like nineteen in there? I <laughs> could be, but I am also legally allowed to have sex with them. True. <laughs> like I'm well, old enough to be their dad, and that's just my age now. I don't know that's if other people look at, at this venture this way. I'm impressed by the business aspect of it. Like, this is a pretty big investment that he's starting off. I've never started a business where the risk was. Woodycraft, do you guys know how much that's that cost to get going? $700. <laughs> $700. I made, I don't know how much I made on that. It was seven digits, though. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
but that thing started for seven hundred dollars. Um, this thing he's spending ten grand a day, but he Hold made up. more than that rolling in. Go ahead. We're a YouTuber again. And he's not just a regular YouTuber, but once again, I'm like, could be a game. Could be a game. Listen, oh, oh, his oh, audience. Yeah. His audience, they love to pay money to him. They pay so much on the text to speech. Yeah. I mean, it 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 makes way it's too much sense. I'm not saying he, I'm not saying he's doing this. I'm not saying that. But mm-hmm. it makes makes way too much sense to consider being like, these are the costs. Is it really the cost? Or are you trying to let people know like if this shit's not worth it, it's not happening anymore? And you don't really get to speak English like that. You don't get to be like, mm-hmm. yo, if this shit isn't worth it, it's not gonna keep happening. But if you're like 10K a day is where we're at, then people know there's like a milestone to hit because you want it to mm-hmm. keep happening, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And I mean, the text to speech is for people who don't know, like it's not like $5 text to speech, it's like a couple hundred bucks. And it's Zach like said 150 and double at night. Oh, 150, double at night. And also, like, there are sound effects you can play that are <laughs> boomingly loud at people. And I think those are even more expensive than text to speech. And for, like the clips are maybe 30 seconds long and for 20, 30 straight minutes the other night, I watched that Asian, the new Asian guy totally not be able to sleep because they played the shooting one, the mariachi band, the hysterical breakup, like all of these clips, like the, the clips, Woody, it's not like, ding, like, or like something happy. There's one called like hysterical breakup. And it's like two minutes of like shrill screaming. <laughs> There's one called mariachi band that is like only gets played at night. And it's so hilariously booming loud that, da, 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 like the second you play it there's one there's one that's just called uh like mayhem or something and it's people screaming and gunshots going off that's like ah, help and bang 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 there's all right now uh, i think this is funny this vomiting. hasn't crossed my empathy line yet but it's flirting with it it's like it's yeah it is flirting with it and he is good at that is flirting with that that line where i'm like oh this is bad i shouldn't <laughs> laugh but i yeah am. yeah it's like hey um, for how much is it to play one of these things like 30 bucks maybe 15 dollars no like 150 bucks i don't know if it's secret effect? or not First i don't know if it's secret or not but um i i spoke to him briefly i spoke to julian and they were like we want to get like uh, an epic meal in the fish tank if we could do that and i was like fuck dude i've been do watching it. i want I, I have all these trips planned it was last minute i was like wait that's why? i don't know if you would know not yourself oh oh you would just visit you wouldn't be a contestant. I would go be epic meal time, like like mm-hmm. they're there one day and I come in, I'm like, we're making I don't know what we would have done, but like we're making a fucking epic meal now, fish. Mm-hmm. Let's start fucking I thought you wanted <laughs> burning to pizza. Contestant. Like, hey Harley, if you work for me for six weeks, you may or may not get ten grand. <laughs> if you do like I won't lie, listen, once ever since I did boxing, I nothing concerns me now. Like I was I like I boxed John Hennigan, like the one of the most yeah. athletic WWE superstars ever and he was on the most juice of life <laughs> so much juice like this like it like it, it was the ultimate and and he he and and now i'm like i said my mom I'm like should i be a cop my mom was like why i'm like i don't know I'm fucking good do it well, my yeah. whole times i spoke about being on mushrooms or drugs on these podcasts i was like but i could do it i was like or i'll be a fucking postman i could do whatever should i be a fish in season two yeah i'll go fucking sit in the house hold the bag for Jason Goldstrike while he kicks me in the face. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Nothing matters now. I'm doing all side quests. All extra <laughs> missions. It's all the it's, it's all the nonsense it. part. I'm really I'm doing the cleanup now. Bravery now. That's what happened. <laughs> that you, you you the the cowardice part of your brain got injured in your last fight. <laughs> no, you know what it was? I always thought I was like, man, I'm gonna get my ass kicked one day and then I'm gonna be humbled. I I saw my ass get kicked. And I'm like, bro, I never got hurt. And I kept getting up. And I'm not even retarded right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's my secret, Woody. I'm always retarded. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I was just like, I, I, I walked out of that and I was like, oh, that's so weird. And you know, everyone's like, wow, I'm like, just like losing and being more confident. <laughs> I was like, I don't know how that played out, but I do. I'm kind of like, I look at every other YouTuber, like with this YouTube boxing event, and I'm like, bro, fuck any of you up. You're YouTubers, bro. Like, uh, yeah. I'm undefeated in YouTube boxing. 
I'm just, I never had a win in boxing WWE superstars. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also, even when I saw John, I said, no, I was like, bro, look how juiced up you are, bro. You're fighting a Jew. Relax. <laughs> you're, you're, fighting a, you're fighting a Jewish YouTuber. You literally <laughs> busted out all the roids. <laughs> Thank you. Need you. I'm honored, but like, I think there's a little overkill, buddy. You're What's not your fucking boxing like? George Foreman. Great. He's he's actually a very cool guy. Great guy. Mm -hmm. I love him though. Um when when like the challenge came through, like I texted him right away. Um he's awesome. He even let me go the next week and he was it was in Chicago. He was gonna be um putting over the uh local guy, the local champ, which means like, you know, that guy's gonna win. And that guy's a heel, like he's a bad guy. And so John was in there and John's wrestling him and uh in the middle of John being about to beat that guy, I storm the ring and I come in and I'm like, I got like my bacon strips t-shirt. I'm like, people, I hope they know the shirt. <laughs> um, and I come in and I uh, storm the ring and I, I, I like, I turn John around and I, and I choke slam him. I did a full mm -hmm. choke slam in the ring. And uh, the crowd was kind of like, what the fuck? <laughs> they're like epic meal time. But because I'm the, like John's the good guy, they were like, oh, they're like, you're trying to, your views are down. <laughs> you fucking, you fucking <laughs> got beat up, sauce boss. You like what up? And I was like, this is the, this is your job. <laughs> like I just got to play into it. And and in wrestling, having heat, like like, is just good. Like to go in the ring and have people already know who you are mm -hmm. and like where you're coming from is something that wrestlers hope to obtain. Even yeah, sure, if they like you, that's the best. If they hate you, like it's still heat. It's still like excitement and i got in there and like i was like damn the people in here like in in illinois like fucking knew who i was and they knew why i was here to beat up john and i was like oh that was cool and uh john set that up for me he's fucking awesome for that um and he is a very cool very hilarious guy uh you guys should check out boone the bounty hunter if you ever have time he like plays like a bounty hunter who's like a parkour jacked specialist that like you know just Bounty hunts, uh, you know, old, older movie, but it, it's. I think twice. I think he might have been on. Yeah, Twitter. on Survivor. Yeah, he was on Survivor too. He's a great dude. He's I really think, fucking. Oh, he was on Real guy. Survivor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, yeah. I like he punched me in the back of the head a couple times, uh, but yeah. <laughs> you said, hey, can I? Can I be honest, Harley? I it sounds to me like uh, you, you're still taking a few punches at this guy. You know, like Mitch. Hey, did you really need that much sauce? Did you really need to like hit me with those illegal blows? You know, hey, 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 did you being the athlete that you are, did you really need to barnstorm me in the first round? We couldn't have pitter pattered around a little bit, made a show of it. You know, I did work out for six no, weeks. I, I did think, promote this. I, did I think I made it very here. clear. We we actually couldn't pitter patter because if you go to like the three brief moments in the ring where we pitter patter, uh, mm -hmm. I I do have better technique there. Um, I'll be honest, guys. I actually I, – I box much better than I did that night. It's so better weird to have box two, box two matches and be like, I boxed bad that night. No, I, I literally did. I boxed very badly. I, I think if you uh, had a rematch, like knowing everything, you know, having that experience under your belt, I think things might go differently. Got yeah, I'll hit up the fucking – I'll hit up the fucking Ghost of Kiev. I'll be like, bro, can you fucking run into me like 15 times <laughs> In the fucking parking lot, throw yeah. me up against this dumpster and beat the shit up. I need to be hard again. I need to be Rhode Island hard, you know? Mm -hmm. I had like one. I had like. And it's funny, I had like one. I was like, well, I beat up that gamer YouTuber, so I'll box that guy now. Uh, but yeah. in reality, every single boxer, like every single one, even the YouTube boxers, you box easy people. Bro, when I boxed Aaron, no one said to me, bro, you beat up a gaming YouTuber who you're 60 pounds. No one said that. Everyone's like, bro, you fucked him up, dude. Hell yeah. Like, he did fuck him even, up. Even John, people are like, bro, you fucking fucked that guy up. But I'm like, yeah, bro, okay, you beat up a Jewish YouTuber. <laughs> like, <laughs> let's put it on paper. But no one says that. Instead, people are just like, they like the win. So yeah. I'm just saying, if any of you guys ever glove up, just choose an easy opponent. Oh, of you course. get no credit. For, mm -hmm. for taking on, well, I mean, Woody gave me credit. I love that. Hell yeah, but <laughs> like, I mean, uh, beyond that, like, he's like, not like you really get credit for it. Um, people are just happy when you win. So just go win against anyone you can win against. Like, I, 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 I,
No, I Buckle like what you're thinking. You know what? What about a <laughs> trans man? I want a trans man. I'm going to make it fair. Wait, a trans man means that they are now a man? Yes. Correct. Yes. Yes, you bigot. They identify as a man, and I accept that. <laughs> <laughs> it's your funeral, <laughs> sir. And all you people out there who have a problem great, with, with me beating that, that gentleman. <laughs> well, you're just bigots. That's all I've got uh, to say. I wish I took that angle way better than the children. I'm a, I'll come out with the trans flag, <laughs> waving it. I'll have stop crying, Mister. <laughs> <laughs> you hit like a girl. <laughs> yeah, oh, I, I think awful. you'll take. I think you'll take that one handily, Kyle. You'll win. I don't know. I've been watching. All right, I haven't been watching. I I, I blame the algorithm for like just just force feeding me shit sometimes because mm-hmm. I'll, I'll i'll try to skip it as fast as possible that's my way of way of saying no but it keeps it keeps it coming there's this chick who i didn't even know that crossfit was a competition i didn't know you could compete in crossfit but apparently it is and basically it's just like working out in front of dudes in your underwear and it keeps promoting this giant blonde bitch she's so enormous she has like eight pack abs and like kind of man face I can't remember. What, I wish I knew what her name was. I wrote it down. And you enjoy watching these, or it's just no. Uh, it won't stop. Go, it, it doesn't I, make I any of, sense, Kyle. I'm with you. My, all my ads when I like just go to news sites and stuff, it's fucking pegging and fish <laughs> tanks <laughs> and and it's like the guys more pegging. Yeah. I'm but tired you, of these all these you, goddamn gay but, conversion camps advertising <laughs> all over my Google. <laughs> but you like, but you you like fish tanks. Woody. <laughs> you you said that you were buying an aquarium. I am another one, yeah. yeah. Um, so do you want to talk to us about the pegging now? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Well, no. Do you like it too? <laughs> I saw a guy who he said, "I will." Are you asking, offering? I'm just, I just, I'm just clarifying. The guy's wife was asking him to look at some link on Facebook. He's like, "All the ads are for divorce attorneys." <laughs> yeah, right. Fuck. <laughs> just pegging in Cialis. Is it, I thought everyone was getting this. Yeah. P- Sometimes you get a wake up call when you're extenders. just getting hammered with like Domino's, Pizza Hut, Papa John's. <laughs> 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 I've been making a lot of bad decisions. Yeah. Mm. I I think that was probably uh, the funniest thing that older boomers did for that brief window was complain about targeted, embarrassing ads. Mm. That doesn't happen anymore. Most of them oh, have figured it out. I think there was the it? one guy who was like an actual congressman who was like, why are the ads always so gay or like something, <laughs> something along those lines. <laughs> I don't recall it exactly, but it's like that. Damn, it's too bad they figured that out. And like, Google was like, you know you know why. You know exactly why. Yeah, why is there so much gay porn on my Google device? And it's like, that's a laptop, sir. <laughs> <laughs> and, it's, and it's playing uh, right now loudly. <laughs> Those are my favorite, like, creep photos, I'll call them. Um, when you catch some old geezer in the library, like the public library, with porn on, on one of those computers over there. What are the... Those guys are... I just real rap scallions. What 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 balls to, mm-hmm. to be in a public library and, and they're not scared of prison. They're not scared of anything. No, not, they, they have no shame. They Can go in imagine? there and they alpha everyone at the library. Probably an I, easy I, place to alpha. <laughs> I've seen so many pictures of of like the dudes over there and like clearly just up, up on a monitor. He's got just, just porn. Just porn. What did you see? What kind? Just you guys watch porn? Yeah. yeah, sure. I can't believe how many people are like so anti-porn. Do you know people like, who are anti-porn? You uh, realize, literally, like eighty percent of Canadians. <coughs> Sam, Sam doesn't consume porn. I think he Sam is like a gives free absurdist thing? answers to to pretty much everything. If you asked him his his favorite source of protein he'd probably say camel tongue or something you know he claimed to be five foot one that is true and he's tall yeah just to make just to like be like what harley i heard you were tall i mean i'm i'm six two so what are you (laughs) (laughs) did i tell you did i tell you guys what so when i when i met him he said he was six four when i met him he was taller than me and i was Mm. like whoa it's so crazy what a crazy move to like be like you know not that tall um 
But then later in the office, like on like the fifth day I was there, he was like, dude, he was like, you got to get these so funny. So you got to get these lifts. You put them in your shoes. What? Yeah. And he was like, yeah, we were walking around like, you know, Joey was like six one. It was so funny. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's so joke. And I didn't think about it. And then I was editing the footage later. Uh, and I was like, oh, shit. I rolled up the first day and he had lifts on. Yeah. <laughs> It's hilarious. Wearing lifts when you're so six five. I bought lifts. <laughs> and when I did the wrestling thing with John, I showed up at that wrestling event and I was like six eight. <laughs> like, I, was like, I was like, thank you. Thank you, Sam, for this little Nobody, tip. I like that. Dude, you can't, you, like, you can't be too tall. Like, he was like <laughs> six four. And I saw him. I was like, dude, I think you're like six seven and a half. And he was like, hmm. <laughs> he, probably, he probably had lifts on and I went to the to the wrestling thing I'm like I'm doing lift thing and I'm like sliding them into my boot I'm like 6'5 this is like nauseating why would I go in there and be like 6'8 and a half but I was what do <laughs> lifts there. look like they, you, like, they're like a little like, like the heel of your shoe you put them yeah, in regular you put shoes them on. yeah you're like standing on your tippy toe in your shoes what do you just do it just get them order them on out it's going to be TV. bigger you're than you like you're gonna see three and a half inches or whatever. Like, just get them. Just so it. you're just walking Fucking around jokes. with like your with like your heels slipping out of your shoe all day. No, no, no. You know, it doesn't. It's, you'd be shocked shit. at how seamless it is. Put them in your shoe and just like and literally inches? nothing. Yeah, yeah. yeah I get the biggest heels. one. It's like heels yeah. for a man, dude. Let's. Yeah, get, you're just I'm on gonna, your tippy toes in this. your shoes. I have some. What are you talking about? Let's get some. This is this is. It's like next week. Next week on PK, everyone's like this. <laughs> let's, I love that, Kyle. What do you mean, get some? I have lifts. Yeah. I have backup lifts. Actually? I have different yeah. kinds of lifts. I have lifts. the same fucking kit. No, whenever I, I remember when I had to do that shit with Richard Ryan, and Richard Ryan is legitimately like Richard uh, Ryan. Taller, He's fucking taller chill. Won't fit in a shoe. Yeah, Are those I got those. centimeters. Yeah, centimeters. Yeah, I've got those. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't want fucking Richard Ryan towering over me on the internet. I gotta get some lifts. I wore my big boy four, boots too. Four point four inches is crazy. That's like I didn't go crazy with no, it though. No, no. Like <laughs> I just tried to like match him. Tried to be in the same zone. Next time I see any of you guys in person, I'm gonna be bananas with the. Take your shoes off. You're like, <laughs> take you, take your it. shoes off. No, I can't. I have a I have a medical condition. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna be on stilts like a circus clown. Yes. Like, what? That's all you guys are tall. See, they don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm some fucking horror. <laughs> I'm gonna be hard. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take boner pills. I'm just be like well, I'm like what's up, dudes? I'm like penis pointing straight out. I'm like six <laughs> nine. Six foot nine. Two, I'm like everything's nine, normal. Goat thing. <laughs> You're always turning away to fluff. Then turn Turning back, <laughs> yeah. Yo, Wings told me to tell you that he wanted a reunion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's fucking roll up at his house. We'll get to the address from Keemstar. We won't even tell him. Like, you wanted that? You wanted that reunion? The We're all here. Man. I'm here too. I came too. Well, the <laughs> ultimate prank man. would be to hook a truck up to his house, and he would just wake <laughs> up and he's on the road. <laughs> yes, the ultimate prank: stealing his home, kind of with him like, in it. <laughs> I, I had never seen that footage wind. early uh, earlier of him with his wife in a wheelbarrow, um, but that was good stuff. Uh, I'm gonna have to go back and watch some more of that. Do you guys remember? Uh, yeah, watch that Keemstar video of them. It's gonna kind of chill. Do you remember that prior to the the survival trip, the the first one that Kyle and I did? Wings was excited, and he was talking about his opportunity to prove his manlyhood. He really had a lot of like machismo invested in this thing he wanted to prove all his naysayers wrong it didn't work out that way but he talked about that a lot he called lefty a pussy 50 times right yep. like it because lefty straight up said he's like no nope, camping's not for me uh he's like i'm actually a lot heavier than, than i look on camera and i don't want my big ass to be on on the survival trip he said he, like boom, and he's out chicago there. he was like i'm from chicago like yeah, I, I don't I don't belong in the woods. Right, right. Whatever. So, but those were the things that he liked to set out loud on air, and it's not for me. And, and Wings comes back with, "You're a pussy. You, you're not a man if you don't do this." Anyway, fast forward ten ish years, Wings has an opportunity to prove his courage again, and I think he's about to grand slam this is thing. Th- I'm excited for him. He's gonna do it. Is this it's the like, redemption of Wings of Redemption? It is. He beats up. It Wings. is. Yeah, you know what the real redemption would be? Not even beating up Boogie, just doing it. I think just literally he's 90% there, just going. Harley, you know I agree. Taking you. your shirt yeah. off and uh-huh. doesn't he yeah, take his shirt off, bro? He already did at the at the presser thing. I yeah. couldn't believe it. it. Doesn't the bravery. syndicate live right there in town? Isn't that where syndicate lives? <laughs> yeah, the whole country is like 60 miles wide. You can come over. 
fifty. Seems like he's you know already yeah. there. Maybe he yeah. could maybe he could Couple challenge Syndicate if he if he beats Boogie. That's what he should do. He should challenge Syndicate in the po in the <laughs> post fight. He should have that in his head. If you see him again, tell him. Oh like, my hey. god, that's fucking brilliant. I saw Boogie. I was like, bro, do you have a firearm on you? If you do, we fucking take over this whole country right now. <laughs> 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 like it's ready, bro. Yeah, he only fired those guns with fucking swords at the end, and those guys with the silly hat. There's no bullets in that thing. No, there's no bullets. I okay, silly you, there. Could, you could right be the king, country. bro. You could be the king. <laughs> yeah. He's like been the king for five days. You can go be the king. Yeah. We're seeing the Anyways. birth of the king of redemption with this bloodbath of Boogie. Because it's going to be a bloodbath. He's going to... The fight will end whenever Wings decides it's been enough. That's my prediction. I, you know what's going to be so crazy is... is I think if, Boogie's if going to fall. If, if he were a, oh, God forbid, I I would have fall to be honest with you, because I agree with you, Kyle. Falling is a big deal. Is it? Like that's a big. Understand. I don't have that. Four hundred yeah, pounds. Have, I would never have a fat friend. Obviously, you never been fat, Woody. You don't know what it's like. I've been fat before, uh, bro. You don't, you don't get see it. Our subreddit. I think I have. Been. <laughs> He's not fat. Fat. Now, Harley, you're you're doing a little stolen valor here, pretending your fat was ever like wings or anything. <laughs> <laughs> like, just, let's get real. You never right, like to had to get. You, you never had to get like inertia to get out of bed. <laughs> like, like building up momentum. No. And, and have her my back I putting on socks like, doesn't count. Has a boogie <laughs> had health problems? Well, like serious health yes, problems, yes. right? Yeah. Oh, that is a fused spine or something. Oh, and gastric God. bypass. But like, is uh, it some sort of? I I don't look. I don't know what I'm talking about. But I had this idea that because boogie is essentially round, that if he falls over, it's not going to be a slam. He'll just kind of like. I don't know, like a like pushing over a barrel. You know, it doesn't land that hard. It it's it gonna be on. like a garbage bag that's full of garbage and some yeah. and like two <laughs> ten pound barbells. Like, yeah. like they're just everything's gonna be <laughs> rattling around in there. The eggs are getting smushed. That old mm -hmm. bacon, that rotten stuff is just putrefied. We need like to do that thing where one cares. person gets on his hands and knees and the other pushes him over and conduct a science yeah. experiment. I, I I worry for his safety because I worry for the guy like on his hands and knees. You, that's a bad wings position. looks like he's swing hard like when he was hitting that thing I, mm -hmm. that's hard enough to hurt somebody that's hard enough to hurt yeah somebody. you get Boogie. like you know what's funny about boxing i got punched in the head so many times all that like the only thing that would have really taken me out like with john and i would have been like come me out of here take me home is a good bop on my nose i was i was thinking fucking, that's where this was gonna go fucking hurts man i've been punched you know, right on the nose sparring and that's the only time where like my eyes tear up my hands fall and i'm like uh, who, <laughs> this guy punched me in the face. <laughs> yeah. Like, I and so street. yeah, wings his punches. If he got me in the fucking nose, I'd be fucking crying. I got in a street fight once, and the guy broke my nose in two places, and just blood, so much oh. blood. I'm yeah, supposed to be did more that hurt like this. crazy. <laughs> no, it was disoriented, and I immediately was just looking to get out of the fight. Uh, I and also mm -hmm. exact same thing as Woody. Copy yeah. paste. Really? Man. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. I, and, that has and always worried me. I, I know I talk about bravery and cowardice. I, I don't typically just cower like that. Like I, 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 I rise. I swear it's true. But in that that day, just I was like I was out. I, All I, I leaned over and I just marveled at the tremendous blood puddle I was making as it poured out of my face. And thankfully, the guy just took his W uh, instead. Now. In fairness to me, one of my arms was paralyzed and in a sling, and I didn't want to get into a fight. And uh, when he hit hey, wait, me, what, what happened? What happened that someone's beating you up when you're in a sling? Where were you? Was this a doctor? I'll tell this quickly. <laughs> what happened was um, I had a tumor on my nerve here, and there was a surgery. There's this, you can't really see the scar, but there's a surgery there. And uh, um, I, it was like my first day out, maybe three days post surgery. You know, I went home and, but I was still on like painkillers and shit like that. And because the surgery was on my nerve, I couldn't move most of my hand. I couldn't feel most of my hand, stuff like that. And it was in a sling. And my buddies came over and they took me to the boardwalk. I lived in Ocean City. There's a boardwalk and we would walk on it. And on the walk to the boardwalk, we passed these drunks. Now, I'm in the back of my group of like five or six guys, four guys, four or five guys. And my buddy made a smart ass comment to the drunk people. And they like challenged us or something, like didn't just let it slide. 
So we all turn around. Now there's me in the front of the group, previously like <laughs> limping along, barely keeping up. We all turn around and now I'm in the front. That guy <laughs> and my friend are doing like the pre-dance, pre-fight yeah. dance, you know, step off, step off, get on my face, whatever. And uh, just as arm and sling, I reach across like this to like sort of hold my friend back or imply like, let's not get into a fight. And I even said those words like when we were still 30 feet apart. I was like, guys, I can't get into a fight right now. Like I, I'm yeah. one armed. And uh, they're like, yeah, it'll be fine. Anyway, as I reach across to block my friend, he hits me in the nose. It was a one punch fight. And uh, uh, this isn't a fight. You got ambushed. It's sucker punch. That's ugly. Your friend should have sucker punched that guy before you him. My friend got hit too, and his lip was split in the middle like a canine, and they oh, flapped no. back and forth. And ah. uh, yeah, we we didn't get any Ws Phoenix. that night. Like a yeah. dog man. I have another Bro, friend, friend who jumped in and, and who tried to like, who? you know, one v whatever three or four the remaining of them, and then my fourth friend fucking skedaddled <laughs> he just like he was the the lack Smart. of bravery guy that, <laughs> yeah that i, that I don't aspire brained. to be yeah you had um, one arm <laughs> no i kind of i'm like really How mad at the help? guy that punched the dude in the sling he became yeah. a professional boxer I looked him up. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. That, you gave him his confidence. <laughs> I honestly think that's how it played out. His name was like Bjorn Yo. Bjorgi or something. I mentioned Yo. him on the show. He's from Philadelphia. When did this happen? B Bjorn Bjorgi? 1992, 93, something like that. And uh, let's fucking, let's fucking sue him. Our fan base found him, and sure enough, he became a, a boxer. Uh, I don't know if he... Kind of makes the story better. Me, but, uh, but yeah, I may have... Really done that guy a favor. <laughs> he didn't knock you out. Yeah, he didn't knock went, you out though. The next day we went to like court over. Like the police did the thing, right? And I'm showing up. I've got a, a the sling. Like I'm in court. You're like he testifying. did this too. Yeah, <laughs> and the guy's like, "This is all fake. He didn't have that on last night." And uh, I'm flabbergasted at this claim. And I'm like, "What?" There's blood all over it. Look. <laughs> 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 and the judge was having none of this guy's bullshit. Now he may have not known that I was it was it was nighttime. Like mm -hmm. I don't know how he could have not known, but may not remember it drunk. correctly or whatever. He was drunk. But um his claim that like I was faking an arm injury. He thought it was a fighting stance. <laughs> <laughs> so uh uh the the guy was trying to say he wasn't the one that hit me and the judge was having none of that too he, and they found him on simple assault but he was like you keep talking and we're going to make this aggravated assault mm. and uh it, 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 it he got called for simple assault he was supposed to pay all my uh, medical expenses and he never i never got anything wow oh. bro you got to challenge him creator class 3 yeah, is he? What alive? if he's probably not like, a good idea? Way better than me. <laughs> then challenge. It's fine. I've been there. Challenge. It's it's Arlen, fine. You just told me to pick a weak gamer. <laughs> I heard you thirty minutes ago. Woody, if he's yeah, still healthy but it's and, fine. and he's still like a bruiser, you're above it. You're above <laughs> yeah, it. I mean, if, he, if he like got in a car accident like fifteen years ago, if he has one arm now. I'm taking him. Now it's time. But if he's still boxing. You can't, you can't even be bothered with that. I don't know if I want to take on a professional fighter, even if he's one handed. You should challenge him in something you're this good is what at, he, Kyle. If anything, his punches on are bog. even more deadly. Imagine <laughs> a professional fighter with one arm. How lethal those punches must be. How I'm just going to circle to his weak side all night long. <laughs> well, what like is his, that Bruce Lee quote? He's not scared of the guy that does a thousand. Kicks the guy that does one kick a thousand times or something. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. knows it's that one arm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's just yeah. a thousand punches. Yeah. With one the, the arm. classic quote: well, "Don't fear being kicked once. Fear being kicked ten thousand times." <laughs> 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 that's it's, it's true. Uh, <laughs> you don't want to be kicked ten thousand times to kill you. I, I would hate to get kicked. Yeah. yeah, I wish I had plastic surgery. I feel like I didn't. Taylor, your nose was broken. I don't know if it was a fight or not. No, I broke it in playing tag once when i was like seven my brother and i like ran around the corner at the same time and his forehead hit. oh me. i had that and it that like uh, to me too. it shocked me like but it was the same thing woody and kyle said we're like it wasn't the pain that scared me it was the enormous amount of blood because we were in the unfinished like hockey concrete area we had like a little net we were playing tag and i remember like the blood started pouring so bad that like i went 
to go through the the hall, the basement hallway that had carpet on it. And I like stutter stepped because I'm like, I'm going to get in so much trouble if I bleed all over it. But then I was bleeding so much that I freaked out. I did bleed everywhere and then went to the hospital. The second time was basketball and they had to like move everyone to the other side of the gymnasium in eighth grade yeah. because there was like, and it was, it was this dude on my own team. And I've said this before. It was the same dude who fucked was it his up head? this finger. No, he was on my team. We were both like dog shit at basketball. And so like they put me like they had like colored teams. And so I was like, it was like blue, gray, you know, like uh, black, green. I was on gray, dog shit, terrible. I, I, don't, I don't know if it was actually ranked by color, but I felt bad. And this other guy, he came down for even a our rebound. colors suck. Yeah, even our colors <laughs> sucked. Our shitty little pennies. Like, <laughs> and I remember this dude uh jumped up and phil grabbed the ball and came mm -hmm. down and it was like a total practice everybody else is already jogging back to the other side and he came down and started swinging his elbows so aggressively as though he was protecting it and i was the only person even close to him and he you know broke my nose on the same Ugh. same line he Barbie. elbowed you yeah he let's elbowed me and, let's and, and he was him. on my team there i have this ring finger doesn't bend right because uh this knuckle got broken and so it, it, it doesn't bend all the way down anymore that was from the same guy senior year of high school now also on the same team again we were both on the same flag football team and i grabbed matthew's uh flag and that's the end of it phil grabbed my hand to pull the flag out to like wave at the gym coach and he like grabbed onto the tip of my right ring finger and like broke it to the side and well, like, this ass, bro. let's fuck this guy. And so up. like the like the nail doesn't grow right. The nails all short and shitty. And I remember thinking like Taylor and what you do. Yeah. What you do is you pull it you and it pops short and shitty. What do you mean? It did. The it you don't have my, the tip of your finger. No, it's just I'll show it to you next time in person. It's, it's a little fucked Jesus. up. Jesus. But um, hmm. yeah, it was all to the side and it hurt a lot. But I didn't want to like go to the doctor or nurse or anything. And I had seen on TV or something that like, if you break a finger, you kind of just like pop it back. And I did. And it, it did not heal correctly. So, oh. yeah. Oh. You know that what? Another idea problem. would be to go to a doctor. That's true. But no, like, you but know, you know I, where I wanted to avoid doctors all the time when I can. You're Jewish. Like, How can you avoid them? They're at your family reunion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah, like it, like there's like two extra like bone nubs up here now that aren't on my other fingers. Mm -hmm. Like it's like wider and thicker and doesn't bend right. I don't know, but not cool. Two two lifelong injuries from from a well, not lifelong. You know, the broken nose was fine. The only other lifelong injury I've gotten in the past few years has been my my ass dent. Mm. which is I want to see that. that. It's starting yeah, to, you know, I'm I'm buffing it out. I've been doing I've been doing a lot of uh a lot of hip thrusts, a lot of glute bridges trying to is it to earn improving? my way back. It actually is. Yeah, but it's not uh it'll never, you know, I'll never have my lovely ass again. No, and I have such a wonderful ass. The calf on my broken leg is like 90, 95% back, but not 100. Yeah, it's if I stand with my ass like in the mirror the right way, like I can see like the big dent. Not a, I, I'm exaggerating the size of the dent, but it's it's enough that if you saw me naked, you'd be like, "What's wrong with the top of his oh. ass? <laughs> why oh. is the why is the why is the like lower part of his back? That's a damn shame. That's a damn shame. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know if I'd want to go on. That's just me. <laughs> that's, a, that's a suicide injury for Kyle. I don't know, man. It's I mean, with the finger, you know, if it fingernail. was just the finger or just the butt, I'd. Ah. Mm. But the combo, yeah. that's and the, the eyes. You would have, you would have ended it all by now. Oh, the eyes. You poor man. Yeah, I got. I can't. I couldn't. I can't imagine waking up and not being able to see. That's you just have to. I wake up like everyone else. You wake up. And then you wait fifteen to twenty minutes until everything comes into focus, <laughs> and then you and then you like everyone else, like so, like everybody else starts well, their day. I don't understand how to live life where you can't see well enough to find your glasses. Oh no! My, well, my if I'm wearing glasses, they're always like right on my bedside. And if there have been times though where like I have in my sleep knocked my glasses off the end table. And then, like, I wake up and I'm like squinting at it, and I'm like, I know I did, I know I did, and I'm like going around to surfaces around my house squinting, and then I'll think like, oh, I probably knocked it off. Do you just get the wife to find them ever? No, no, 
No, I'm an independent boy. Take care of it myself. Yeah, I'm not independent at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I ask you to get my glasses just because I don't want to get up. Nope. No, I, 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 I'm all. I'm over sure at some point I will need some glasses. I almost look forward to it. I, it it's it's a cool accessory, you know. Like 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 I I, I like your frames. I, I like I like all of your, your your frames that I've seen you you, you guys have. I'm all, I'm often envious. I'm like ah. Oh. <laughs> I wish. I kind of wish no. I needed some glasses. If I gotta, <laughs> maybe if I just struggled to read, like sometimes I keep make. I have the print on my phone on like the the smallest, and I, and I, and sometimes I do have to bring it close. And I'm like, ah, am I am I losing it? Is it time for glasses? Because I want them. It's like a it's like a fashion. That's state. indicative of nice. really good eyesight. That small font. My mm -hmm. daughter, when she sees my phone, she thinks it's hilarious. She's just like, this is such an old person font you're rocking here. You gotta. Uh, I don't throw stones at that. Yeah, yeah. You know, the, <laughs> you know the old person telephones they used to sell? With like the, oh, yeah. The oh, it's the jitterbug. The jitterbug. <laughs> oh, are you too much of a senile retard to call your grandchildren? <laughs> exactly. the, the jitterbug, jitterbug is please. so simple. The jitterbug looks... automatically turns off if you try and read a credit card into it. <laughs> <laughs> the jitterbug is so fucking simple. It looks like a child's telephone that you teach kids their numbers with. It, it, yeah. it's it's like eight but it's like nine buttons and it's just a big ass phone each button's huge uh i remember those commercials i bet they don't yeah. make them anymore I've, i don't know Jitterbug. If Jitterbug. <laughs> <laughs> that's it but gosh holy that's shit a that's a kind of oh that's a classic yeah, i feel that like is this is a phone you use school version of what my iphone looks like <laughs> god damn you call someone angrily oh. on there mm -hmm. oh i don't know that See, I they need the to show that, like, yeah, that's that, thing is, that thing's 14 inches tall. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a big clamshell phone. Like, like that takes up your whole hip pocket when it's folded. Oh, is yeah. that what you guys are talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had a TV commercial. I'm not familiar before. with that thing. Hmm. This yeah, is being, the more modern amazing. version of the Jitterbug, though. The one I remember is even more simplistic. The ones that were, like, you know, advertised on TV. Now, I mean, that's just straight up, like, modern, you know, Android phone or whatever. Normal phone. Or iPhone, I guess. But whatever. The, the front. Uh, though they they do have it turned up pretty big, I guess. I mean, the jitterbug is. Do you guys know anybody who like opted to go back to flip phones, and was like, I, I would smartphones. You would. I I, I would for fun on the internet. No, it's silly, stupid thing for me to say. Uh, what I meant to say is like I still want my iPhone. I just wouldn't mind doing all my phone calls talking on like a Motorola Razor. Motorola. I just want to take it out. Back. I want to have like the fucking. I don't know if you remember the ringtone you used to. Beep, boop, 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 beep, beep, beep. Hello, Moto. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I wanted to do that, and I want to pull it up and be like, "Hello," and then when I'm done, I'm like, Tch. "You're right." I, when I switched where. to the iPhone, it felt like it was a hundred steps forward and four steps back because it is the the clamshell opening up and fitting by your mouth and by your ear at the same time. Yeah. It's a better form factor for. It is. You know, the only one I've ever been envious of, the phone that I, I saw and I wanted, it was back when I think the second Matrix movie came out and it was full of product placement. Oh, they had the, they had the God, new they Cadillac truck, they had the new Cadillac four door, and they had these phones. And and when you went to answer the phone, you pressed the button and it went and it was like spring loaded on both it's, sides. Yeah, maybe? it came out like Morpheus used it. It was yeah, a sick ass the, phone. The, and that, okay, it was all the fucking. You gotta movie. get me the fuck out of here. And it was just like, <laughs> oh shit, I wanted that phone. And I remember having just the tiniest amount of money to my name at the time I was a child. And and that phone was three or four hundred dollars. You had to order it, and it was like that was way out of my price range. And it was shit. <laughs> that ain't it. That is not it, by the way. That's, that's the end a, gauge. That's a wild ass fucking device. Do you remember, remember that the side? Is that the end gauge? That's the taco that played games. I've never seen that. Yeah, this is a video games. game phone. It was supposed to be a phone and video game. It's called the end gauge. And you literally bought games for it. Like it had splinter cell on it. Holy shit. I, <laughs> I bet it runs on Skyrim now. Yeah, it would. You play Doom. Skyrim. And you held that's it like wild. a taco. Like you hold it sideways. Oh, I hate that. Do you remember yeah. like when the coolest thing was to have like the littlest phone briefly mm -hmm. in like the early 2000s? I remember a, a friend of mine yep. like went too in on that and it was like a little flip phone that could fit in the palm of your hand mm -hmm. that you would like <laughs> like go like that. And I remember even then in like eighth grade thinking like, damn, 
that's cool <laughs> yeah <laughs> and it wasn't yeah cool at all I, it was stupid I, see i liked it i because the thing was my dad's phone he had this thing that was in like a satchel that you had like um velcro he'd open it up and there was a phone with a curly cord that went down to a receiver yeah like he's calling command (laughs) yes he had an (laughs) antenna it had it was like a it was like a little leather satchel with a book with with a phone built into it it was so old school and and he was just like i don't why would i get a new phone this one works that was literally like a car phone yeah yeah and it was like a car phone you could take with you yeah i should get it somewhere else (laughs) <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to, but you had to have it plugged in. I think uh, at least. I yeah, you did. You had to have a power source. I think it plugged into your ashtray. Even. Yeah, God knows. And it was like a briefcase. It was like blasting into your your head the whole time. But but so I wanted the opposite of that. That's what was cool. And yeah, I remember at the Nokia store or whatever they had those little microphones. And I was yeah. like, oh, I wish, Dad, can I have the five hundred dollar microphone? It's like what. You, you'll fucking lose it. <laughs> no, we're all getting the indestructible Nokia ones, and we and we did. He was yeah. like, "Damn, Kyle, it's the gayest phone I ever seen in my life." <laughs> and then he hit yeah. you. It was, and I hate you. It was a bit of a effeminate phone, I suppose, to be so tiny. Yeah, you need a masculine but I, phone. But the phone I, I got and I loved um, was a Motorola flip phone that was blue, and uh, I want to say it had some weird claim to fame. The Razor. It was, Wasn't the it Razor? Was, I had the blue uh-uh. one, too. Oh, no, not a Razor. Okay. This was the like the was earliest cool. video phone or something like that. I think it had a color screen, and it had video capabilities. Let me see. The Razor. It. it was not a Razor. Are you sure the Razor had know. video capabilities, though? I'm, I know. This was before the Razor happened, though, like by a couple years. Uh, it, it's also the phone that Jim Halpert has on The Office, um, if that uh, helps. I noticed that one time. Not a uh, I don't know that. I believe you now. <laughs> yeah, it, it has this really distinctive look to it. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it, a manly it's kind phone. Of a, back in the day, your phone was distinctive, though, right? Everybody had a different one. You, it mm-hmm. was hard to pick somebody's You're phone. You're right. Away. You're like, oh, that's dad's phone there. Oh, that's mom's Yo, phone. back in the day, yeah. like, people had, uh, uh, first of all, we bought ringtones. Yeah. So like yeah, my phone, each. like my phone be sitting each. there literally and it would sit there and it, it it was the ugliest one, but I don't know why I liked it, but it would be like, pimp, pick up your phone. Pimp, <laughs> pick up your phone. You got hose calling. Hose calling. <laughs> pimp, pick up your phone. I swear it did that. And I would always be like, that's me. Hose <laughs> calling. Hi, mommy. <laughs> like I swear it was like fucking pimp. Shout out to Wings, yeah. dude. Yeah. There was a half, there was um, a half decade span where no phone ringing sounded like anything other than like tinny, no bass music. Country. Dude, I, I was, Bro. there was a friend of mine who had a ringback tone until yes! like 2020. Mm. Yes! And I called him on the phone and like fucking Blink 182 started playing yeah. tinnily. And I like had to text it was him. Crazy. After you and be call like, people dude, like Carter, what the fuck? People Does everyone listening know? Does everyone listening ago. know? Explain ringbacks. So ringbacks yeah. is when you would call someone on your phone, and while you're waiting for them to pick up, music plays to you. And it's annoying as fuck, and it's the same thing every time. There's no variation. And so, yeah, you call someone and be like, and then they'd be like, now if you want to go, I'm going to yeah. he, he, he told me. He was, he was like, I'm like, why do you still have this, dude? How do you still have a, a ringback? And he was like, dude, I have no idea. I've had the same phone number for so many years. I got a ring back in the mid 2000s and I still have it. And I'm like, you got to like change your phone number or something. How is 20? No, let's call him. (laughs) Call him on the podcast. (laughs) Call him on the podcast. I haven't called him in a couple years. I wonder if it's still there. That'd be funny. I don't call a lot of people though. Um, You know, so I I wouldn't even know, but that would be ridiculous. Uh, Well, I live, I live in Quebec. I live in Quebec. I want to tell you something about my culture. The, mm-hmm. the Quebecois <laughs> culture, not even my culture. Mm-hmm. French Quebecers never stopped calling. French Quebecers all have ringtones. Oh. <laughs> they, and, and when they ring, other French Quebecers still admire other people's ringtones. 
Oh, what? What's so happening? Like, like they'll be chill, and like the phone will be like, and I'm like, oh, like this happens. Yeah, literally, you're out, and you hear weird ringtone, and you won't even have to think twice. You'd be like, definitely Quebecois person, hundred percent. Quebecois people, uh, love him. Happy to be Quebecois. Happy to be from Quebec. When you go to the water slides or the pool, any Looney Tunes tattoo, French Quebecer, hundred percent. You can go around French Quebecois people love Tasmanian Devil. Why? They fucking love Tasmanian Devil. When I go to like the water slides, I play a game. How many Looney Tunes tattoos mm-hmm. can I count? <laughs> every fucking every every French dude has like a Tasmanian Devil, or they know a guy named Taz. They're like, he's crazy, this guy. We'll call him Taz. You know, Looney Tunes. And all the women, like, like that were hot or sexy at one point in their life, Tweety Bird tattoos. So that's Just what I've been seeing there, at public pools is French Canadians with Tweety Bird. What, you get to you see the Tweety Bird tattoo? I've seen a Tweety Bird tattoo. It was many years ago, probably at like fucking Disney World. You should hit him with a fucking, you know what she... him with a fucking bonjour. Could you gauge if she was formerly hot? No, I was probably 12. Like, you had been in puberty for three years at that point. Yeah. That's true. But at, that, but at, at, that, at that point, I didn't have gay. the register of a woman who used to be a tracker. He's gay. We know he's gay now. Oh, he's gay. That yeah, is that, true. That, that, that yeah. tracks. <laughs> Welcome. Now you're gay, Taylor, with all of us. Speaking oh, of, of gay, always. I thought Wings would have a kid by now. You thought so. He well, doesn't want children. Mm-hmm. No, he's a boxer. He doesn't want to. He's focused on his career. That. that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Oh, his uh, wife had cancer. Coming. I didn't know that. I. How sad. Oh, I hate it's, what I was saying at the exact. Didn't his dog die this week too? Oh my god! No, what, I, didn't you say like a cat or something? I had cat in my head also. I wasn't sure. Oh, Zach's not it's sure. A dog or a cat. Either way, a pet dying is pretty well, fucking awful. I gave him my phone number. What about a reptilian? At what point do you stop caring? Once you have like hedgehog, yeah. Fish? Once you have a relationship, how with expensive them. was the fish? He's known it for years. You're right. A fish dying is not sad. At but what point all the do you not ones. give a shit? You're not gonna. I'm gonna mourn if Woody loses one of his flock. I thought school. we lost it's a fish. School. We had. <laughs> I'd mourn more if his if his aquarium broke and the water Another all level came there. Out. Oh, that's a risk too. Yeah, we have a fish. He doesn't eat every time we feed, so you don't know if he's alive. Um, oh. I think he eats like bugs from the sand and shit like that. So uh, it's like gay he fish. So, he sometimes <laughs> misses a feeding. No big deal. Misses two. He missed six in a row. We're like mm. testing for ammonia to see if he's rotting in there somewhere. And then today, poof, swimming around. Oh, well, that's good. Well, good for him. Little, yeah. you need to give him a nickname. Like he's like, his name is I was just sleeping. He's for named six after days. Zeke is the name of the cowardly lion because he hides all the fucking time. So we name him Zeke. Good. I'm glad there's themes to, to the names and not oh, just yeah, yeah. like he looks like a Thomas. We the have a lion's made pair of name is fish. Zeke in Wizard of Oz. Wizard yeah. of Oz. Mm-hmm. Wait, yeah. what? What do you yes. mean, Wizard of Oz? He's the cowardly lion, though. Yes. He has a yeah. name. Mm-hmm. The yeah, uh, Zeke, the character that is I never he is in Kansas is Zeke. Oh well, that's see, that's wait, that's what? A different character, oh, if you when Google she has the, the dream of the people, yeah, it's Zeke. Oh, I Zeke. forgot about that whole element of. I the think film. he's a coward in Kansas too. Yeah, you forget about that because it's right at the end, right? Yeah. Where you get that reveal. Yeah, yeah. And I remember and like, I at I the end Zeke, of that, if I were Zeke and and I am this little girl, like uh, she's not a little girl, she's a full adult. Yeah, she was. Yeah, you, uh, you guys know I'm straight, right? Yeah, you've been clear Absolutely. about so that. So if I were Zeke and I'm at this house and this like full adult woman wakes up, she's like, I had a dream in it. You were in it and you were in it and you were in it. I'd be like, boys, I think there's a girl who wants us to fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> like we just, the first thing she does when she wakes up is tell she's dreaming about us guys, all three of us. Yeah. She's like, you were a lion and you were made of metal and metal you were fucking so flexible i'd be like bro let's fucking tear this bitch's ass up right now boy there's a hole for each of us i'm like everyone smells bad because they're in a dust storm it's crusty yeah that i remember even at the end of uh wizard of oz thinking 
like I get she wanted to go back home because she missed everyone, mm-hmm. but it was a it was a br- very brief window of like I'm back, and then it's like yeah you are, like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like <laughs> you kind of suck here, doesn't it? Like you always getting blown away. I think, I think those books go on and on with like lots more crazy shit. You know, the movie just kind yeah. of like, that makes sense because she spent her time terribly in the movie. No, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. like you want to start like just like you want to leave. This whole area right now. Just want to yeah, they just had won the war or whatever. Like the the yeah, the, you like, know. Right, so take so mushrooms that here. That makeup that they had on the Wicked Witch, that green shit, yeah. stained her skin for a long mm-hmm. time afterwards. Yeah, her. Uh, she did a guest spot on Sesame Street because she loved children. They deemed it too frightening. She wasn't in makeup. They deemed her real face too frightening to the children, and they oh, didn't I... air her Sesame Street episode. It's really I sad. thought that was one, of, and then someone Julie hung Garland on set. They had Judy Gar- Julie Garland on methamphetamine to keep her thin, um, and uh, they were taping her breasts down. And that snow um, in the poppy field is not snow; it's asbestos. Yeah, to make it. And those in dwarves, the those dwarves were once um, mm-hmm. um, tall men that they crippled for the sake of the film. <laughs> I they heard they weren't even alive at the time. They had exhumed corpses and were puppeteering them about. There were Pretty some, grim. The, the flying monkeys were mostly um, Japanese corpses from the war. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's true. I don't doubt it. Times were different. Yeah. Times were strange yeah. back then. They just went down to the internment camp. This makes me question the things about the skin in Sesame Street now. No, that's no, no, that's legit. Did yeah. you know I there was this uh uh I was it I, I listened to like three podcasts, uh so I don't know which one it was, but uh they spoke about maybe one of you guys this, but they spoke about like this napalm, the first time that napalm was invented at mm-hmm. Harvard, which Harvard acts like they didn't invent napalm, Best. even though they fully did, and they were trying to come up, they were like, Well, what could we do to Japan to get them real good? And someone was like the houses are made of paper. Why don't we burn it? Um, and like one bombing mission, when they invented napalm, they like dropped napalm all over uh, cities that killed like 500,000 just people because yeah. all their houses just burnt. Everything burnt. The whole fucking thing was just raised. Uh, and we don't talk it about great. it because like a month later, they got double nuked. Yeah. So no one thinks about that. Uh, series I feel of like I'd rather get nuked than be napalmed in my paper home. You see, am I wrong? You say that. Well, Agreed. the thing is, where are you uh, in relation to ground zero? It's on my. It, I get crushed by the bomb. It falls and that <laughs> kills me. The they, metal <laughs> falls on my head before it even explodes. They aim for that. There's grade. time for my family to be like, "Fuck!" And <laughs> then it explodes. Have you ever seen that Japanese like animation of everyone in like slow motion being melted by the bomb, and their like eyes are exploding and stuff, and the children yeah. are screaming? It's pretty heavy metal. Uh, mm-hmm. But you're absolutely right about the fire bombing, and not only what we, what they did in Japan, but. You know, in Europe, and, in, and, and I think Dresden, um, they have like a day every year in Germany where they fucking have like a Dresden Remembrance Day and, and shit on the Allies. Um, they, they firebombed all those cities. Yeah. I'm not sure how deadly nukes really are. And this sounds crazy to say, right? Like, they're, they're the most deadly thing mankind's ever created, which might be true. But they kind of act like, okay, when I was in a teenager or even a younger kid than that, like in the 80s, there were these shows on like the day after tomorrow that just showed like all of America, everything living was gone. All the trees, everything, the entire that was a virus. country leveled to the ground. No, it was a nuclear, nu- nuclear ac- really? attack. Yeah. From the Russians. And uh, people would stay underground. People who had like bunkers and could hide for a while would not be sure if they could come above ground or not. And uh, they just made, these things sound so horrific and the bombs so powerful and the aftermath. So you know how many people died at Chernobyl? What does Chernobyl have to do with anything? A few it's hundred. a nuclear no, no. Uh, power plant that blew up and it's, it also has a, the blowing out. up part didn't matter about anything though. The, the explosion was just <coughs> a, like a pressure pop. Uh, you know, I feel it, like it kind of like, you can't, fell, it, it fell it, apart. they had to put out, it a fell apart fire. more than it, it blew 31 up. 31 people I died. Like, from that. But, how many people died from Hiroshima? Like in the 31 people. I think it's a really low number. 
uh, his axis is much bigger. But but, uh, oh, that's the napalm um, that killed him. And that's people. also like what the Soviet uh-huh. Union was reporting as far as deaths. Like all those all right, towns so, and shit that got fucked up. Like they, they So, so I, I think the Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the death poll is like uh, a couple hundred thousand total. Could... But you've also got to take into effect with Chernobyl in particular, the increased cancer rates across all of Europe there. That That's a whole different than a, a, a nuclear detonation, right? That was a nuclear mm-hmm. fire just spewing radiation. I wonder how those cancer rates compare to New Jersey. I would say I they, I, I bet they win um, over there, uh, downwind from. We're Chernobyl. no lightweights in Jersey. My whole family's um, had cancer. And someone they're like, I don't even have cancer, and I live in Chernobyl. They have but, like, but, but you three know, you're talking, nu- yeah. you're talking about nuclear, <laughs> and they're war a stump. And, and especially when those films were made depicting nuclear war. Right now, I think the U.S. Had, and and uh, the Russians have like four thousand five hundred nukes each, roughly like four thousand five hundred warheads each. But they've cut way down mm-hmm. um, back in the, the 70s or whatever. I don't remember when they hit their peak, 70s or 80s probably. It was, it was more than that, a lot more. Maybe 10,000 each, maybe 15,000 each. hard to estimate. Each. The number's giant. It, it, it was absurd. Mm-hmm. And, and so if they did that, and they all have trajectories mapped. It's not like there'd be a part where they're like, where should we send this one, Isaac? Like, like they're, they're, There's a big button, and they all just launch. If they'd done that. Then I think that the we go into a, like a nuclear winter where it changes the the weather of the planet, and then there's so much dust kicked up that's irradiated that all the dust is just making this big rotation around the planet with the kicked up irradiated. Do you really heavies. think that happens if we launch these missiles? That this well, there's a there's winter. a there's a website there's a website that you can select the nukes. And mm-hmm. then like drop it where you live or wherever, and then see what would happen. And you could choose all these nukes, and <clears throat> everyone likes to use like the fat boy or whatever, like the big one. But apparently, there's like like none of those. There's like very Whoa, few right. of those. And and the nukes that are actually the, like a lot that we talk about are uh, I don't want to be like tactical nukes, but like they are they are not meant to pulverize the entire USA in there one are- nuke. There are thousands of city killing size n- nuclear weapons. Uh, yeah, we can lose a couple cities, are. though. We still good. Not a couple cities. Well, you lost, lost. You live in the USA. There's a couple cities lost right now. Already. You can, you can Google like, no simulations nuke. of what happened, would happen if, like, especially during the Soviet area, if both sides had launched their missiles. It's a, it's a global catastrophe. It's not like. Bro, people coming. in Flint, Michigan wouldn't even be able to drink water after these nukes. <laughs> they I don't think they'd be able to see the sun. <laughs> You know, like I think when I think about nukes, I think about the the craziest like with nukes, and um, I feel like like the the I feel like I get I'll get shit like at the 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 dinner table for this one, but I feel like Israel with nukes is wild. Israel's had nukes for a long time. Yeah, I, that, but that's what's wild though. Yeah, that's because that's it, like though. if you think if you think about like a person who's been through it before. And like, like that's the person that'll use a nuke. Like that's the person that's like, you know, shows up the next day with the gun, and it's like, whoa, bro, we were just joking, and it's like, no, you weren't. I know how this shit goes, dude. So I, I see, like, I see nukes the exact same way as guns. I will, I love seeing every country with nukes. I think that the world will be safer. If we encourage nuke ownership, it works. Uh, if everyone has a nuke, nature. nobody has a nuke. If everyone has a nuke, that. no one has one hundred percent. You don't think Trinidad and Tobago deserve a few dozen? Hmm? Both. You know what? Both of them. Trinidad Taylor. and Tobago. Well, it's the same country. So Taylor for <laughs> emperor. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Everyone should get a nuke. Yeah. No, I just feel like uh, I feel like if there are just like uh, yeah, nah, we just we had a meeting and. Uh, we decided we're bringing the Holocaust back. Uh, I know you guys probably aren't down, but they would just be like, okay, take it out the fuck, turn the two keys, let's fucking blow ourselves up, let's take out the whole fucking, the whole Middle East is just going to be, the whole country will be fucking They're going to bring it all here. down, like Samson. Yeah, whole suicide, they would do that shit. They'd be like, no, we're doing Samson. it to every, don't, you can't, you can't. Yeah, yeah. No, I always just think about like the extreme measure, pretty extreme of, USA to drop two nukes back to back. It's really like cocky. I'm, I'm a huge fan of Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid. And um, I just like being in Japan. Like I just saw that like Hideo gets a lot of hate there. 
in some ways because people are like, why would you love the USA? And a lot of his art is like American military based, mm-hmm. like special tactics. And they're like, how could you be so obsessed with something that literally nuke does twice? And I'm always like, oh, that is an interesting dynamic. Yeah. Even though his whole angle is about war and how like what war is. And I'm like, kind of makes sense that he would be a obsessed with it to an extent i can understand it you know mm-hmm. but some people react differently they're like bro if i got nuked by that country i would never sit there doing art about it or telling stories or making characters that are like american and even though the whole thing is about disarming nukes it's still you know it is like a fascinating thing to think about that yeah. it's like you know your recent history your recent yeah. country history is well, we uh, like wouldn't let them have a military for a while like do shit and like what's that. crazy is that they they thrive japan's like japan thrives japan is like like if if, if it's a game of civ japan is doing pretty well on their way to a, a cultural victory <laughs> you got like fucking every american kid in high school like there's like 40 percent of them are dressed like fucking japanese cats or like <laughs> <laughs> they're like 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 weebs are very common yeah, like they're very, very common. Yeah, I, I like and, that about uh, the the cultural victory of Japan. They like, you can't keep them down. You nuke them twice. They're fucking making perverted uh, vending machines. You tell them they can't have a military. <laughs> they don't give a fuck. They're gonna draw stuff that will upset you more than any gun pointed in your face ever. Could. <laughs> Japan cannot be stopped. I think yeah, we should all Japan's take a lesson great. from Japan. And their food's yeah. great. I like. Uh, I think everything. Also, looks clean. listen. I think like uh, I think about like Koreans like I I grew up uh, you know went to like high school at the end of the 90s you know mostly like like early 2000s mm-hmm. and it was uh not an easy place for an Asian guy to pick up a girl mm-hmm. um and you know I had a friend actually Freddie Freddie Wong uh he was like when Tinder first started he was like he told me that he had created an account with because he was just not having luck on the on the site mm-hmm. on the app and he created an account with like a beautiful asian dude who was like a model and who was like very well renowned there and you know was loved there and it was like a, a, a classically a very good looking guy still did not do well on tinder with that with with a, with a believable profile and this friend so you know he made a fucking believable yeah. you know he didn't Little look like oh, you're run-of-the-mill catfish bullshit um and he was like, yeah, it wasn't good. And I asked him actually, like we were playing Call of Duty like uh, like a month ago or something. And he had said that. And I was like, so I, I got to add, it feels like the Asian male stock has risen in my lifetime. I couldn't imagine like uh, <clears throat> it would be easy for an Asian guy to pick up a girl when every single movie portrays the Asian guy as like the horny comic relief or something like that. Sure. Or it's like a white guy playing it with fake teeth and fucking thick glasses or some shit. <laughs> but now it's like K-pop popping off. A lot of like American teenager style are taken from like, you know, they, like even the hairstyles, the clothing, a lot of it looks like it comes like right from like K-pop, J-pop. And there is like a, a, a love. Girls got love for like feminine looking guys these days way more like back in the day it was like you want that big stupid jock you know that big fucking dumb jack dude you know but like people like aren't people's tastes are so broad these days and i feel like the stock of asian men has risen in my lifetime uh and i i go out i do see like you know or online whatever i see like you know asian dudes doing well fucking smoking babes and i can't, uh, I can't say i've I, ever noticed that about asian guys but i'm glad to see they're they're on the rise according yeah, to tinder never, they're the yeah. it's the they're playing the game on hard mode the yeah. asian men are getting the fewest amount of uh, matches that's a, that is a fact do they get the fewest of everyone yeah they're the that's the asian women do fine but Asian men is uh, it's like the response rung. rates the lowest. Yeah. Well, yeah. then that sucks. That's a tough place to be. Hopefully, yeah. it's well. But it's I, 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 I can't think of like you know like when I was in high school, there wasn't, you know, like I had a couple cool Asian friends. None of them like had a girlfriend in high school or anything like that. And I never stopped and thought about it until Freddie said it to me like literally like 
seven years ago when he was like when Tinder first started, he was like, Oh, you don't get it, bro. Because I was What's like, Tinder, man, you must um I didn't ask him specifically. Mm. I should. Uh, but we uh I know he does a podcast. Um and uh I mean what's he doing? He's getting fucking stacking fucking W's in Warzone with your boy, me. <laughs> Roger that. That's what he's doing. I do, I do like I, I I'll play like Call of Duty with him and because I'm also three hours ahead. Um, you know, I'll play like at, at eighty at times. I'm up at like two thirty and uh I'll be playing with him and you know, Nico from Quarter Digital, and I'm just like, man, this whole YouTube thing was crazy. But if there's one positive that I got from all this, is that like I have other late night idiot gamer friends right now. Yeah. Like, you know. It's weird when you're um, like a way bigger idiot. Like, like I, I played um, Tarkov a lot. I played till like 3 and 4 a.m. Because my friend Larry's from California and he's <clears> playing till like 1 a.m. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, well, that's yeah, we're, we're all irresponsible fools here. And then right? they say some shit yes. to you. They say some shit. They're like, fuck, bro, it's 1.30. You're like, ah, crazy. I think <laughs> I've told it's you before. It's like almost five for you. <laughs> I think I've told you before, Harley, if you ever want to like dip your toes into rust, it's a real fucking... Oh, you told me that. I do. I want to. <sighs> you got to like set aside Stories. a week. And like, we got to like, it, it doesn't need to be like, hey, you want to play rust this week? You got to be like, how about July? July 24th through the 31st, we play rust. How about that? It's got to be like that. Because okay. like, I got to get my boys in order. Like, we got to practice up. And like, should, I, well, should I get inside. a bunch of hash or should I get a bunch of Coke? Both. You don't <laughs> know what mood you're going to be in. Coke. You're going to. That's going to make um, me sweaty and anxious. And, like, no, the shaking. funny thing is. You like, just balance I, it. Out. We're all stoned. <laughs> I did too much coke. I need more hash. <laughs> we're all so stoned when we're playing usually, and like hours will go by and nobody has said a word sometimes. And it's like, yo, I've got enough cloth now. And somebody just go, cool, let's make <laughs> let's make let's make the bows. And like everybody's this this like gear in a machine. They yeah, we all yeah. know what each other is doing, and we're just grinding away at these monotonous video game tasks, yeah. hitting rocks and trees and shit. It's a... Uh, <clears throat> The fun part of that is when you when all that work pays off and you get to be mean to people and like talk a little bit of shit too. And soundboards are fun, so we'll be outside people's bases, like not letting them leave their base playing like mean soundboards and shit. So that's usually fun. <laughs> yeah, that's oh yeah, fun. like two hours ago almost I said I was on mushrooms. I hadn't finished my thought. So I was interrupting someone. I didn't want to have a whole thing. Um but I was I was on mushrooms. And I was like kind of bad tripping with like my buddy. We were not bad tripping, but we just couldn't get onto it. We were like, ah, like uncomfortable. We were inside. It was ugly out. We couldn't go outside. So we're inside. Like your TV's bad and weird. Everyone like looks strange. It's all fucking weird. And then like, I like just like let YouTube kind of like roll onto the next video. And it went to like Trump. And man, <clears throat> did the fucking buzz smooth over. <laughs> we had the best laugh just watching Trump be Trump. Nonstop, always being Trump. And it was like it and we, before this, like it went from Trump and then it would go to like old school wrestling promos and then it would yes. go back to Trump and it was recommended and we were just like Trump is like a fucking nineties wrestler with mm -hmm. this shit. <laughs> like he was fucking killing it. And I'm not listening, he wouldn't have had my vote. But fuck if he was not the most entertaining man alive. Just, you know, I guess this is what wasn't affecting my life. So I could sit and laugh about it anyways. But like, fuck, man, he, I, I, like, I saw the appeal of people with him. Cause like, I'm like, bro, this guy's hilarious. Everyone here is taking it seriously and he's doing his thing. Yeah. He's doing his thing. He's always doing his thing nonstop. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. shit, like, like you said, pulling out the, like, why well, whip it out? Like, pulling out the paper. We were cracking the fucking binders everywhere and all the documents. And, like, we're remember like, when he, not... remember when he, ha he had the fast food for all <laughs> yes. the, the athletes that time? It was like some championship oh, team. It was a, um, the funniest sort of government taken. shutdown and there was no budget or yeah. there, there was no catering. So he just bought fast food for him. Nobody yeah, loved yeah. McDonald's. He loved McDonald's. He, he always loved McDonald's. McDonald's. He loved yeah. McDonald's, but he made a point to be like, not everyone likes McDonald's. Some people like Chick Fil A. Some like Domino's. We've got something here for everyone. <laughs> something here <laughs> for <laughs> everyone, folks. And then pull up the picture of him standing there, arms no wide, Bell. proudly with Taco Bell in front of him. It's it's the best photo of a president. 
<laughs> this should be his presidential portrait. Bro, this is literally <laughs> why like this is literally why Epic this is why Epic Mealtime can't exist anymore and get the views it used to. Like how am I gonna compete with that? How can I compete with the fucking president? So you that can. room that he's in, um, the president chooses how that room is decorated. The reason it is all gold and gaudy, hmm. he chose all of that. Or somebody working for him. Yeah, no shit. Like look he's, at those gold ass now. candelabras or whatever. Ooh, candelabra. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, he made it work. You got to give him credit. Oh, of course. Like, I mean, uh, the the football players are like having That's a fun a time anyway, birds. just I hanging around the White House. College probably. national champions. Does that sound right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They You're have right. the nugget sauce and silver bowls. <laughs> I, I like that. I never noticed that. Jesus Christ. Yeah, um, you know, Trump is a is a real showman. I'm looking forward to uh, to his. You know, do you think he'll skip the, the debates? Show. He's talking about he's talking <clears throat> about skipping the debates, which isn't so, typical for a uh, when there's no incumbent. The incumbent skips the debate all the time, but not usually the primary. I like could the, see him doing a thing where during the debate he does his own thing and uh, his competing show, you know, on some other network or something, and that'll still be entertaining. I, I think we'll still get our dose of Trump being Trump. Uh, I do like having his opponents there, but uh, but if he doesn't want to do that, that's probably ca- a calculated you know thing. It it does make them look bigger to be in the room with him. You yeah. know, it, him sort of having the point of please, there are challengers. I'm not. I'm, I'm not. Not only am I the incumbent, I'm the sitting president, technically speaking, and I'll have that sorted out legally once I get back into the White House. Tell him. I struggle to put my bias aside sometimes. And in this situation, I'm like, you're skipping the debates, you weak pussy pansy coward. Harley wouldn't skip the debates. Harley would go in no. there, get lose a punched out of the ring, <laughs> get the fuck back in like a man. Trump, on the other hand, running like a coward. However, I can't completely deny the tactical logic of it. He's up by what forty points, something crazy like that. The oh, debates, the yeah, yeah. The, right, the debates yeah. aren't going to help him. It's not like he needs to stretch that to fifty. It's yeah. only lose. Yeah, I don't hear One about the Santos being this, like. I just don't. I've watched a couple of clips of him. That guy's boring. He's, He's getting his boring. ass kicked by a cartoon mouse right now. I just, who cares? So there was a moment yeah, during like the him. the town hall when, oh, what did she ask him? <laughs> God, what? Who's in the state? boat? That's Trump. Is this an um, AI image? Oh my god. Who oh knows? my God! Who does he? Oh, that's does Sarah Huckabee in the in the boat. It there's, is Sarah Huckabee. There's Bolton in the. Wait, who else can we find? Uh, uh, that's his wife. That's the easy one. Oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah. The mustache, mustache guy. Mustache, 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 mustache guy? guy's John Bolton. Yep. Okay. Man, they uh, always fucking draw him like he's not a fat ass. It's so funny. Yes, they always draw. They <laughs> think like, like forty pounds off. He looks drunk. great there. Is They're that Mike Pence generous. maybe holding the flag? That's a lot yeah. of thigh gap for they a man no of his idea. size. I think but you know what? Real, that boat would be rocking. He has he he's lo- he's still fat as fuck, but he's lost weight since he stopped yeah. being president. And if he became president again, all that weight will come back instantly. Instantly. I think that's and Jeff more. Sessions, but like sort of in the sitting down in front of Trump ish. Oh, there's his daughter. No, no, Behind that him. Jeff Sessions is like blue poncho on. Dude, this shit Perhaps. sucks. Yeah, Who did guy, this? Who made these? Yeah, these I'm not terrible. Oh, that's his daughter. Oh, okay. Ugh. Yeah. Fan of her. She's great. Yeah. She should be president. Wait, his daughter painted that? <laughs> uh, no, she was about? in it. I said <laughs> oh. no, no better than that. No, I'm looking forward to the Trump show, man. He he puts on a good show. Um, uh, there was that moment during the debate, I remember now, where she said, uh, yesterday you were found guilty. And he was like, and my polls went out. <laughs> like that, like immediately before she could finish her question. It's like, yesterday you were found guilty, civilly liable for sexually blah, blah, blah. And my poll numbers went out. Like and the crowd's like, yeah. That's Santos you, has no chance. Was, seemingly, that was like ten minutes in. It, we'll see. There was I a think, time. There was a time. It's gonna hurt him. I think Maybe. so too. No way. So too. You don't think so? God, no way. No way. Like, we'll don't you? I've been wrong about this speak? many times. Don't you? Like, I know. We, like, I've like I've seen it, man. People do not care. It's so crazy. People used to like cover up their weird shit even online people used yeah. to say weird shit behind anonymous name tags you're right God, there's no one cares anymore really people are wild now you shot a guy on fifth avenue 
However, when he goes to the general, being a convicted rapist is a problem. Like the Republicans put that pedophile up in Alabama mm. and he lost in Alabama in the general. Yeah, yeah but you see him, but that's, that guy's not funny at all. It's, true. It, it is different. Sucks. It is different, right? <laughs> he pulled that six shooter out. Is Trump so a convicted this rapist? is touchy touch time. I exaggerated. He's a for it. sexual assault. He's convicted of. Oh. Of a minor, probably, though. They like them young. I'll say this about the Republicans. They, they like them young. You know, you can't deny it. Uh, you rarely see them in a sex scandal with, like, a 19 or 20-year-old, something that you could kind of get behind. Oh, all like, of that. Hollywood, too. I can't believe I figured out every human's a piece of shit and everyone's a pedophile. Everybody Literally, likes them young. Pandemics changed yeah. my shit, bro. I How young's no too young, Harley? Anymore. I think I've asked you. Oh, no, I've asked you this before. Never mind. We don't need to rehash that. Dude, I saw, Wait, I saw I say? the I saw the say? Funniest you, I want to make there. a new you, quote. Wait, I want to make a new quote here. Wait, he's got me. You he's said got a me higher than average there. number. I think you you only wanted to date someone who was like twenty seven or twenty eight or something or above. Or that's right. Like, Revise that. <laughs> yeah, you you no, wanted all right. those young ladies out there to know. Hey, if you're twenty six or below, get away from me. Get away I'm and stay away. I'm with someone. I'm with someone younger than that. I'm younger than that. You're saying wait your turn. I lied. Dude, I the, tell the, you I lied uh, on the podcast. Yeah, you know, I don't remember <laughs> what you said, honestly. I, I just remember it was a little bit higher than because I'm always. Like, no, we have to. Oh, we did the math, right? We got to divide our uh, age oh, and then we got to divide our age right by wrong. three and add two. <laughs> I, think that's that's equation. Equation. I don't need algebra. <laughs> right wrong, dude, I love I, dude, a mathematician whose entire reason is finding a new equation that lets him be a pedophile. Like, that's, that's, <laughs> they always go over like 12 year olds in this scenario. That's what, that's what the math. Yes, it is. Uh, I just love math. It is X. no other reason I do these equations. It's like, yeah, but you're obsessed with consent math. Like, <laughs> yes. I just, ever, I change the algorithm every year so that it ends up with 19. I'm like, those are the rules. It's the unwritten rule. What do you want? You're supposed to divide by three and add two. I don't know what to tell you. Dude, the, uh, you said something about like the, the conspiracy, the, the pedophile thing. I saw, because like most conspiracies eventually get to pedo stuff. And I saw one thread on Twitter. This was last week that like, very entertaining. It was going through this guy, a bunch of posts about how dinosaurs totally fucking made up a ridiculous lie not real okay. blah 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 all that he's mm. like the fucking the bones are are radioactive but the bones aren't there and like just a bunch of shit and like you get to like the bottom bit of it and would you believe it the dinosaur fakers also pedophiles shit mm. it's all did you see that it's... did you see that coming no <laughs> these I guys can't that. even focus enough on faking dinosaurs they love kids so much like that's Everyone I do like that conspiracy apparently. theory the, that that dinosaurs are fake because you know the word dinosaur didn't exist until like 150 years ago or something like that. We didn't. No one had ever. Obviously, the the story is that for for all of time we've been finding big bones and not knowing what they were, and that. But the other side says we never saw a dinosaur bone before, and then suddenly they're everywhere. And oh, they look like this, and here's how they sounded. They think it's a big conspiracy. Yeah, but they like they take shit that's true and extrapolate it to a million. They where they're that's like, did you works. know that these skeletons they're extrapolated from, from tooth bones? And it's like you can't debate okay, them. Have like, you ever true sometimes? But like that doesn't mean this shit's like a whole cloth and throw it away. <laughs> like there's a lot not? of incentives involved for them to make it. But you ever you ever speak? Stuff. Go ahead. No, I don't want to. That their uh, <laughs> discovery was more significant than it really was. That's how they get grants. That's how they keep going. That's how they yeah. keep their jobs. <clears throat> but that, yeah. yeah, that applies. Oh, to every that's part interesting. Of research. Well, I yeah. always thought it was. I thought it was crazy. Like, you, like if you've ever been in a debate with a flat earther or someone like that, is the um, fake moon landing? They know so much more about the subject than you do. I have a whole new respect sure. for flat earthers. I want to squeeze it in before the really. Let's do it. Yes. Here's the thing that I have learned about flat earthers. You think that what they're telling you is they think the earth is flat. Nay, nay, nay. That's not the point of flat earthing for a tiny percentage, maybe. But overwhelmingly, what flat earthers are telling you is that they don't believe fuck all unless you really prove it to them. 
right? So if you tell them there's a hole in the ozone, they're like, fuck you. I don't believe you scientists. Unless you can somehow demonstrate to me how there's a hole, I don't buy it. They don't buy anything you're telling them without a lot of proof involved. And, and I think about what I believe, what I know, so much of what I know is just blind faith, blind faith. True. I'm, I'm, I'm learning about how carbon dioxide raises the, lowers the pH in a fish tank or the ocean, same thing. Mm-hmm. And uh, basically what happened, you think pH is a measure of acidity, and it is, but it's actually a measure of the free hydrogen ion sitting in the water, right? So when carbon dioxide introduces itself into the water, it becomes like hydroxide acid or something. It's like H2O3. And then that loose hydrogen goes and goes in the water and it lowers the pH level, right? I've learned how this works and the, the covalent bonds and shit. I'm coming up to speed on it. It's all making sense. Cool. I don't have any proof of any of this. I don't know. It is all blind faith. I, I I can't tell you what's happening on the that hydrogen atoms are separating from like calcium carbonate or whatever the fuck is happening. But it can be proven. That's something that you could look at under an electron microscope and watch happen. You know, and then the proof is in the pudding, right? When the chemistry comes out, like math. But yeah, but he's operating on. Say, I don't believe it until you prove it to me, right? Till you show mm-hmm. me. So, and I'm just trusting that the people who can prove it have proven it and that the peer reviewed research and, but none of it is being proven to me. And that's what flat earthers are saying. They're like, mm. I, I can prove the earth is round with photos and pictures and curves. And, you know, we could take two 15 foot poles and put them long enough that they're not level anymore or whatever. Right. Um, mm. they're, they're like on a beach or something like that. Yeah. But I, there's not saying the earth is flat. They're saying, Prove everything to me. Yeah, they're mentally and I don't ill. Take is anything the on faith. <laughs> but you, you can't live your life that way, though. Right. Like, like every step of the yeah. way, your boss, like you're the construction site. You're like, hey, I need a, I need three meters of, of concrete over here. Pfft. Concrete's not even real, man. You know the Roman. <laughs> you tell me the Romans. The Romans invented that shit thousands of years ago, and we're still using the same stuff. Why don't they? You want some Romans? Portland, some- try the Jews. <laughs> so that's not a real one, though, right? They know <laughs> concrete's real, but a better one is Do from that. my own experience. For the for until I was like nineteen, I didn't really know that medicine worked. Not really, not for sure. Did Motrin cure my headache? Like, I don't or did know. time pass? Like, ninety yeah. minutes later, your headache kind of went away. I was going to do that anyway. I don't fucking mm. know. Taylor nailed it on the head, right? It wasn't until I had strep throat. That got worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and so bad I couldn't swallow. I couldn't eat. I was getting really, really ill and weak. And I went to the doctor and he was shocked by how bad I had let my strep throat on get, become. But I was a dumb 19 year old. Didn't know to like didn't think to go to the doctor soon mm-hmm. enough. My mom always handled that decision making. And uh, then they gave me something sell in and in like an hour, I'm better. This had gotten worse for like 16 days in a row or something insane like that. And in an app, yeah. cause and effect, right? That's when I learned medicine worked. I was a flat mm-hmm. earther with regards to prescription oh, medicine shit. or Motrin or whatever. Mm-hmm. I can just, not that I'm a flat earther, but I can imagine how somebody would be. That's all. Did you know there's you. actually another layer of it that I found? Like, Tell not me. all of them think, well, I, I don't know if this is divisive within that community or not, but some of them think that it's like, there's an ice wall. Most of them think the ice wall thing and that Antarctica isn't a little continent at the bottom of the planet. It's actually a ring around everything. Get this. Some of them say that's not even the truth. Hmm. You there's the ice wall, but beyond the ice wall is not the end. There are additional oceans, additional continents. And these things you, they do not need evidence for. They're, they're all in on this part Hmm. and it's fascinating. It's really interesting and it's interesting the same way like Warhammer lore is fun, where it's like, I want to know what you think about the flat earth. The problem is some of it, I can't tell if I'm being trolled. Like, I can't tell if I can't tell if this person who's saying these things sincerely believes them or if they're doing it so convincingly yep. that I am sitting there making fun of someone while they're at home going, look at these retards believing me. Like, what, yeah. What's interesting about what you said with the oceans is it invalidates what I talked about, right? I was like, hey, they're saying, prove it to me. Yeah. Yet they accept on blind faith that there's additional oceans out yeah, there. Yeah, there's probably there could be more oceans or, <laughs> or just an ice wall. Like that part is, yeah, the science is, like, you don't know. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> prove to me there's no ice wall. You're like, oh, yeah, and see, that's all the proof I need. <laughs> you, can't, you can't prove against it. Um, let's do the ads because I, I, I want to tell yes, you about sir. this show, but because it, it kind of comes into the flat earth thing a little bit, or at least uh, like an oddly sh- 
the show we, we talked we'll about get... pre-show yeah roger oh, that. yeah i want to talk from uh this episode of pka is brought to you by blue chew blue chew folks Let's talk about sex. Guys, shouldn't you always be at your best? 2023 is the year to maximize your performance in the bedroom. Listen up, BlueChew.com. BlueChew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part, it's all done online. So no visit to the doctor's office, no awkward conversation, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet package. Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Discover your options at bluechew.com, chew it and do it. And a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew for free when you use our promo code PKA at checkout. Just pay the five bucks in shipping. That's bluechew.com, promo code PKA to receive the first month free. Visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. And thank you, Blue Chew, for sponsoring the podcast. <laughs> so code PKA, check that out. Yes, this episode also brought to you by realdbg.com. We're going to need some parental advisory warnings for this one. RealDBG.com has got the goods, and I'm not talking about candy. We're talking about 100 milligrams of Delta-8 infused gummies, 50 milligrams of HHC infused gummies, 1 gram HHC and Delta-8 carts, and a 650 milligram bottle of syrup that'll knock your socks off. I always forget. I don't like reading that line. And forgot... Forget about spring has finally come. They, they put a joke in there. I don't like that joke. I don't fucking read it. And forgot to forget about spring has finally come. Do you like that? I just make decisions. <laughs> just delete it. You, you're the ad. I'm reading it from a Twitter DM and I, I can't. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have to scroll up in the conversation every week. Uh, and forget about spring has finally come. RealDBG.com has all seasons covered from the dead of winter to the heat of late August and everything in between. These gummies will have you melting like the polar ice caps, the cartridges. They're like a supercar the way they outclass the competition. So come on down to realdbg.com and get as stoned as the statue in your local park. Just remember to start slow, and before you know it, you'll be soaring higher than Woody in his paramotor. Get ready to have a night you won't forget, or maybe you will, depending on how hard you hit the syrup. Use code PKA23 for 23% off your whole order. That's a hell of a deal, folks. That's right, people. 23% off your order so you can indulge in our premium THC products without burning a hole in your pocket. Just remember, always consume responsibly. So check out realdbg.com, code PKA23 for 23% yeah. off. Uh, same disclaimer as every week. Uh, start slow. If you do not have a high tolerance, uh, use cartridges. Don't start out with the edibles. They're a little stronger unless you really commit to just taking a little nibble. Uh, but yeah, if you're new, I really recommend the carts. It's an easier way to to get into it it's a real so good there you time. go oh and of course lock and load lock and load the premium premium ejaculation increasing supplement <laughs> the, the 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 genius intellect what of derek so it's absurd like <laughs> it's, it's, it's absurd yeah the the genius intellect of of derek myself kyle came together measuring sperm measuring cum there's there's definitive <laughs> anecdotal evidence we can say that this works. If it didn't work, we would have sell, sold you a, a bottle that was cheaper for us to make, and it would be mm -hmm. one pill, and it would cost less money, and we'd net more out of it. That's what we would. I wanted to lie. They would. What, 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 what have if, it? if it didn't work, we would have done that, but, or we wouldn't have done. Well, I, I don't like that idea. This one works. So check it out. Why lock and load. Code I get PKA. My... Code Jizz. Code PKA. Ten percent off. Uh, lock and load. Oh, ten percent off. Harley? Everything else. Uh, we can say that to Harley. We actually have a can mechanism now. What? Yeah, yep, yep. Give him the link. Give him the link so he can get the, the Harley, special bottle. <laughs> put your address in the chat. It, it'll stay private, and I'll take care oh, of you. Shit. Yeah, okay. we'll get you okay. sent some. Also, uh, you promise? It's for real. Yeah, they told us we, we yeah, could do yeah, that. Yeah, we can send them out to people. And also, you're gonna send me. Uh, you're sure gonna to, send me some Taylor. Hold on a fucking second. I have to mention the goddamn energy drinks. <laughs> Fuck, dude. You're right, but I just want yeah. to know I'm getting my pills. <laughs> code PKA, code Jizz. Try the fucking energy drinks if you want some energy. They're really good. What? You promise? <laughs> yes, we promise. Now you don't get them. Now you don't get them. <laughs> you know no, what? Yeah. Send you know his what? bottle to Dirty. Dirty begged for a <laughs> bottle for months. I said no. 
No, we're going to we're going to make sure you get some lock and load and I want to send some orange crush flavored Gorilla Mind energy drinks. You're going to love them. You can mm. you can post about it when you're when you're drinking them getting energized for fighting yeah. people. So there you go. Yes, sir. I know I'm going to do you a solid. Just for that, I'm going to do you a solid. What up? My photos of the game. Wait, keep going. You still have more more ads? No, no. No, it's all done. What was what was the energy drink? It's a Gorilla Mind energy drink. Okay. It's the same, oh, same yeah. company as. Come on. You get me those pills. You get me those pills. And just tell me you get me a PK Christmas sweater. All right. You do that, guys. <laughs> Hear me out. I'll eat that. I'll take a bite of that fucking raw onion that everyone's been fucking <laughs> bitching about. Keep bitching about this fucking onion. Our it's not even a big it. deal. Bro, I get messages. I'm the onion. This is our last chance. Just kill him about the onion. It's our last chance. He's acting like a big business. And then people are like, oh, this podcast is so lazy. You know, like, another podcast, they do so much. This podcast is just telling everyone fucking about the onion. And then I look at her, I'm like, bro, I said fucking bite an onion. Okay, I'll bite the fucking onion. Just get me my cum pills, and I'll fucking do it. Okay. You wind me up with those cum pills, I'll bite the onion for you, and then everyone can shut the fuck up about the onion. You know how I many have... messages I got about the onion, bro? You do, because you probably got a lot of messages. Yeah, people them. tweet me pictures of onions all the time. <laughs> Still, <laughs> they'll be like, eat the... the onion, bitch, and then I'll be like... At this point, I'm kind of enjoying like not eating the onion and seeing people. Upset. You're like, I'll get the Jew to eat the onion. Yeah, I'll get it. No, but I, fair I, trade. I you got me those cum pills. I'll bite the fucking onion. I genuinely didn't know there was an onion kerfuffle, but I'll. I, can I eat the onion and take the bullet? Like, like, like I just don't want. Yeah, to you eat the onion, bro. I'll be honest with you. I've next bit, show, I'll eat I've onion. I'll eat, raw onion. onions I'll, I'll eat a significant totally amount of an onion next show. I, well, I've eaten a significant amount of an onion, onion, onion on my own. <laughs> I, I found a new TV show I like a lot, and I want to talk about that. And, and if we can do that instead, I will take a big old onion bite. And I'll find the let's go, package. let's go. I will find a dirty. I get comp pills. He's not eating an onion, and you get to talk about the show. Everyone wins. I will, wins. Find, a now, if, if I will wins. find. I will find a conflict region onion, a blood onion, if you will, the most <laughs> accurate, acidic onion that money can buy. I'll have to use crypto to a buy Ukrainian it. onion. Elon's onion mines. Yeah, yes. I'm gonna fucking, yes. That's that's what they feed the the emerald miners in, in South Africa. Yeah. Nothing but those awful onions. Oh, no, onion. like, that, like that movie but, Holes. Um, no, I found a new TV show. Um, <laughs> it's on Prime, like the first season is. Uh, and it's basically Lost. It's like Lost, but better if you ask me. So here's the premise, okay? And it's got the black guy from Lost. I don't know that actor's name. I, this is the all I've ever seen him in, but it's the black guy from Lost. That, that dude, if you've seen Lost. Michael? Sure, if you say so. Um, that basically, um, you're th these people are in a town that you can't leave. If you try to drive out of town, the road just kind of makes a loop and brings you back. Everybody got there because they were driving along. There was a tree in the road. They turned around, headed back the other way, and now they're kind of in like a pocket universe or something. They're in this twilight zone sort of um episode that is this town and they can't get out of it no matter what they do and at night monsters come and eat people okay mm -hmm. do new people get added to the cast or constantly is it very... okay yeah this is the damon lindelof is, i don't know what that what what's the name of the show from f-r-o-m oh no he is the other lost creator guy has another show i guess okay continue this is where is it streamed um, so you can watch the first season on Prime. That's the place to do it. Amazon Prime's stream. Um, the second season, because it's produced by them, is on MGM+. Plus. Yeah, I'd never heard of it either, but I'll tell you what, I'm a new subscriber over there because <laughs> I had to see season two, and there's three episodes of season two out right now, and I had to keep it rolling. I, I, I powered through this whole goddamn show last night, all through the fucking night. How, I how many? So uh, much. How long are the episodes? Like hour? <sighs> They're like fifty minutes each. Um, I, 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 I but what I are you watching on MGM Plus now? Now they're like, you want to watch Wizard of Oz again? Yeah, I, I haven't even, even <laughs> dude. I, 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 when I bought it, it was like, all right, buy now, episode one, go because epi the end of season one. I'm not, I'm not going to spoil anything, obviously, but the end of season one is a cliffhanger, and it's like, oh shit. I got to find out what's what happened, you know, because a lot of shit goes down at the end of season one. 
So basically, if you got these monsters that come at night, and there's townsfolk at this point who are they who've accumulated over the years, and it's this real mixed bag. And there's two groups. One group is kind of a hippie group that lives up on the hill in an old like mansion house, that, like a farmhouse, really. Mm -hmm. Lots of rooms, and they're in there doing smoking weed and drinking and fucking. And then there's the townsfolk, and that's the more like the couples and the families. And uh, and they're in more of a like a, they, there's a diner. And the thing, it, there were a few things that bothered me about the show at first. I needed some answers, but there's so many questions at first they can't get to them quickly enough. I'm like, all right, where's the food coming from? They they explain that. They explain where the food comes from. And then I was like, all right, well, where's the fucking electricity coming from? They not only explain it, they make it a, a, a whole centerpiece of the show about why the electricity here is weird. Um, and then I was like, well, all right, the road is some weird magical loop. What happens if we start walking into the woods? And then they answer that. They, they're like, all right, well, let's go into the woods and find out. The only thing that's a little hokey, and they eventually explain it, um, a child gets injured in the first episode severely. And I'm thinking, damn, that kid's probably not going to make it. And at the end of the episode, he's on some crutches. And I was like, <sighs> but then later on, they kind of explain that away enough that um, I'm digging the show. And it reminds me of Lost a lot, a low, more low budget Lost. Um, and it reminds me a lot of the Twilight Zone, like a good Twilight Zone episode. Um, Love that. I powered through that first season really quick, and I'm digging the second season. I'm three. I'll look that up after three the show episodes. Yeah, I, I like the way that sounds too, and I, I really love oh. Lost, and I, I even like the way Lost ended. I was content with the whole here's experience. The, hmm. Here's the thing that fucking hooked me in the first episode. Um, they, uh, no, it's too much of a spoiler. I'll say this: they show a dead body, and it's so gr gory and shocking that I was like, oh. You don't usually see that on TV. They show a thing that you don't usually see on TV. You're like, as a felon, I am intrigued. Oh, they wouldn't. Yeah, they would. They they in prison. Like those cartel like, oh. photos. Yeah, it's like a cartel photo. Like, but but it Oof. happens in a room. You see it, and uh, and you know, um, women and children aren't aren't safe. Uh, nobody's safe. If you're outside at night, they get you and they skin you alive while your friends listen to you scream and like eat ah. you and. And like tear you apart, really eviscerate you in a in like, like animalistic going outside after night or after dark. Yeah, and the the only hokey thing is there's a they've got like some magical talismans that you have to put on the inside of your door to keep the bad guys out. Um, mm, that's not oh, hokey yeah. in the context of a like, Judaism, like ridiculous there world. You go. All like, yes. I'll call it a, 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 a mezuzah. Yeah. <laughs> A mezuzah. So they've all got mezuzahs. Hey, my, don't uh, laugh at our words. So really, no. Taylor's anti-Semitic is what we've discovered I know. this. I, dude, my, my mom's old condo, like she lived there for years and their the old owners were Jewish. And so there was just a mezuzah on her entranceway for like four straight years. And she was like, I just kind of think it's fun. And then like just left it there. <laughs> you know what you guys do next time you go across mezuzah? Just for jokes, like it's with like really Jewish people. I would never do this before you walk, you kiss your hand and touch it. So you can just fuck with someone if you're ever walking into a home with the mezuzah, just kiss your hand and touch it. And just be like, what, you never really? show love to the mezuzah like that? Is that what you're supposed to do? Is that like the no, traditional? Do that. I'm, fucking, I'm not going to let some person in the sky tell me what I'm supposed to do. But yeah, I'm not if you want to <laughs> go to heaven, you best be kissing the mezuzah on your way. Yeah, I'm wearing an American flag. There's no way I'm kissing a mezuzah. Somebody's going to... You fucking better kiss that mezuzah. Into my brain. That kind of heat. <laughs> I'm thinking of the right thing. The mezuzah, like that little scroll in the tiny box thing. Yeah, it's, it's like, like a little thing that's on the wall. Right? Yeah, yeah, What's yeah. What's the nail? What's that about? The nails? Yeah, nails? So it's, it's, I think it just so it stays there. Oh, it has that's to be. Just, a that's nail just one, Home right? Depot. Yeah, that's just that's <laughs> not us. I mean, you could use a you could use a sticky tack if you wanted, but oh, I think I a just nail remember watching become. Larry David try to pretend like he was actually like a practicing Jew because he's got other Jews coming over and he's like trying to nail up the mezuzah or whatever, and then he's <laughs> he's, he's trying to speak it. The other guy speaks Yiddish, and and Larry's just like uh, making noises. Uh, <laughs> I've seen this. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that shows like so lots fucking of funny. When yeah. um, you're on the ski lift and the chick's like, "I can't be with you after dark. I'm an unmarried woman. I can't be with a man after dark. Don't you know?" Oh yeah, she's like, yeah, jumps. of course I know. Yeah, you should know the law. Yeah, I know the law. It's like she's like, "All right, well, you got to jump. Sun's going down." He's like, "Are you fucking crazy?" And she ends <laughs> up having to fucking jump. Uh, yeah, that's great. That that's that's hit. The show that's is hilarious. Show, um, it's it's so much like Seinfeld.
I, I thought that show it. ruined Seinfeld for me because really, like I I didn't like the laugh track after watching Curb uh, because like Seinfeld is never like the way the formula of sitcoms works is it's like like the beat like beat joke punchline that's mm-hmm. the laugh beat joke punchline that's the laugh but like the the beat or the premise off the bat is funny yeah. so to not laugh at the premise and wait for the punchline when it's like but the whole you should have started laughing and been laughing this whole time, and then your your cadence of laughing is like matched to the fake laugh. I just don't like it. I like I like Kurt better now because of it. But I do have a really good show for you guys that I'm comfortable recommending. I really like it was on Amazon Freebie, whatever the fuck that is. But it's called Jury Duty. Have you guys heard of this show? No, it's I have a not. Fake no. trial. Is it new? Yes, fake trial, fake jury. Everything is fake except for one juror is not. What? And so the whole thing is fake and he goes to jury duty to get selected and he thinks that like they're filming the whole process, but there's way more fake cameras that he doesn't know about that are hidden and everything. So he's like calling uh, out of work to be on a reality show that he doesn't yeah, know Yeah, exactly. He doesn't know. And what's really, he thinks he's obligated by law. And what's really <laughs> funny is uh, James Marsden, if you guys know, that's the guy in Sonic the Hedgehog that's with Sonic. He's got like cheekbones and blue eyes. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah, also like a- he's Cyclops in X Men. Yep. Um, he's in the movie uh, in, and in the, in the show. It's it's eight episodes, twenty five minutes each, and he's in it playing like what you think he would be like in person, and it's just so hilarious because he's like such a Hollywood piece of shit. He's like trying to be too famous to be selected for jury duty. And it fails. He like tries to get a role. He he beefs with the director. And just at one point, he's like, "Fuck!" He's like, "Fucking director, I hate. He's getting canceled on Twitter right now." And and the guy's like, "What?" And he's like, "Yeah, probably called some bitch sweetheart, you know." <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's like awkward. Oh, he's like, "Oh, shit. you can't do that anymore." Yeah, and he uh, he's just like he's he's really funny. There's lots of funny parts of it, but I just thought James Marsden like. He fucking nails it because he's like, yeah, you know. All right. I, he, he sits. He sits with the Mark at one point at the, the very first episode of the Mark. Like, someone asks James Marsden for a picture, also fake, just so that he's like, oh, I thought you looked familiar. You're Cyclops from X Men. He's like, yeah, I'm in a lot of movies actually. <laughs> I'm, I'm in the Notebook. And he's like, you're in the Notebook. And he's like, yeah. He's like, who are you? He's like, I'm the other guy. He's like, ah, oh, okay. He's like, I'm in Westworld. He's like, Dad, you're in Westworld. He's like, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's in Westworld, yeah. And he's like, you're, uh, you know. And he's like, I'm in Sonic the Hedgehog. He's like, Sonic. And, uh, and the Mark, the guy's like, Sonic, yeah. He's that. giving him his whole fucking, like, rap. Like, yeah, yeah, but the, and then the Mark guy goes like, ah, I heard that fucking suck, that movie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he's like sitting there, and he's like, he's like, so what were you in it? He's like, well, me and Sonic could go on a road trip. He's like, oh, you're like the main character? He's like, yeah. And he's like, oh. And you see he really feels like an asshole because he just said that the yeah. movie was shit. And the next day he comes in, he's like, hey, man, I saw Sonic last night. It's really good, actually. I didn't, I didn't know. You <laughs> he's know? Like, so I what like are you doing, Sonic? And he's like, me and Sonic the Hedgehog go on a fucking adventure because we're boys. <laughs> <laughs> <'Cause> we're boys. <laughs> yeah. It's a funny show. I thought it was really funny. I think you guys enjoyed the hidden camera show. And they just happened to get a really good guy to fuck with. Do they do and, they put him in ridiculous things in court? Like, like is court kind of silly and he's making faces? Like, is this real? Or is it, or, or to make he it, like – he great. like – like, like they have one time, like where he's sitting there. It's like it's all the twelve jurors and the two alternates, and he's sitting there. There's one guy that like he never talks, he never talks to him. And at one point, that guy gets up, walks by him, and goes, "I'm going to the bathroom. I'm gonna rub one out." And he's like, "Okay," and it's just weird, like something like that. And the guy leaves. Um, but then later, that guy gets injured, like in a fake thing, mm-hmm. and he he has to leave. And all the jurors are sitting there. And the main character guy only had that one interaction. He's like, I'm going to go jerk it off. And he's like, okay. And he's sitting there. And then um, everyone's like, yeah, Tim just left. He's And this guy was like, oh, Tim was great. He told me about how he used to volunteer a place. And the other guy was like, I spoke to Tim and we used to laugh so much. He said, and each juror is like sharing these extensive stories with Tim. And they're like, yeah, he is really great. And then the director, the producers, like to, to the Mark, they're like, the, the, the Mark, the, the main dude, they're like, did you yeah. have an interaction with Tim? He's like, uh, yeah, we, we, not much. We sh- we sh- exchanged a couple words, and they're like, oh, "What did you say?" And he's say? like, mm, "Not much." And they showed the clip back. He's like, "I'm gonna go rub one out." And he's like, "Okay." And then everyone 
in the jury pulls up. They're like, yeah, I had a great interaction with Tim. He made this for me. And they pull, he pulls out like an origami <laughs> bird. And then someone else is like, me too. And they all pull out origami birds except for our main <laughs> dude. And they're like, well, where's yours? He's like, I guess I'm not in the origami, the, the, the crane crew. <laughs> and everyone has one except. So it's stuff like that's right, believable. That's There's nothing well, like someone comes in and they're like, ah, with their dick out. And it's like really weird. Everything's like borderline and they really push it. Like that's they a push fun it. Premise. There was this British show where they made these people believe they were they had won a trip to space. Like one of those like Elon Musk style and they sent him to fake space camp and uh put him in <laughs> they're doing zero G training. And at the end they, they do like a full on bit where these people think they've been rocketed into fucking space. And that they, 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 they there's a part where a general comes in, like no, a scientist with a lab coat, actor. And he's like, we've mastered uh, the control of gravity. Once you understand it, you can control it. And he convinces them that they have, like, fake gravity in their, in their new spaceship. That is so funny. And so there's a part where the, they're, like, in space, <laughs> but they're in a dorm. And one girl is like, is this fucking for real? <laughs> <laughs> is this fucking for real? When, <laughs> when they first launch, one guy starts crying. Oh, we lost him. That's a shame. Hmm. One guy starts crying because you know he's in space. He's like, "Oh, I'm in space." He's hmm. So yeah, they ain't go to space. I'm watching Picard. They totally go to space. They definitely go to space. I don't. They're almost in space the whole time. I think pretty much. Yeah, just about. Uh, yeah, I'm loving that show. I think I'm on episode four or five, something like that. And uh, are there ten? I hope there's ten. I believe there's ten. Picard is living up to the hype you set. Man. I also f- I am a stats and stories Yellowstone fan at this point. I okay. read like Yellowstone news all- at this point. People don't know season five of Yellowstone was meant to be broken into sort of a front and back, you know, like like the Walking Dead used to do. Mm-hmm. And the second half of season five is taking so long to even get started. They haven't started filming that it's basically season six. It's going to be yeah. over a year between the first and second half too. of five. Oh, you're right. And I forgot about that. Kevin Costner is refusing to film now because he's quitting the show because he and Taylor Sheridan are fuming and arguing and they can't get along. Um, Kevin Costner has been accused of some sort of onset sexual assault, which ties in. He's getting divorced now, too, which Shit. needs a little like credence to maybe. I don't know. what. How can I know? Prove it to me, I say. Anyway, uh, so Kevin Costner won't film the second half of season five unless he gets to choose how his character gets dies or gets written off of the show. Mm-hmm. He wants to have some sort of glorious hero's death. And sure. Taylor Sheridan, who doesn't like him, presumably, Heart wants attack. to... <laughs> maybe the colon cancer gets him and he oh. dies in an, inver- an embarrassing ass bleed out. I don't know what Taylor oh. Sheridan would do to him. Maybe uh, his character is just not as good at fucking horse spinny circles as Taylor is himself. And uh, Oh, he dies in a off. horse race. I hope yeah. he dies in a horse, failing to horse spin a horse. I don't know. But well. Kevin Costner is being a bit of a prima donna. But I think he has an argument too that the show is being run poorly organized and they didn't film on time and that's why he was unavailable. He's a big star. Yeah. When your big star says, I'm available from July 1st to 30th, you don't get to say, ah, it's August now, and expect it to work out. So Yeah, I haven't, I, I, uh, I'm I, not current on the show. Uh, I kind of hmm. like just having it out there, let it finish its own thing. It's a, That's how I'm going to have to be with video games, I feel like now. You've got to just wait until uh, they, they work all the kinks out. Because um, <laughs> they the sell them as betas. Yeah, they, they absolutely do. Um, uh, even the, that, we haven't been playing as much Warhammer, but that, that game's got plenty of bugs in its own right. Every game's just so buggy and shitty now. Um, the it way feels like games can't get into games. Like it's one th- people mm. will say like well, that's- oh, Duty's a buggy piece of shit, and it's like why? Because you think your shots didn't hit properly. Like that's hard and it's minor and it's tough. Um, you guys can't start a game. That's a big deal. Oh, that's different. Um, that okay. that's um. That, that that's a matter of um just it, it being a smaller game and, and we're playing a very ne- we're playing a certain game mode at a certain time of the day we're playing like the least popular version of the game and we just keep cutting the player base in halves until there's just not a lot of people but most of the people who play that game your friends try to play together you can't get the oh. game started it seems it might be oh well that's wrong. simple that's look 
I don't. I'm, I had a whole blow up with them because it's annoying. But the problem is, if if you don't have the game installed on a fucking um, solid state drive, drive, we're gonna have issues. And if you have a cheap ish computer, you're gonna have issues because it's a triple A title and it's it, it it's not optimized well. So and and also, if you don't have a good connection, if you don't live on the same continent, those are the real mm -hmm. issues. But but that, I think I think we'd have similar issues if I tried to play I don't know Age of Empires or StarCraft, another RTS that. You know, the, the bandwidth thing that we had with the one guy, that was the whole thing. But if you go into a group of people who play that game, you don't run into those issues. I'm in a couple of different Discord servers that are, um, you know, devoted to that game. And you can go in there and play. Mo when people play, they play amongst Discords and sort of private groups for the most part because everybody likes to run a, a mod that gives you a ton of extra maps because the game only ships with a dozen and only about half of those are decent. It still seems that games are finishing more buggy and less finished than ever before. Oh yeah, that's that's. Oh yeah, I, I agree completely. No, it's it it's and they're making more money because of it. Uh, with that Dark Tide game, you know, it was delay after delay, and then <clears throat> after release, even though we were missing so much content, you know, there were stations in the in the game. It's like there's a guy there, a vendor that you can't use. There's a bald guy like standing there polishing some armor, and it's like. Come back when we install this. And it's like, what the fuck? You you really didn't even get to that? And then when <laughs> it did drop some stuff, it was the it was the DLC. It was all the paste. It was all the, uh -huh. the cosmetics. And that worked flawlessly. It was polished and well made. And they made sure to make the credits not round off to round numbers. So you had to buy, you know, uh. you, you could buy your credits $10 in like five or ten dollar increments, but you're gonna need like $22.50. It's just you're always going to have leftover money in, in their made up current currency bank. Um, they fixed a lot of that stuff. They went back and, and they're like, all right, we'll sell you 100 credits at a time. They made them do that. They're like, no, it's still not good enough. We have to be able to buy 100 credits at a time. I don't want extra credits. I want one helmet because all <laughs> we're doing is buying cosmetics. You know? mm. It's yeah, it's real frustrating. I've heard yeah. that, that stuff about the Jedi game. Um, the thing the about um the DLC working flawlessly back in the day, YouTube used to buffer all the time and it wasn't your fault. You'd have a good connection and YouTube would buffer and it would suck. Maybe even downgrade the, uh, you know, from 1080p to 720 or something like that. I've never seen an ad buffer in my entire life on YouTube. The mm -hmm. YouTube ad experience is flawless, but the video well, porn part, ads, that's the, that's the real, sh that's the real thing. You'll be on a, 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 a porn streaming site and all of their porn is like, they claim it's 360p, Woody. Mm -hmm. that 240. 360p. 240 tops. <laughs> I, 240 tops. I can't um, tell what hole that is sometimes. No, I have no idea what's going on. <clears throat> but the ad before it, it's like, oh my God, is that 100 frames per second? Like, like it's, it's this <clears throat> crisp 4K <laughs> high frame rate like like streamer girl like with her titties out like why don't you come stop jerking off come and <laughs> see me tonight and it's like fuck just hurry up so i can jerk off <laughs> i wonder how much of that footage is like legally acquired right because it all it's, of it i maybe but i i swear i've seen porn where it's like this video was uploaded to x videos oh but i'm oh. on Pornhub. Did Pornhub yeah. like they probably had the same owner, maybe, but like I, I swear I see like downloads from one site uploaded on the next site and their watermarks yep. are still there sometimes. Maybe so more I think, the so they've really cut down on that a ton because I think mm. a lot of the major porn sites had CP issues. Mm. And so now almost all of the amateur porn um, you watch is certified paid, mem not paid members, but members who have shown ID essentially and verified, mm -hmm. verified uh, users. They wow. still claim they're still amateur porn stars because it's just like Bill and I don't know. I can't think of a lady's name. I'm sorry. I'm high. Yeah. And just, uh, what's just Carol? Bill and Eric. I think of, I <laughs> um, it's just two. It's just a couple. But I don't know. It takes all the fun out of it. Honestly, I feel like if if they've all like shown their ID and like they're 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 like this is taxable income now. It's like they're, it's their side hustle or Watch whatever. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm watching people at work, whereas it felt like uh, amateur porn used to be like, oh, this is just like some couple's dirty videos that they wanted us to see. That's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. um, so <laughs> I, I feel like that takes a lot out of it. But all the same, that seems to be the case. I know uh, the issue with Pornhub recently, it's pretty hilarious. 
Utah has that law, I believe, <clears throat> where you have to about this. you have to like age verify every time you log in to a, to, to a porn site. There, I think they made that a law or something in Utah. That's and so Pornhub funny. was like, you know what? That doesn't seem like something that we want to be a part of. No Pornhub for Utah. <laughs> mm -hmm. and say so like vpn searches in utah sky riding <laughs> yeah they're they're attacking their freedom of speech i hate really? it i not i hate it i think it's hilarious when every so often someone goes against porn and they mm. find out that's a wildly unpopular position i i, I a, poli a politician will be like you know what we should take down porn sites why do they even marjorie taylor green said that recently yep. she wants to take down porn really? sites. i don't even understand why it exists <laughs> that's the quote <laughs> that's the quote it's like well it's because people jack off to it dumbass like you yeah it. i'll send her a video the only thing. jackass is here it, it here's you sir y <laughs> you that's what you'd yeah. say that's when i start masturbating in protest oh my goodness Solid right plan. there like a like an american hero <laughs> <laughs> <They're> just... <laughs> mm -mm. that's a that's a hell of a uh, politician how is she still in there like, like when do, when does her term come up when, when can they get every rid two of years she's won twice or three times already Shit. yeah and it's Was not it close reason? she's not a year ago oh, she's okay. um like lauren bobert for example won by the skin of her teeth yeah uh colorado that, the florida guy matt gates he won easily and marjorie taylor green wins easily lauren wow. bobert is much more attractive than uh yeah she's i agree right there with the Whatever hottest her name in is magic the politics like yeah She's got a hot of the thing going on. AOC's hot, even though Taylor doesn't mm. like her eyeballs. She's generally I love them. I want to look only, them like a lizard. Her, her eyes don't always look like that. It's just sometimes she when she gets, she gets mad, like she goes yeah, wide eyed. Yeah, too much. Uh, but AOC is it's good looking. If, if yeah. you can't see that, then you're being biased. Um, Lauren Bobert's good looking. <sighs> the list is short. The mm. thing with Tulsi Magic the Gathering is like, yeah, Tulsi Gabbard's good looking. Out of politics, but I like agree. a lot. Like MTG is not attractive. I don't think, I but agree. because of the class of like people, like when you're hanging out with who's the, uh, who's the gay guy in South Carolina, Lindsey Graham, like when you're Lindsay hanging out around like those guys, you look like, you, do you know how, how much I would love to be photographed next to Lindsey Graham? Oh, oh, oh that's a good look. I'd that's put that, I'd, I'd blow look. that photo up and make me look so Chris like, Christie, masculine. Chris Christie and Lindsey Graham. We're going mm. on a tour together. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And the, and oh the wheelchair my. guy. Like all of them, you just want to I'm, um, like, you, the you wheelchair guy. guy. Oh, that's mad. He's night. out of politics too. Oh well, then not him. I'm only taking winners in my. <laughs> I want the eye patch Hawthorne. guy with me too. No, I you know what? Who I want? I want, I want, I want Diane Feinstein exhumed, propped up next to me. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's going to work again now, dude. You have will. you seen that? Yeah, she's, man, it's great. She's like a right. hundred years old. Say goodbye. Oh, hello. My my phone died there, and I'm. Is that like, what happened? Yeah, if I'm charging it right now. I have enough power just to say I love you guys and thanks for having me. Oh, of course, love you too, You're man. Always, always a pleasure. You love me, but I'm just using you for sex. I hope that doesn't hurt you. It's mm. totally fine. All right, I love you, you truly. Take control. care. Okay, good night, guys. Bye. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> later, Harley. Harley's the best. I love that dude. Yes. Yeah. I I have never um, met him in person. I he seems like such a fun guy to hang out. He's very tall. Yeah. He's very tall. Not really. He's like but he's five, but he's an ally of mine. And so like it's a he it's has fine. stilts. Uh I I, I watched ally? this video and it's it's shot from an old school camera and uh but it, but it's GoPro style. And it's these um skydivers. And there's like a one of those like 1990s TV um voiceovers is like Jason was jumping that day with two new students and an instructor. I know he this. and he's filming the other people as they spin, do stuff. As instructor and student is. It was at this point when Jason realized he himself did not have a parachute, <laughs> no. and he was far too far away from anyone to rescue him. And so you just watch him flail a little bit for a while, and then they cut it off before he hits the ground. Yeah, he just forgot. Out. He yeah, just I forgot how comfortable do you have to be jumping out of a plane to neglect your entire parachute i don't get it all right checklist parachute because <laughs> no like, no like, so I, I would argue that maybe Not paramotoring again. and skydiving have like a similar kind of risk profile right and uh I've, I've done both that's what i took away from it i agree dude 
you check your buckles, your clips, you do it the same way every single time. You like if there's any deviations, I'll like fucking to start from the scratch. You know, I, if mm -hmm. I go like I, I buckle up in like a from bottom up, you know, it's like leg straps, the the chin, mm -hmm. the waist strap, the chest strap, and then your your helmet strap. And uh if something happens along the way that like distracts me or whatever, I don't pick up from where I left off. I do the thing from the start. Yep. How this guy just kind of like, oh, totally forgot the shoot. Like, were you not checking every buckle like four times before yeah. the jump? It's the most important thing of skydiving. It's the only yeah. thing that makes it not suicide. Like, <laughs> is, is, is the parachute. I can't argue. Like, that yeah. oh, bombing run. What a horrible minute. Oh, it was, it was so long. It's longer than that, I bet. He was up there when he realized, you know, but, but yeah. far, everybody else is above him. He went him through all five stages. By the yeah. time he was, like, hitting the ground, he's welcoming it. <laughs> like he's, oh, he's, he's, I'd be aiming for a soft spot. stages. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fuck. That's crazy. Yeah, that, uh, that was a really scary video to watch because the narrator kind of late. He doesn't immediately tell you what the problem is. He's like, today would be Dave's last day because he didn't know he didn't have a parachute. Watch him jump now. But he's like... Dave was recording his friends with an 16 millimeter Kodak color camera. Rare at the time. It's like, <laughs> dude, I, I was interested in the camera. And then all of a sudden he's like, by the way, this guy doesn't have a parachute. <sighs> oh, that should be, he buried the lead here. Yeah. <laughs> this should be about a yeah. guy falling to his death. Well, that sounds like an awful video. I don't want to watch that. Yeah, you don't want to see that. Yeah. You don't want to see that. Yeah, that, so, well, if he was the instructor, I guess... No one needed to get fired. It kind of solved itself. Yeah, yeah, takes care of itself. He probably he won't be doing that again. I have never, I never in my whole hockey like career accidentally went on the ice without a cup. Do you know what happened? Like mm. the one time I like put all my stuff on and realized I didn't have a cup on. You it's I just went on? oh, and then I had to take. And you're, when you play goalie, Kyle, you can't put your cup on after you have all your pads on, and so you have to be like. Everybody give me just fucking 20 minutes to, <laughs> to, to take all my pants off and put them all back on. Goalie Jesus. in particular. I've played without a cup before. It it made me play worse, right? I, in the same way, like I wore a cage. And whenever I played without a cage, I was like real defensive about my face. I all mm -hmm. Everything seems like it's about to hit you. Every stick is right by your face. Two thirds of my energy is on not getting a fucking scar across my cheek. When I play without a cup, same thing. Yeah, you. Oh, it, it's if you feel like you're naked out there. Mm -hmm. I remember I was playing. We were probably twelve on this hockey team, and the coach's kid was like a forward, and he lost equipment all the time. And his dad was always like, "If you lose another fucking stick or cup or glove, I swear to God!" Like he was getting mad about were it. They wooden sticks or carbon fiber. Uh, they were. This was back when like there was that. One, they were the two piece sticks where uh, you would yeah, melt yeah. the hot, uh, mm -hmm. the hot glue and plug it in, like if you wanted a different blade. And he lost his cup, and he was so terrified to tell his dad that he had lost his cup that he played multiple games with a <laughs> hockey with a hockey sock rolled up into a ball, and then he taped it like kind of around what? his genital area until his dad like saw him after a game was like, "Why are you?" Why do you have a sock tape to your dick? And he's like, I lost my cup. What? And so the so the next game, he was like, Dad, I still don't have a cup. And so he went to the hockey store, like the, the little club store that's there to buy the equipment and the cup. And he comes back like five minutes later, like throws it at his son. He's like, there you go. And he like starts taking it out and putting it together. And he's like, like, Dad. Dad, this isn't a cup. And he's like, yes, it is. I just went in there and bought it. He's like, Dad, you got me a fucking pussy protector. This is a pussy protector. <laughs> he's like, he was like, I don't even think they make those. And he's like, yes, they do. Because this is like, I guess, a, a clamshell or whatever you would call it. Nice. Um, I didn't know they existed. Yeah. I always wondered what girls do. I guess. Do they need, they do. like, I don't need a bicep protector. I don't need a. Does your bicep have a vulva? Yeah, if a puck hits you, <laughs> I don't like to talk about it. <laughs> Any part of your body that's vulnerable, if a puck hits it, can you like, if a, like what, the, what, the side of bicep sensitive? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like anything you get hit with a puck is gonna hurt like a. I, but it's cold. <laughs> it's still just. I guess I would want a mouth protector. 
Yeah. Oh, well, dude, there was hilarious. a guy in the NHL like the just the other. Uh... Into a mouth guard? Are you that what you're talking about? <laughs> yeah. Well, dude, I, it's the only list I can think of that I do have. That's I was trying hilarious. to compare, like, like, I, I, how much would it hurt to get hit in the pussy with a hockey puck? Right, I think, like, it, I think if your lips were to get pinched or a stick between some, uh, so, you know, the, each other, I, th- I think the folds of skin might be a big part of it. Uh, the, but I the really feel there. like the problem with my lips is that they get smashed into my teeth. If my lips were, say, in the middle of my belly, they could take a hit. I mean, your pussy lips. What are your your your, your hypothetical pussy lips? I'm, I'm taking a slap shot. But I'm, I, oh, okay. I, I, I was just making sure we're all lips. still on the same page. I don't have pussy lips, so I'm just no, going to the lips I do have. No. The, the real problem is that they're backed by the teeth, making them vulnerable to cutting and cut, you know, like getting busted up. Okay. No, it would. It but even if you had gums, right you wouldn't want to get, you know, slapped around on the, on the lips. No. Like you. <laughs> When guys get hit with like the puck in the mouth, what is the question here? If vaginas so are sensitive. I don't even know what we're talking about. I don't know. We were talking about the pussy <laughs> protector thing, and they're definitely necessary. Like, yeah, what's yeah. the least sensitive part of your body? The least sensitive, the part that if you're gonna bang, you want to bang that. Man, I feel like oh. it's my forearm. Like, 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 I, like forearm. Like, if you take a hockey puck from a slap shot cheeks. in the forearm, like you're gonna. Ass cheeks are sensitive. That's why they. Spank you're gonna it. have a bit where you're like, oh my god, my arm's broken. As cheeks are not that sensitive, that's why they spank there. As a matter of fact, while spanking, and I'm not telling this to Kyle, I'm telling this to you guys who might not know as much as Kyle, uh, try to hit the part that they sit on. If you're spanking and you're hitting her thigh or her back, that's not spanking, and she won't like it, probably. Actually, the I'm spot the right below the ass cheek is what we like to call the seat spot. That's where you. That's actually where you do want to hit to deliver pain. That's a very sensitive area. With a cane. With a cane. Or a flog. A crop. A flog, a cane, a crop. Mm. Crop's a little or bitch made. One of those, uh, one of those violet um 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 bulbs. You ever seen one of those that you electrocute Mm-mm. people with? Um it's like a it's like a little uh science experiment. You know, the where's this is it like below the crease on the butt cheek? Like you know, yeah, the, like yeah top of the thigh. Like, like, oh, like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're actually in alignment there. Yeah, yeah uppermost like part of the thigh. That's a really sensitive area. You don't get hit there; it fucking hurt. Um, but no, I've seen. I, I've never used one, but I've seen those. I think they're called violet something, and it's like this thing to zap people with and BDSM. BDSM, and um, I think it gives off little purple bolts of electricity. You plug this. It's either batteries or you plug it in. It's a. Uh, it's pretty wild. How strong is it? I don't fucking know. That's not my bag. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like shocking bitches, and I don't want nobody shocking me, so I don't have one. <laughs> that, does seem, that does seem like a negative. Thinking, huh? It's like, oh, fuck you, but I'm really into shocks. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> uh, uh, fucking uh, how into shocks? <laughs> I'm into shock play. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it just turns me on so much when your heart stops ever so briefly. <laughs> uh, it's not oh, like shock. that. It's like little, like, I, like I've seen videos where they break that thing out and it's like pops. It's like tap, tap, tap. it's like little slaps of electricity. Looks like I saw a guy get fucked up by a stun gun in the back cleaning bay of an Enterprise rent a car because one of the car guys said to the car prep, "Like I bet you can't get shocked by this, and it, I bet you'll fall down." And he was like, "No," and then he shocked. Yeah, he thought he could take it. Someone left a stun gun in a car, and so we took it. And then my coworker, I was very new at the time. This is like my fucking first week or something. And he walked over there. And he's like, hey, I'm going to shock Zach. And I'm like, I barely know Zach. And so he walked back there and was like, Zach, you think you could get shocked by this and not get like, like fall over? And he couldn't. He did fall over. Was it, it he just like stuck it to his le- stun gun? Not a taste. Yeah, just a, he basically like had him stand there and then he went to his belly and tss. yikes. Um, the I've me and Woody have played around with one of those before, but it was a very mm-hmm. cheap one. It was a very cheap one we had. I know there are better ones. My thoughts on those is it'd be those don't drop people. I think that's like a bullshit movie thing. I I, I mean I bet it hurts a oh, lot. He dropped out of surprise. He wasn't exactly de- uh, incapacitated. Yeah. He basically in the movies they he make basically it out jumped like a, back and like did that thing like if you were jumping back like to do a whatever that thing is off a diving board where you jump backwards and then you dive. He did almost that and kind of like face yeah. planted a bit mm. but it, it was not maybe? like oh my god are you okay it was just shocking the surprise yeah. can make you react like kyle shocked me and i was like ah! and then i shot kyle and he was like hmm. 
So then I was like, oh, I, I guess I should do that when he shocked me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so See, then I became immune to it. Yeah, <laughs> we've been playing with that thing for, for a month before you got there. <laughs> we've been I've been doing car rides where we were just sticking it to the back of each other's neck while we we're driving. Like, like, <laughs> like, so we had, we had ah. calluses by then. I picked that up in like an Army Navy store, but like I think the big boy ones are maybe like the end of a taser, like a police taser. I think it's X-26. Yeah, the end of that is... Uh, a stun gun um as you know in addition to it its taser abilities and i've never been hit by one of those but it looks like it would hurt you in a significant kind of way where you you'd want to jump and get away with it but i don't think i think as far as incapacitation the way i've seen it used is when someone won't give a limb they'll target the muscle that controls that limb with that um rapid fire stun gun and so whatever muscle is being used to resist they'll target it and it's that you lose control of it enough that they're able to really manipulate you. I've seen that done a lot. And then I've also seen it done, you know, to torture people, unfortunately. And there's been plenty of people that died from them. And then there was that one guy that got set on fire by it. That shit was wild. Jesus. I can't remember what the, uh, what was on him that made him so flammable, but was he was. Dead. Could have been. Anyway, they hit him with that stun gun and he lit up. And, you know, and they, what do you want to do? You can't put him out. Like, pff, pff, it was a roll. You know, you just burn alive. Oh, I have not seen yeah. that clip. What was was it like a fun lead up? It. You know, I, I really don't have recall. It as a PKA topic that I never used. Yeah, I'm, I might have got pretty rid terrible. Of it. Um, I've fucked around with the police one before. Obviously, you know, I've talked about it before. Messing around, we we got Jeremy with it and did the whole thing. But I've never been hit by one of those. I'm I've always been rather afraid of them. Yeah, they don't seem fun. It seems painful. Mm -hmm. That's what they're made. They yeah. sound scary. When you, they when you sound hold them down, yeah. When you're in person, it's a it's a much more scary noise. It's this it's a, it's a loud crackly yeah. pop, and the louder it is, I think the stronger it is. That's 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 all that's what I'm going on because I know that thing we stuck to Jeremy's ass was loud. Yeah, <laughs> and he did not like it. Yeah, maybe that's he did. My, Seems like you guys did it for a while. Oh, uh, he hated it. That's one of my favorite moments that involved my dad and like making videos. Though there was the one time when I I did the pepper spray thing, and the video that's on YouTube is me going. Ugh! and then the video cuts because and and like 30 minutes go by and me pouring milk in my eyes but in the real world my dad walks over and he's like hey there friends fps is dad here <laughs> he's a little incapacitated so i thought i'd show y'all how this is and he like goes through and like shoots all the targets or whatever with that sub 2000 um but uh i don't i wish i had that footage or knew where it was it was hilarious it was hilarious ah uh, that'd be cool uh, yeah, I mean, people yeah. would love to see it. Yeah, cool but that. Uh, but I found pepper spray to be way better as like a defense tool or whatever than than fucking a stun gun or a taser ever. You've got one shot with that you, taser. You better be Annie Oakley. If you randomly uploaded that to the FPS Russia channel, you know, ten years later, it would get it, you'd get fifteen thousand dollars out of ad revenue. If on. only I had the password, Woody. If only. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Ah, Marty. We're fucked, it'll, buddy. It'll We're fucked. He was burst. He was. He had sanitizer sanitizer on him. Maybe I was wrong about the guy. Oh, how much? That's how, how would he have that much on him? Um, Shit, he has a gallon jug of it in this picture. I'm not sure this is the same incident I'm talking about. Oh, was this done on purpose? He burned. He thought he could put himself out, and he couldn't. I. He. There's pictures where he takes the gallon jug, puts it over his head, and he's just oh. like draining the, the hand sanitizer on himself. Well, that sounds like a fucking TikTok challenge or something. He was doing the old... <laughs> oh, he's he in the up. police station. Like, they're trying to detain him or something. Oh. And he's not being cooperative is okay. what I think I saw. I just looked at stills real quick. He's like grabbed it off the counter, like the community <laughs> hand sanitizer, unplugged it and dumped it on himself. He lit himself on purpose, and it was suicide by cat by cop, Zach says. Jesus Christ. So You I, see those... Uh, is it like India or China yeah. or wherever where they do like the suicide by immolation where they sit there Indian yeah. style and like burn themselves alive? It's monks. I've yeah. seen monks do that. Why do they <sighs> do that? Like that? I don't protest. know. Protest. It's a protest. Does it, is it effective? Have, uh, are, are, people, are politicians like, okay, let's, let me take a step back. If I'm a politician, right, and I'm doing something unpopular, trying to ban porn or something, and this guy suicide by emulation, I'm like, huh, well, that's one less guy that disagrees with my policy. Quite frankly, so, you're solving my problem. If the rest of you would do this, I would have no problem at all. So I don't know a bunch about this, but I think one of the instances was 
um, maybe Buddhist monks protesting against um, the way China was treating them. Uh, and I think they were burning themselves so to get Western attention so that Western citizens will put pressure on Western politicians who will then put pressure on um, Chinese politicians because the op, you know, the, they were getting ignore, ignored already. And I'm, and I'm sure they're ignoring them, burning it themselves because really, why wouldn't you really one work. less? I don't know. We know about it, I guess. It, it feels like it mm. did a little bit. I'm sure someone said something to China about, you know, them being awful. Have you been following the Ukraine war? Oh, of course. Every day. I love it. You know, it's it's I saw. All right. So Taylor Once was a week mad. at the end of the show. Yeah. Taylor <laughs> was mad because because they didn't let that guy surrender that time. I found I saw one where they let him surrender. You mm -hmm. know, they, they 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 used the drone to lead him back to surrender land and, and took him prisoner. That was pretty. They cool. dropped him instructions on how to surrender something written yeah. with the drone. Bend over. Huh. Uh. <laughs> I wonder how detailed they are. You know, uh, not very. I, I can't read. Cyrillic is that what it is? I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, but it's there really weren't a lot of words. It was like great big scribble. You can almost read it from a distance. It's not like the the Vegas guy. Stand up, touch your toes, jump up and down. What you're going and say? I surrender. <laughs> hands up, crawl. Hands up, crawl. Hands up, crawl with your hands up. And I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. uh, I didn't say Simon says. <laughs> dead that guy yeah it's no, uh i i uh i think that trump was uh is going to be a big part of how things are handled there because i there is a ticking time clock if if trump is elected he, he who knows what he'll do there you know he's he's Donald I'm trump convinced trump has no shot but who knows you, i don't think he does either but he's leading biden right I now right in the polls i cool. saw that yeah yeah i think though the more airtime trump gets the worse he does Okay, so the plan for now is that that Joe will come, that Trump will shoot himself on the foot for Joe to come back. Yeah, I, I don't know the airtime thing we, seems like the, based on what you guys said about the last night thing that it went good. Based on what Trump right. said, Trump said he was up in the polls the very next day, which is bullshit. Polls take a week. Um, Internal polls. No, maybe. no, I was meaning like the, the his CNN thing. Like you, know, he you said, Chris that Christie. went well for think? him. We'll see. Like, I, well, it was stat The crowd was stacked with people that loved him, so it looked like it went well. But online, everyone is like, "This is fucking ridiculous." He's telling lies. They're all outraged. So you really need a better basis than that. Reddit seems really left. They said that he's an idiot. He's just lying. <laughs> yeah, Reddit. The crowd was really right, and they seem like Trump was amazing. Like he's got his magic back, etc. So I just can't know. You know, like. I I, I don't want to do it during the show, but I'll show you like a two minute montage with the air horns and stuff. It's a body mate. I don't know. I think it comes off well. Like, I don't think that the left has more clips to show to attack Trump than the opposite is true. I think the Trump side side got a bunch of gotchas and a bunch of funny punch lines. And if you ask me, at least from where I sit, the reason he won last time was the meme war. I think he won the meme war. He took over the internet, Reddit in particular. This is 2016. Yeah, when he won, yeah. I think the meme war was the 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 main battle of the for winning the presidency. I truly believe that. And he is. Uh, my thought going into this time was, man, he better not be talking about fucking the last election being stolen. We need memes. We need we need bits. We need him to like mm -hmm. be silly and come up with nicknames for people. And I don't know. He had like two minutes of, of, of gotcha shit and like an hour of, of, of content on there. And I think it's enough. I think if he just keeps going on there and being funny like that, there was some, I don't even know what they were talking about, but she was like, you said before that it's inappropriate to use the debt ceiling as yeah. a, as a wedge, as a negotiating tool. And he's like, that's right. I was president. Well, why don't you think it's, why do you think it's okay now? Because I'm not president now. And it was just like, so matter of fact about, there's President Trump and there's businessman Trump. And obviously we don't do things. Oh, maybe you didn't see it that way, but he, he's just being matter of fact about being dishonest if you want to see it that way. But he just he just basically said, hey, that's President Trump. This is businessman Trump. That's how I read it. Um, so and it's to Trump's benefit for the world to blow up and the economy to crash because the debt ceiling isn't raised and America doesn't pay his bills. So mm -hmm. candidate Trump is like, I think, you know, we should like not raise the debt ceiling and just fuck up the planet. But President Trump, back when it would make him look bad, was like, raise the debt ceiling, obviously. It's, it's the right thing to do. Otherwise, the, the world catches on fire, I'm told. So here he is running, and he's like, oh, yeah, set the world on fire. I don't give a fuck. I just want to be president. Now, I saw that, and I was like, oh, my God. He's like, 
telling us he's a liar. He's telling us he's a hypocrite. And politician. He's admitting he's admitting to do what a, what every politician does, but he's the only one liar that he is to be honest about it and say it to America's face on CNN in front of everyone. For He'll what it's worth, it. only Republicans do that. The Democrats raised the debt ceiling without a fuss for Trump like five times. Oh. Or like they didn't make a big deal out of it. It's oh, the Republicans sure. like, who are like, you know what? Let's fuck people over because we've got this leverage. Oh, I don't care about the policy and who did what and like voting records. Nobody cares about that. It's the it's again. It goes back to the fucking sound bites. I think it's the meme war. It's that he looks. It's when you put Trump on an eagle in a tank, it gets clicks. If you do that to, to their candidates, they don't care because they don't. They don't. They don't have a political cult. We and agree it, about that. I think though that when it goes to the, uh, of course, there's going to be people who would vote for Biden no matter what, and there's going to be people who will vote for Trump or anyone red no matter what. But the middle is going to look at this guy who's. A uh, convicted sexual assault, $5 million. They're going to go to the appeals court. It's going to stay in the news. Uh, it's going to hurt him a lot. I think you know what they'll say, at least it's not kids like Joe. At least, at least he's not sniffing around little girls. Uh, well, except for that one time. But that was little just one girls time. were asking for it, Kyle. Well, I mean, Joe says that. Of course, he can't hear very well these days. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. it. we'll see. We'll, we'll see. I think that... Uh, you got you when got you a get to the and a douche here. Look, and no woman is going to vote for a rapist. He is going to get smashed amongst women. Well, that's good because he wasn't found liable of rape. Well, that's because she couldn't feel his tiny little penis, and she wasn't sure it was inside. That's a good line for her to use, isn't it? Hmm. Except it's like almost strictly like he wasn't because it was a civil thing, right? He finger banged her. But he didn't. She wasn't sure if his little penis was inside or not. His little mushroom. You think so? Interesting. I do. I think she, she said funny. something that I made it worse. You think Trump she has said a something like that? Micro penis. Micro penis is a stretch. But she did say she wasn't sure his penis was inside her, and that's why she didn't get the rape thing. I think. Interesting. You know, when when they say things like this about Biden, I'm like, come on, that's uh, that's obvious. I, yeah. I bet Biden has a man sized penis, and I'm, I'm saying, I'm sure <laughs> <laughs> like, you never convinced me that Biden had a micro dick because some some lady who hates him said. It. <laughs> yeah, exactly. She had eleven uh, witnesses. Now they weren't there, a, but this the is penis? like the amount, the people that no, this is the. <laughs> she had eleven people she called to the stand that all said, "Yeah, she's told me about it. She talked about it the years. This is like a known thing. Everyone in her circle knows this has happened." And then there's Trump who didn't even show. That's why she, he lost. It's not even a he said she said. It's eleven people said, and Trump remained silent. And so he's gonna what fight it somewhere else? He's well, gonna to appeal be fair, it. Eleven people mm-hmm. said that she told them this. I'm one of those yeah. people now because I because I listened. Now when I. <laughs> All You're they have really is the benefit like, of time. We'll see. Trump is like, I've never met this woman. They're photographed together. Of course he met her. Of course. He's not what he says. Yeah, he's lying, Woody. Yes. Yeah. I know. He's not a good lie. That's what, they, that's what you do. He lost in court. <laughs> he was found civilly liable, Woody. Come mm-hmm. on. Don't defame No, not Woody. according to Woody. <laughs> $5 million, convicted rapist. Again, that's not what. what, not, what no, not yeah, you say tomato, is. I say tomato. I'm going to keep saying it. I'm liable for that. He is litigious. Man, he he is litigious. He loves <laughs> he loves lawyers. Now I just uh, excuse us. That'd be so so <laughs> low ball. Podcasts would explode. <laughs> I don't care how big Trump's dick is, but I think whenever they start lowering them, when they're like, oh look at his little. You don't remember hand. the CNN clips of like bringing people on to be like, tonight we're going to talk about Trump's penis shape because we're the news. Yeah. Like, I don't yeah, remember that. that. that you don't remember so that? Weird. They literally had Stormy Dan on. Like, like I saw that's hilarious. About, like, you would stuff. love it if it was on the blue guy. You're being biased now. You guys are like, Maybe. I just want somebody funny. And they're on CNN talking about this guy's tiny dick and his tiny hands. And now we got multiple women saying his tiny dick. You would be running with this thinking it's the greatest it, thing. Instead, you're like, ah, they're kind of like not giving res- respect to the pro to the because office. I know what they do. No. And I and I see that it's orchestrated. You can see yeah, strings being pulled in multiple media outlets like parroting things. Thank you. Yes. You, I you admit can see my that bias that when I have a hard time seeing through it. You guys are like, I just want a funny person to get elected because Trump is hilarious. But when they talk about his tiny dick, it's not funny. I, I don't think, I think we tiny said, dicks tiny dicks can be funny if we made can it. Absolutely funny. be funny. But but I just think but not when it's you, my you're, guy. You're like that lady said he had a little dick, Kyle. Can you believe it? I'm like, yeah, I mean she Dude, seems like she hilarious. really despises it into him. the small hands. But you I know he doesn't have is, small hands. He does yeah. have small hands. 
Okay. Well, I, I'm glad that I'm glad you're taking the high road on this one. No, yes. no, I am not. I can't stand for it. <laughs> he he triggers you so hard. <laughs> like you, and you I wish cannot you guys help too, yourself, but you can't see it either. Like like you will defend almost anything he does. You'll say his tiny dick isn't funny, but it totally is. And, we and we it's make just fun because of you've Trump. Got the red side. We make fun of Trump fucking constantly. And we I, mock him. We make fun of him. I'd say we make fun of Trump a lot more than you make fun of the blue team. If we're if we're I doing don't little, think that's little fair. I, I like, I'll laugh at Biden when he gets it wrong. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah I I think that it's Biden it's pretty... does have less to joke about than Trump does, and not because he's bad. I'm not saying like. I mean, I've seen Hunter's right. penis, so I I know how big it is. Have you? It was how was? No, it? of course not. I'm making a point that uh, we don't talk pixelated. about penises because we don't care. <laughs> <laughs> we have pictures of your guy's dick. We don't care. <laughs> we don't care if it's big or small or cut or not. I hope we it is big. Know. Good for I him. Look at more it. about it's, it's well, let's do that. He's into I, the Israelis. <laughs> I didn't sit there and defend Hunter's dick. I asked about it. I was rolling with it. What I'm saying See, is, touche. Like, I think especially like I don't care how big Trump's dick is, but I bet it's a normal like human sized penis. If I had to no, I care deeply. <laughs> <laughs> Odds are but, like, it's average. Sure, it's true. Like, like I think pants. that. Um, I think that that's her way of not perjuring herself um, when she says that. And at the same time, taking a swipe because the maybe I don't understand sex. Maybe I've never done it, but I that's think we all possible. know when it's in like, like, yeah, like, like, like we all know when it's in. Right. Like, yeah, you can tell. I can tell. It, well, it hurts. First of all, can there's a lot tell? of there's a burning <laughs> feeling. You know? and, and it all circles back. Yeah, to I wake up time. right away. <laughs> I come to. <laughs> um, you know, like like I think it, I think she probably I believe that that lady was sexually assaulted by Trump. I I think he's a bad guy. Um, but I don't think he raped her. I don't think he stuck his dick in her. He might have tried to. But I don't Actually, think he failed because of tiny penis. Do you see how close to the edge I'm willing to walk with you? Yeah, yeah. I think that the idea of her saying it's a tiny too. penis is a silly jab and not and not funny. I'll admit to you, he has sexually assaulted her. I bet he did it a lot. I bet, I bet he sexually assaulted polls, dozens the, of women. It's going to hurt him women's, in the election. Women's? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Women's up and down the coast. You're talking about him like monies. He monies. was reported to... Uh, a couple of his chiefs of staff, but I'm trying to remember which one. Uh, repeatedly, for um, sexual harassment while he was president. Interesting. I buy Can't that. Be doing that, I guess. Uh, maybe, maybe there was a uh, you know, um, you know, he sexually harassed them. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But uh, I, I believe this it. kind I of stuff it. will kill him in the general, and he'll have voters who just toss all of it aside and say, I like him no matter what. Yeah. Because he's got that. He's got that charm. But uh, he's not going to win in the general. I think it's impossible to know right now. I think that if I, I think I would lean a little bit more toward the left, uh, toward Biden, like maybe Mm -hmm. 55, 45, uh, if I had to do it all over today. But man, you know how the political landscape changes in, in, in three to six months. A year from now, which is what we're talking about, right? Roughly, I'm not even when sure the campaign will be alive. Up. There you go. I yeah, don't know. Both if, already over. I don't know how with it Biden is still going to be, and and I don't mean that. I'm not even poking fun at the mm-hmm. like crazy old man stuff. It's like every day when you're in your 70s matters. Uh, you're you're always creeping toward possible dementia or some sort mm. of what aphasia or whatever the fuck. So who knows? Um, that and also who knows where the political landscape is? What if gasoline is eight dollars a gallon? Going into like 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 this time next mm-hmm. year, like heading into like the summer vacation months, it's it's five ninety nine, and they're like it's gonna hit ten dollars. It's gonna hit ten dollars in July, and Trump's over there like drill, 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 baby, and uh, Biden's over there talking about owls that we don't even know what they look like. You know, mm-hmm. that's a good one. Right. Um, yeah. There's a lot of time. another one in my war. Head. Oh, banks you know, failing. The like, I feel like the banks failing hasn't gotten the press that. I would have expected it to. I mean, we're adjacent to 2008, and uh, <clears throat> you know, I don't know. A few more drop, and we got a really big thing going on. Here's one. What if uh, what if Biden wheels Fauci out around September, October, and it's time to go back inside, mask up? <laughs> oh, imagine time that. to go back inside. And I Trump's think he's more politically saying, clever than that. And and Trump's smart enough to be out there. I have the vax. 
you don't have to get the vax to be an American though and to live and and like he starts quoting the Declaration of Independence or some shit. The Constitution, mm-hmm. <laughs> life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That's how I, that's what I read here. They, I don't see anybody anything about a mask or and he's flipping through that. If Biden true. dies, I don't even know who the Democrats run. Oh, You'd think Kamala, Kamala was. It. Oh, oh, I love that. Run Hunter. <laughs> no, like Hunter. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Hunter might get the Molotov cocktail vote, right? Like there are a handful of people who just want to blow up Washington. Hunter. They the would man. file those criminal charges on him, and then he couldn't get in because he's a, he'd be a felon. Because they they could file charges if they wanted to. That's kind of no, scary. That, see, that's that's the problem with fucking with Trump in the courts now. You have let him get in there. And his Justice Department wants to file charges on Hunter Biden. And now it becomes, I don't know much about legalese, but mm-hmm. now that his laptop is now like subject to a criminal matter, I bet that opens up other, other avenues. And now you can subpoena lots of other people. And then now those people have to come in under oath and they can be questioned about all sorts of tangential uh, issues. So, yeah, we're talking about the laptop today. But also, sir, do you know Ambassador Grevich? <laughs> He's like, uh, nah, I don't know. Uh, Alexi, nah, I don't know him. And like, well, he, let's bring up exhibit A. Like, things can get nasty. You, they don't want that. That's why they should mm-hmm. be leaving him alone. They should leave him alone. You shouldn't prosecute presidents because we, we change every four fucking years. We change every four fucking years. It's not yeah. like we got a monarchy here and you can just shit on somebody and lop heads off. Usually, eight, power in the four idea years. still stands. They, uh, yeah, we'll see. If Trump gets if Trump does win, I bet he he's kind of known for his retaliation. Petty, petty, petty. petty. Mm. Small, small, small minded and petty. The, the whole presidency is about that, that that dinner with Obama. I choose to believe that. That I was it. right. Publicly humiliate me. All right. Now now you full effort Trump. <laughs> like, like I was just gonna eat KFC and play, and be a <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna but, eat KFC to death in my gold bathroom. <laughs> but instead yeah. now I'm gonna become president. I don't know. Don't I, motivate yeah. your enemies. It, uh, it, that's what you could learn about Trump. Like piece of shit that he is. You don't want him to be your enemy motivated, right? Doesn't go well. Yeah. Uh, I don't know who's gonna win. I like I said, I would I would I would go with Biden right now, but a lot can change in a year. And Trump's in the lead right now. Biden Trump has to so go down and Biden has it. to go up for, 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 for this all to come to fruition. So we'll see. We'll see. Last time Biden won by sitting in a basement on Zoom calls, raising money, and Trump going out there and embarrassing himself. It felt we'll fizz, like see a fizzle. if that replays. Do you I remember as we were getting toward election day last time, it really felt like everything fizzled out. It was almost like Biden, and I'm not saying this happened, but it felt like all of the media was like, let's not let's just not talk about the election at all. Let's just let it happen. Let's not let mm-hmm. anybody be passionate about this. Let's. Uh, it just felt like there was no real coverage. Maybe I was busy at the time uh, with a lot of stuff, and I, I didn't notice it, but it felt like the coverage was way down. It wasn't this big crazy thing like the previous cycle had been when Trump did win and beat Hillary. It just seemed like nobody cared that much, and Trump wasn't out there waving the flag as much as he it seemed like he should. And like you said, Biden just bunkered up and won. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I uh, I, I don't I just, know. I, how it's going to be how fun could to they watch run them. Biden again. He's so fucking old. He's he killed so it at the White House old. correspondence dinner. And my question is, how often can you get? How often can you deliver that version of Biden? How many, how many fucking uppers do they have? Like all this, of them. This yeah. guy, They're not good yeah, for your they, heart they though. All of them. Both it's of them take up your heart. I thought about the uppers. I, I hope they're not. They 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 are legitimately very. Are bad they your heart? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, with Trump, it's not a room. Like they they have the pictures of them in the drawer. Of the yeah, those are weak everything. amphetamines or whatever. They're those cold okay. medicine shit th- things. Like, like mm-hmm. it's not good for him. It can't be. But especially as mm-hmm. overweight as he is. But but uh, yeah, they might not. They may not survive again. into this yeah. thing. Who's he's not as fat as he was, but he's fat. Because you know it won't be Pence. He'll have somebody else. I bet he picks a lady. Ooh. Oh, God, please not Marjorie Taylor Greene. Oh, I that think, would be um, so awful. He's going to pick like a neocon oh, so like awful. establishment person to try and win over, like Nikki Haley, to try and win over those people. I'd love Nikki Haley. Why? I don't know. I think she looks good in pants. Hmm. I think that's a, that's a great way to have to, just about <laughs> female politicians not give a fuck yeah. at all about She's what they're about. She's a vice president. 
Dude, yes, AOC, I, huge fan. No idea what she's all about. <laughs> no my big, clue, my favorite big fox. booty Latina. Yeah. yeah. I'm that? voting for those tits. Like <laughs> MTG was like one of the leading candidates to be his vice president until recently. And I forget what happened, but like he wanted apart. her. He's being advised against it. It was the she news seems on like the a internet. Fucking idiot. She did she or said like something that ruined it. I forget what it was. Oh, but. you've been following the Bud Light shit or the Budweiser shit, I guess we should say. I think so. Yeah. Apparently, it actually has like had a tremendous effect, and they're just not selling a lot of it. Although, I heard 17%, effect, which matters. Yeah, yeah diminishing that hey, effect, I saw, of like, course, is the 26. people who don't, who don't know how many beers Anheuser-Busch owns. You know, yeah, like, they like, own mm-hmm. a whole lot. Their sales are struggling from it now, but, I mean, it's the largest brewery on the planet, and so it's like... Yeah, their American market share is taking a hit right now, but like globally, they're fine. Like they're the Isn't biggest the premier brand. On Earth. They're owned. Yeah, uh, Bud Light and Budweiser are their premier brands. But it's also like, imagine a really bad marketing call for Coca Cola, and it if, and it runs in the United States. Okay. Now that doesn't impact Coke sales in Japan, Zimbabwe, everywhere else. Pepsi Similar with this, it. like right, with the Kardashians. They might have. I'm not familiar with that one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah Pepsi. Or when yeah. they had that lottery and those people died. That, the, the Pepsi one wasn't mm-hmm. like nearly as unpopular as this Budweiser one. I agree. I agree. But, uh, dude, like being in St. Louis, like we are we are Budweiser's home court. Like nobody has market share here like Bud. And like in gas stations and stores, like Bud Light is marked down significantly. Other, I noticed like this was maybe a month or so ago that I was having some buddies over, so I was going to pick up some beer. And I usually like like Bud Select, Bud Light, just like basic shit like that I, I enjoy. It's fine. And I went there, and apparently, like, I kind of took this as an indicator of how bad their sales were before the data came out or how bad other competitors took it to be because Yingling, which is a Florida brewery, which is, you know, it's a better quality than a Budweiser, they were selling Yingling Light next to the Bud Light, undercutting it. And so, like, other brands were taking a little loss off the top to insert in areas where Bud has heavy market share to try and get some. And so, literally, I went to go get, like, I was just, I don't give a fuck. I was going to grab Bud Light. It's fine. And right next to the Bud Light is Yingling Light for a dollar less. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to save 15 calories a beer and a dollar. Give me the (laughs) fucking Yingling. And guess what I found out? Yingling Light is genuinely way better than Bud Light. But as soon as they move that price up. Back to Bud Light. I think that um, you're an example of a, a, a person with a fully functional uh, brain, but I bet you went to school with some bros <laughs> who, who call Bud Light the gay beer now, and that will be in their consciousness forever. Ten you- years from now, Bud, Budweiser is still going to be the gay beer. So yeah. you know what yeah. ear to get pierced, Woody? Because it was made abundantly clear to me in elementary school which one yeah. was gay <laughs> and which one wasn't. The right all right? And we took it to heart. <laughs> Here's the Here's thing. I, I, I don't know how long I expected it not to be long lasting because like Nike did. I guess the Colin Kaepernick thing with Nike. That's totally in the rearview mirror. Oh, no one gives different. a fuck about that. That's well, racism. Before, we I remember go. they were like throwing Keurigs out off their balconies and shit. I don't remember what they did wrong, but the right hated mm-hmm. them. That's totally in the rearview mirror. That's convenient coffee. You got no more under go. the bridge. Um, I had another one. I forgot. I, I can't even remember the Dixie all chicks? the like. They never came back. They had to change their that, fucking name. That is counter. They're just the yeah. chicks. <laughs> but it, it seems like the right cancels a brand every four or six months. Yeah. And then it gets ridiculous. uncanceled. It, it's fucking embarrassing how they'll be like, ah, actually, Bud Light's gay. So buy my $65 12 pack of Patriot Winter Brew. <laughs> and it's like, good God, you're just a, a grifter embarrassing loser like yeah I, I it will hit like a difference between the nike thing and the bud light thing is their core market um a bud light an average bud light drinker is like not a lib for blue the collar. Most part. like is, blue, uh, blue, is, blue, is collar, blue collar more conservative right wing leading decision. um yeah oh, it was awful. a terrible marketing decision you know why? i don't know why on earth they would do that's so I'll fucking stupid Unfor- like, but like there's a new president they have a lady for the first time ever and she wanted the brand to be more, quote unquote more inclusive yeah. so she's oh, oh, their whoa. flagship brand like you know something yeah. uh, I, yeah, I, I was insulting yeah. i phrased it so stupid i'm so sorry it sounds like you know something i didn't know i, yeah, I, I yeah, just yeah. learned yeah. that from you All right. yeah they did they did bring in like a new like advertising lady hyper progressive very common for 
uh, progressives and advertising to like shoehorn shit in. And that is very jarring to a lot of people. And, but what you're saying, Woody, I don't think that this will have like, it will fade into the rear view and the people who have already made their purchasing decision now to pivot. I don't think they're likely to come back because they're like rah, rah about it, but everyone else will forget. Everyone else will be like one summer from now. Oh, Bud Light, just basic fucking beer. Like, like all of these boycotts, it's not going to amount to much more after a couple of years. They own Budweiser. fucking 500 banners of beer. They're the biggest brewery on earth. Yeah, the problem is that I don't feel like they can't back off. They almost have to double down. They almost have they to go can, even. They should not. Go it, they almost have to go gayer with it and have like <laughs> they they need like I like dude they i hope like, they do they have to have like two trans men with like a puerto rican baby they've they've neutered walking like a dog better yet <laughs> reshape the beer can to be pee shaped <laughs> Fucking drink from the tip. Oh, I love that. <laughs> and afterward, you can sit on it. Hey, give, me give me a Bud Light. Do you want cut or uncut? Uh, give me the fucking cut. Give me the cut. But you know what? That's the last this straw. This is America. The last cut. straw. Yeah. The cut oh, can I, is where I draw the line. I'm the other way. I only drink gay beer. I want people to know I'm on the right side of history. You're an I'm Puerto Rican weak, and an all ally. the dicks are brown. Man, look, I, I promise you, they're gonna double down on that shit because they won't learn their lesson. They'll be like, "Oh, we're gonna, we're standing proud," and uh, it'll go down. On, it, they'll do something. I'm yeah. looking forward to it. I can't wait to see the commercial. By the way, anybody who drinks Bud Light, you just have awful taste. I mean, I don't like beer, but I can tell you that's bad beer. It's not that bad. It's it's, it's bad. It's, beer. it's fine. Like it's bad if, beer. If you're at a at a hockey game, if you're it's at McDonald's, a, a of beer. bar, yeah, it is literally yes. Do you think I don't, McDonald's down, is bad food? It is bad food, but sometimes it's it's what you need. Sometimes it's what you need, man. Like if I'm sitting watching a blues game at the Enterprise Center, Rolling Rock, I'm watching. I'm watching a whole. I'm watching a whole <laughs> sports fluid. game. I'm watching a whole good. sports game. Do you think that I want to sit there and drink some like heavy eight well, percent quadruple no, IPA no. bullshit, or do oh, I want oh, a nice oh. light? Low alcohol, like it's Guinness sitting. or Bud. No, get a Yingling, get a Rolling Rock, get a get a Dosaki, get a Corona, get in, get a Miller Lite. I drink, I will drink a pitcher of Miller Lite, fucking warm before I drink a cold Bud Light. Okay, the thing about the imagine. thing about Miller Lite is it's actually better than Bud Light. It has a it has a worse aftertaste, but it's it's less calories. It's fifteen it's less, less calories. It's less alcohol though, so you got to drink more of it. Oh, I thought it was the same. I think it's like five even or something, maybe four eight. It's one of those I assumed all of the the big lights were the same, like Bud if you Coors put and Miller. Any of these beers in front of me, I'd have no idea which is which. Oh, I'm I picked Bud drag. Light out of a regular lineup. versus light. Like I don't, I don't drink beer at all. <laughs> light just means less calories, so you can be like, oh, I'm not is making it, as bad of a decision. What else does it have less of? Alcohol. Mouthfeel. It's it's a it's a super light lower alcohol beer that's like meant to be drank like over the course of the day like outside or at a sporting event like while driving yeah. <laughs> on the road. just uh, just an anytime beer man <laughs> just something <laughs> just, you need to take the edge off you like, know be, you might think that 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 drinking and driving is is really frowned upon everywhere but i swear mm -hmm. like i know a guy he, he'd, he'd come around and be like oh it's such a nice rain and i saw him at the gas station I, i'll never I, it's one of my dad's kind of friends, but I, I was going into a gas station. He was coming out and he had a whole case of beer. And I was like, where, where are you going, Ronnie? He's like, oh, on a rainy day like this, I just like to ride and drink. <laughs> he was going to get in his truck on this nice, calm, rainy day because you know, nobody would be on the roads, he thought, I suppose, and just drink that 12-pack of beer while he just car caroused the county. The whole that thing is enough. just a incompetent murderer. <laughs> it's just yeah. a... Yeah, yeah, basically. Manslaughter. I, uh, and after manslaughter. hockey. So I came from New Jersey. And in New Jersey and Pennsylvania, at least in my circle, no one would drink or drive. It was like a hard, fast thing. You wouldn't drink and drive. Having an open container while drive, driving was jaw-dropping. But even if you did, like, drink, you made, like, damn sure to do that, like, less than a drink an hour thing so that you'd be legal. Mm -hmm. and stuff. That was my world in Jersey. Wow. I um, would play hockey. Guys would have like three beers after the game in a hurry and then just drive home. And yeah, you're buzzed. It, it was shocking to me. Um, so I just sort of took it to heart early on that it was a bad idea to drink and drive, and I just took it so seriously. 
that I never even attempted it. I don't think. I, I know I've driven buzzed for sure, like a time or two uh, that I shouldn't have, but I've certainly never got been like drunk driving, like like m- many many drinks or anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I always didn't think too much of that. I thought that it was just like, mm. what, you're a little bit inconvenienced here? Like, get a ride home or sleep it yeah. off or whatever. It's a very uh, stupid like, thing. To me, do. it was always like, dude, chill right here in this parking lot for three hours. Let's, let's smoke cigarettes and listen to the radio and not kill somebody, right? Like, I didn't, nuggets. Smoke cigarettes. I didn't like drinking Some very radio. much, and I was also like an athlete when I was young. And mm-hmm. uh, yeah. um, because of that, I always like, I wanted to be designated driver. And everyone else was thrilled that somebody wanted to be designated driver. So it was a win all over the place. Oh, that's good. Yeah. You were I, had, I had two friends that drunk it. Like they were drunk and driving. Mm-hmm. And uh, they were like goofing about driving in separate cars. And they crashed into each other and like kept going. And they were like dented up and they fucked up their cars. Damn. And it was just impactful for me. It was like, wow, like it's incredibly dangerous. And this is a guy who. Like has a high risk profile <laughs> and uh, they didn't ruin their cars. I wouldn't say this um, so that, you know, children could hear me because you want to set a good example. But just between us, like some people who drink every day, they can handle that shit. You know, they can drink and drive. They can drink <laughs> and shoot. They can drink and like operate heavy machinery, all sorts of shit. Like the people who actually every day are having six beers at lunchtime or 12 or whatever. Like, you know, people who heavily drink, they can mm. do it. I just believe they can. I've seen them do it. It's, I think the problem is when people don't, you know, know how to handle their alcohol like a man. Like a man. Yeah, they're not you know serial drunk You think driver. I'd, like, object to that? But one, I've seen it, too, with alcohol. Oh, when yeah. I was off-roading, there are people who drink 24 by the campfire at night. I was like, that's outrageous to me. Uh, also, I would say there's a parallel. But I could never, um, like, take an edible and drive. If mm-hmm. I take an edible, if I take half a death by gummies... I can barely put my sh- pants on. I have, to, <laughs> I have to hold something to steady myself. Yeah. Just to get my two leg, even shorts. Like, I almost need a spotter. So I shouldn't be driving. But I have friends who will, like, get you know high and fly their paragliders and shit like that. And they feel like they're better at it while high. That yeah. Not me. Um, I don't think mm. I'm a better driver high. Um, but I used to just smoke and drive all the time. Um, you know, whether that's a good thing or not. Chiz would would have my back. I promise you, y'all can message Chiz right now and just obviously he can't hear this. No, he won't respond. You can, you can message Chiz and you could say, yes, he will. He'll write a hey, book. Chiz, <laughs> you, could, you could say, <laughs> Chiz, Chiz, who's the best high driver you've ever experienced? Just you could just say that, or you could just mm-hmm. say, Chiz, you ever seen anyone who's really good at driving while they're high? You could phrase it like that, and he'll tell you tales of my fucking uh uh driving skills while stoned out of my out of my mind. Uh, but I don't think what were you racing. Better. How did you do it? Like, how did... <laughs> uh, I just all sorts of feats of, of prowess. Like, like I, would, <laughs> I wouldn't speak in a loud, less speak thought a fool. <laughs> You'll have to have to ask a, a chiz about the things that I've done behind the wheel of a motor vehicle. Okay, the feats, Woody. Feats, <laughs> I don't doubt it. You, should, you, yeah, you, no, you put I off genuinely... a good driver vibe. I, I... <laughs> <laughs> there are people, who, especially with smoking. And maybe drinking too, but who are just like um, elite at it, and they can get away with more than I can. Yeah, but nobody should That's fucking true. try because the the downside is you kill a family of four who didn't deserve that shit, and all because also you can get home a little bit early. So nobody should do that shit. It's awful. Very true. Yeah, leave your bad decisions to be personal decisions, like I do. Yeah, yeah. You can fucking ride a bicycle home. Think of eating that. decisions. That should be legal. <laughs> fucking oh, you. I, if I if I was president. I would make it only legal to ride your bicycle in the bicycle lane if you were drunk. Really? That's kind of a, yeah. that's kind of a joker I don't like that. mayhem for the sake of I do. mayhem I do. policy, isn't Why it? Why do you want I bicycles do. in the... Because I, I, think, I, think, I think they'll eventually weed themselves out that way if they have, they're just uh, always... Uh, yeah, they're, they're going to be getting clipped left and right. I've talked about it on the show. I think cycling is more dangerous than it gets credit for. Everyone rips on motorcycles, but... Cyclists get hit by cars too, all the time. Yeah, and it's they're worse, driving I in think. the streets, and all, they're often asking for it. Yeah. yeah, and they're not going with the flow of traffic like a motorcycle is. Beyond rude. Can you imagine like me wandering onto a field with the ravens and the lions playing, and like I demand that their offense moves around me? 
They're doing <laughs> they're doing what that field is made for. And here I come arrogantly traipsing about demanding access to something not made for me or my vehicle. And all responsibility is on to the Ravens and the Lions to not hit me. But if you do it, I think you should dress in rainbow colored skin tight spandex at the very least, Taylor. Absolutely. Drinking Bud Light. That's, <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. That's what cyclists do. I, I, I never see them in you know, casual wear. Next time we we don't do a drinking episode ever because none of us want to do one ever again. <laughs> we'll we'll do Bud Light. Yeah. Of oh, we, have we a, should have do a high episode, <laughs> and I'll just nap. Just <laughs> It'll be a lot of Kyle ruminating on things and me trying to like uh huh uh huh, mm-hmm. <laughs> and it'll do that thing where it's like yeah I had a joke like three minutes ago and I'm still mulling over like regret for not having said it. What's I'll he talking about now? I'll abandon all pretense and bring my BPAP for the show. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no, it's, it's like you're in a hospital right. bed. <laughs> uh, Zach, will you show us a picture of Gorlock the Destroyer? No, I was watching. You know, I don't I, know I, anything about this. Is this I like a Warhammer thing? Yeah, I like to watch um, those, those silly podcasts where women say silly things. And uh, this is Gorlock the Destroyer. She they they asked her to describe herself. I think and she said she was a bad bitch, <laughs> and and she just kind of goes on about um, just just really full of herself. I, I really hope you have a picture because you got to see it. It's or it's not funny. What podcast is it? Like what? I don't know. You it's know, just I'm women sure. sitting around talking about Gorlock the the Decimator. It's the Destroyer. The Destroyer. Decimator better. Oh, there's too many people on a pod. Whoa! Yes. There she is. You found her. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's Warlock. I've seen yeah. her before. Man, this episode was so fucking. I don't. I don't, like. She's I, gonna I, I, grind I, your bones to make bread. <laughs> dude, she's like talking about like you know in high school when you just throw on any little cute little dress and just go to go to school and the the, the girls making side eyes at her and shit. The whole, whenever she says something that's like an obvious, I don't know, troll. Um, no Taylor, pun intended. Do you know this podcast. <laughs> I the assume, one we're looking at. Is it called whatever? The yeah. whatever show? Zach, can you zoom out? I think the previous picture show. Oh, okay. So um, there's what happens is this. The, every show is about the same. You have this guy who's a podcast host, and he is a professional communicator, right? Like this is what he does, and he makes his point, and he often has these stats and studies and stuff at his disposal. And then he brings on these girls. They're from OnlyFans typically. And he tells them they're making life mistakes that like, yeah, you're kind of rocking with it right now when you're 22. When you're 30, you're going to be alone. You're going to die. Get a cat. You suck. And uh, all the girls just get smashed with their long-term negative life decisions in this show. And I don't know how he finds more guests. I don't know. They agree. They're happy to come on for the the exposure. But if you had like a podcast where you just verbally and physically beat up on 50 year old ex gamers. And I watched this week after week and then I was invited. I would say, no, thank you. <laughs> right. Like, I, it, I, but you're but retired. Oh, <laughs> so, so, so what they, I bet, I don't know, but I bet they say something like we get 10 million impressions per podcast when it's chopped up. And I bet it's more than that. Mm-hmm. They, they, they give them impression numbers and they're like, these girls are all social media whores of one kind or another. Most of them, uh, maybe the majority have only fans, but all of them have Instagrams, you know, that are, that they're making money off of. So it's a huge deal for them to come on his show and maybe come off. Well, you know, Gorlock ain't picking up no fa- only fans. I don't you think know, I'm not, I'm not, she on that. Only fans? but I bet I don't fucking I know, man. She, that was I rough. Bet she does, but uh, you know, they might look like fools, but potential customers out there might see them as fantastic. Like, yeah, what you've sucked over 400 dicks and slept with a hundred guys. Like, do you realize how hard it's going to be for you to find like a good man with that track record? What men are looking for, he would say is a subservient woman with a, with low mileage. And, uh, but if you're like a sugar daddy or something and you're like, huh, I could, I could get that then maybe this is like effective advertising and they're smarter than I'm giving them credit for. I can't Perhaps. stop thinking about think that it's... woman's body shape. Yeah. <laughs> small, <laughs> tits. Was... Yes, small tits. Did you notice that? that? That I did notice that. That's tragic. Yeah. That, that grease is gold tooth looking bitch. 
Yeah, oh, that's such a good reference. <laughs> if, if Zach could show us Grease's gold tooth, that'll get a real laugh out of everybody, I promise. Um, but, but it's, uh, oh my goodness. Look how big, see, like, look at her body shape there. She's like, oh my God, oh my God, I just found it. That's Danny DeVito. She's shaped like Danny DeVito. She, she is. is. Now, oh, Neil, I'm going to go know, back to an argument I made three hours ago. I think yeah. if you push that woman over, she doesn't get hurt. She just rolls. Yeah, she rolls. She's young and spry. Mm. Yeah, I don't think she could. And and I hate to be a hater. Boogie. Like like, never mind. I'm not going to give her a hard time. Oh oh. If I that mean, and if it gave you pause, it no, there's <laughs> Grease's go tooth. <laughs> he rides around in a wagon because he's immobile, and he's in his left hand. You'll notice that's a big uh, a big hunk of meat. It's a big leg of no, something. Oh, nice. Probably a lamb. He often he says two he's weapons. too rich to walk because he makes <laughs> everybody else carry him. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Too rich to walk. You have to be like a Saudi to be that rich in the real world. Remember that one guy who was, uh, he got to about 800 pounds in Saudi Arabia. This was about mm. 20 years ago. He's not alive. And they had to, uh, <laughs> I'm shocked. They, they, had to, they had to, they had to cut the side of his house out and get a oh, crane. That guy. And then he was kind of like waving on the back of a flatbed. Like he was, yeah. You know, the sole member of a parade. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just throwing candy. They're the guys throwing candy at him, though. <laughs> what gets lost in that is um, the pooping. Uh, like, how does that oh, happen? It gets lost, all right. If, if you're immobile like that, are you just pooping in place? And is your you, bottom? You have to be. Like, you he couldn't nurse. move. And I think, I know with, I think Boogie maybe told us, somebody obese that we talked to has told us, or I've heard it at least, that they talk about like having a long, swiffer like squeegee attachment like 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 a like a big stick with a whole bunch of sponges duct taped to the other end and, yeah and, and, and a bucket now zach can you pull up a fat person ass wiping device so we can take a look because you're right <laughs> we have talked about this i don't remember if it was boogie bonus points it. if you show us a korean woman i have a motorcycle <laughs> <friend>. <laughs> remember that 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 air uh there was the story of like the the guy who forced the airline lady to wipe his ass and he was oh yeah <laughs> Yeah, and then he was like look, coming. I, oh. It looks like it's a uh, um. What is the wet toilet paper called? Just wet wipes. Wet wipes. Thank you. I lost it for a second. It looks like wet wipes. I don't see how that would work. I need a sponge. I need something with a little. I think it's go. It. It's like a belt loop. I bet in there. I bet it's like going in and then coming out like a fish hook. That like. That, that <laughs> then how do you get the shit off? No, you know um, what I bet it is. I bet that little. It. I bet that plunger on the end is holding the TP in there with like some pinch. And so you're supposed to wipe your ass and then hit the plunger and it's supposed to drop it. I bet. Don't hit it twice though. Or it'll pinch your asshole. <laughs> yeah, I have, just... a, I was starting to say, I have a motorcycle friend. Dangerous. This happened uh, in depressing. the spring or something. Uh, he broke both his arms. And so he was in casts that held them like this. Yeah. I was too polite to ask him how he handled pooping. I shit in the hot tub. If it was me. Make somebody else clean that up. Like, yeah, I should not. You're just now. getting out. It's, <laughs> you're it's like shitting into the hot weeks. tub, and you're like, oh, it's all bubbling immediately <laughs> all over you. I just, uh, I'm just using the jet. Uh, I shit in the hot tub, clean. and I'm covered in it. It's just, <laughs> I, yeah, I go inside. Who did shower this? <laughs> you, you Again. Like, like you're, you're still drying off, and you're like, Who did this, this is disgusting. <laughs> Who did this? <laughs> But you're clearly the only one that was in there, and it's a hotel. <laughs> oh, goddamn Marriott <laughs> slipping, <laughs> dude! If you uh, to shit in a hot tub, that that's got to be one of the most awful things. I jizzed in one one time and ruined the filter or something, or caused some problems with it or something. Um, but uh, but but to shit in one, that is truly repugnant. It is, but like you wouldn't even be shitting. You'd be leaning your ass over the side of it. No, 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 no. I'd shit right. I'd get my ass over, like, like, so that the, the jet is sort of shooting perpendicular to my asshole, like sort of clipping it. And uh, and then I just let her fly. And I figure it, you know, I'd hop out immediately, right? Because it, but the, the pressure is going to keep me clean, though. Of course. Yeah. One of, one and, of then, my friends... and then, you know, you have the lady uh, the, the, that cleans the, the rest of the house come out with one of those skimmers. She just skims it all out. <laughs> just skims yeah. it like it's a stir fry that gets yeah, skims off. it all out. You tell, oh, oh, the dog got in there again, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. You know, Gross. Leave you though. I'm excited to watch that show from. I yes. really do. I really want right. something interesting. I mean, you know how get lost season two on Plex. Just you know, oh. dropping hints. Oh okay. God, I gotta send that guy my my fucking email sometimes. Oh, so I stop. dude. It, it 
kills me because Kyle will talk about like five cool movies from 1997. And then I look at like what's been added and it's all five, like in order that we talked about them on the show. He's on everything. He's I, I'm sure from will show. Yeah. Well, um, I, I do recommend this show. I, I like it a bunch. I don't think it's like a fucking triple A title or anything, mm. uh, but it's better than just a background noise show because they've paid a lot of attention to detail. To I'm nitpicky. I'll believe in wizards and aliens and ghouls and shit as long as you establish some rules and you stick to them. And as long as you don't leave glaring p- plot holes. Like I said, there was a part where a child gets hurt and he heals too quickly. And no, nothing is said of it for a while. And I was mm. like, the fuck, dude? That was a serious injury that kid took. And then somebody's like, man, you're, you're healing kind of fast, huh, buddy? And he's like, I think people heal different here. And it's like, all right, that's all I fucking needed. That's all I needed. Tell me people heal, di- heal, heal differently here, mm-hmm. and I can buy that his leg's cool now and that he didn't die just now. Holy shit. Because yeah. he should have. If there's an be. aspect of magic, it's easy to, you know. Well, see, um, part of the fun of the show, and I still don't know, so I, there's nothing for me to spoil, but it's like, man, are they dead? Is this like a sci-fi type thing? Is this another universe that they fell into? Is this a religious type thing? Are those demons after them? Is God on their side? Is there an overseer like like watching through a glass uh, like hologram? Like you don't know like what the fucking deal is. How long is how many episodes are in the first season? Like 10 episodes, like 45, 50 minutes each. You tore through and nine hours of this show yesterday? I started watching le- yesterday at like I don't know, 8 p.m. or something. And I stayed up like all night watching the show. And then I got up today and polished off another four or five episodes or something. Wow. All right. Well, if it was that in- engaging, <laughs> I, I, I'm so tired of only finding stuff that like I watch for 20 minutes and I'm like, oh, yeah, this is like this should be squarely in background noise. Like this isn't even worth paying. They about. haven't annoyed me yet. They haven't annoyed me. And it's, it's, it's easy to annoy me and lose my business as a viewer for whatever value that has. I, I, there's a Star Trek YouTuber I loved. He referred to America as a death cult the other day. <laughs> I was like, fuck you. <laughs> Did he call us the great Satan? <laughs> yeah, he called us a fucking I, death cult. And then it's a gun thing, else. right? The yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, he said I, something else that I also didn't like. I can't remember what it was, but it was also anti-gun like... gun people are calling the Second Amendment a death cult or suicide ooh. cult or something. Yeah. Well, they better hope I don't think of this, start thinking about their <laughs> freedom of speech as a speech cult or anything. I'm with you. I'm I'm pro gun. And and yep. guns are great. I recognize that probably lots of guns lead to more gun shootings. Not it's why. I'm not yeah. gonna deny that. I'm not gonna be some like crazy guy who's like, you know what? It's really not about guns at all. No, no, no. Lots of guns it's all around. About guns. Lots of guns around make shootings more common. But yeah, lots of cars do make, make lots of car crashes too. Like nobody, nobody's talking about stricter vehicle registration after that dude plowed into all those people last week. We, yeah, one of them's a hot button political issue, the other one's not. Nobody's fucking with the NSTCA or fucking Ford Motor Company. What's the um, NSTCA? The National Nation. Highway Traffic Safety Association. Did I get that right? I think you did. I'll go with it. Something like that. I used to quote that real, real fast to people to trick them into buying cars. Oh, the NSTCA says this, and then this traffic. They do the traffic ratings, the like mm-hmm. thirty-five mile per hour impacts and shit from the side and stuff. Like that, that's where that's his ratings come the from. The trick. What kind of fucking rubes falling off an apple cart were you selling cars to that you could quickly say the National Highway Safety and Traffic Administration? Well, I could. And they're I, like, well, I'm, hell, this gentleman knows automobiles. I know acronyms and I know like like all sorts of lies that I could tell. That, <laughs> and you wouldn't be able to call me on them, or I'd make you like a fool in front of you. I wife. know just as many lies. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, those uh, those fan belts are made out of uh, Kevlar, Kevlar, like a bulletproof vest. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, no, they're not. Actually, I installed the, that belt last week, sir. I know for mm-hmm. a fact it is. What is he going to do? Test it? <laughs> Shoot it. <laughs> you to test You'll see. Shit? Um, you want to test this Volvo fan belt? You're going to get a car today, sir. What's it going to be? You know, I don't know if it's still it. the case, but those highway safety ratings were bad. They were poorly done. Maybe I, I, must, I had the suspicion Taylor knows about this too, but what they do is they'd crash the car into a wall and see how the car fares. The problem is... like. That really only matters if you're crashing into a wall. If you do something like a smart car and crash into the wall, it might be okay. But if a smart car and an F-150 hit each other, Mm -hmm. a smart car does far worse than it would with a wall. It gets pushed backwards. And the 
collision like things. They, they don't take account for that. The safety ratings. Huh. You know what I love? They yeah. don't test for women's bodies, only for men. I'm fine. Yeah. With that. yeah. I love that. Yeah. You know, as it should be. Mm-hmm. Because what it the fuck sense. is she doing behind the wheel of a motor vehicle? <laughs> I hope your brother gave permit. A woman's ovaries were never meant to travel over 30 miles an hour for any extended period of time. A woman's ovaries. <laughs> they used to think your cervix would just fall right out of you if you got above 30. Get behind 40. the wheel. Get out from behind the wheel of that automobile and get to your doctor for a, a fingering. <laughs> you, you, you're losing your mind and you must come go to your doctor <laughs> let him vibrating come. seats for when women first start driving yeah to be, in a doctor in 19, to be a doctor in 19 to be a doctor in like 1878 it's like ma'am you're terminally horny i've got to take care of this for you <laughs> you know i need I, a bit of they're coal powered little steam vibrators mm-hmm. I, I saw this Great thing colors. about how women weren't getting good medical care that they basically treated them like men with a hormonal deficiency Mm-hmm. And I thought, and I don't know, I still don't know if I'm wrong. I'm like, isn't that like mostly right? I mean, unless we're talking about reproductive organs or something like that. But if you're operating on a woman's trachea, isn't she basically a man with a different hormonal balance? If it's you're operating on a woman's either. broken ankle, like, do we need to treat them so differently than men? What's the big difference? Yeah. Like, physiolog- I think they were talking more about like female care specifically being neglected right i agree with you i think ankles are ankles but the, now the thing i was talking about really what they hyper focused on was that like women will say they're in pain uh, and they're like not treating their pain as seriously because women might be more apt to say owie owie this hurts mm, um that's mm. actually not true in my family like like jackie for example is very good with needles and pain in general so yeah, but, she's learned <laughs> i feel like in like I don't know, actually. It, it, I, I heard redheads feel more pain. It's true. Yeah, I don't know about that. I've always been interested by that because it's like, other than just, other than anesthesia being different, what else is? Because like that is a thing that redheads need more anesthesia. I've heard that. Yeah, and like, apparently that's oh, semi. Is it because anesthesia is less effective on them, or because their pain tolerance is? See, lower? that's that's what. Thank you for articulating what I failed to. Like that's my question as well. Yeah. Mm. And um, potheads need more anesthesia. Absolutely, we do. Load me I, up. I probably need a fuck ton at this point. <laughs> just about to tickle. All, this, all this legal weed. Give oh, me is milk. Is, an bobby. Or... is pothead an insult? Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a derogatory, so. but I don't mind. It, you know, uh, I, you can call me a, a, a ninja if you want. It doesn't bother me a bit. It's kind of like that. Uh, it's like, like we're friends, so you can call me a, a, a pothead, but like you wouldn't want to be like, yo, potheads. Like they beat you, up, you know how they are. <laughs> <laughs> They're a violent group. You know, they don't, they potheads kindly. are not a violent if, group at all. If you're on their turf, oh, yeah. especially, I've heard. You know, mm-hmm. they, they say, get out of here. You, you let, That's all yeah. they say. <laughs> That's all they say. <laughs> That's all I was they looking say. for like a counter thing. Like, That's like, it. That's all we got. Get out of here, clean urinator. Get out of yeah. here. Hey. Piss all. I'm sorry. Like that's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a marijuana enthusiast. Although I, I haven't had mar- actual marijuana, and in, in, I don't even know how long, because I'm just enjoying these death by gummy vape cartridges that it's just like get you stuff. all just get you zooted. I'm sure. Kyle send you to this, scary lands. But it cracks me up that that this is true. On Reddit, there is a subreddit called Trees for reasons I don't understand. Marijuana enthusiasts call their plant a tree. Maybe maybe it is. I don't know. Um. But that left tree enthusiasts without a subreddit. So, like woodworkers and stuff have a subreddit called marijuana enthusiasts. And if yeah. you have like a two by four that's been cross cut, you can post it on there and be like, is this a Douglas fir or a pine? And the marijuana enthusiasts are actually tree experts and they'll do that. And the tree experts are actually marijuana enthusiasts and they'll send each other the correct subreddit because yeah. it's the opposite of what you'd expect. That's funny. A couple examples of that, I think. There's something one of the political ones is like um anime titties, I think is the is is the really good political subreddit where they don't allow any what? biased bullshit. Hmm. If they try to keep it a secret, go to anime titties. It's a great political subreddit, not even kidding. <laughs> not sure how to spell anime. anime. Like T I N I M E T T I T T I E S. I think it's just anime titties. I could be wrong about that. Um I don't I don't go there because I'm I'm looking I go to our conservative where they mean business. That's where the memory takes place. Because you know the other subreddits all got banned. You know, all the uh, Donald subreddits. It seems like there's a couple of them, but they don't. 
I don't con. Okay, I totally for fell for Kyle's thing, hook, line, and sinker. These are all anime titties. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> know what? It's just girl after is it, girl with titties. You know what I'm remembering <laughs> now? <laughs> what I'm remembering now, and, 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 and if I'm wrong about this, I'm sorry, but I think what happened was anime titties for the longest time was exactly what I just described, and then recently they're like, it's not going to work anymore. We're going to anime titties. And they just oh. actually started doing anime titties. I, what I think worth, I read something about that. Uh, Zach showed that it was banned, but I spelled it T I T T I E S. I think not, that's the correct way. You want yeah. that I E S? Yep. That is. Yeah. Uh, you want the I E S if you want to see anime. I wonder if I wonder if you spell it with a D. If, the, if this there's one's actual having titties. sex, and she's a cheerleader. <laughs> okay. How old does she look? Aren't they cartoons? Don't answer 18, that. Jesus Christ! A, she's not a child. <laughs> Fifty at least. She's not a child. Five thousand in fairy years. <laughs> None of these are fairy years. underage looking girls that I, I'm scanning. Yeah, yeah, I got to stay away from that. Every right. now and then, YouTube Shorts will be like, "Here's two twelve year old girls lip syncing to a fucking song," and I'm like, "No, no, no, no." no. Why are Won't you send, you send me, me people singing annoying songs in my list? No, but I need to know, find people fighting. That's not how 12-year-old girls sing songs, though. They don't sit there. They, they fucking put on, like, sexy clothes and dance. That's what girls do on, 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 on the internet, Taylor. All of them. That's what they all do. Well, then they yes. then their parents should probably be aware you've, of this. You've never been on TikTok and seen the girls who, like, well, every human being on TikTok who sings along, to, lip syncs to a song and then shakes their ass and makes a I career see. out of doing that somehow? I see. Well, I don't know how you could do it on TikTok based on what people said with the money. But I, 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 think, don't, I, I think that they they like show they show you most of the the ass, and then they send you over to their OnlyFans where you get to see the rest. I think uh, that's how you monetize that. That's how you grab them. That's how you entice mm. them. Business one hundred and one. Uh, there's that famous photo of like the OnlyFans model and this ogre like human being that's with her, and mm -hmm. she's like, "My best OnlyFans fan he paid ten thousand dollars to have a special hangout together." TT, and they're like. But but then the, the commenters are like, wait a minute, dude. They're in a hotel room. She doesn't have her shoes on and the bed is messy. Dude paid 10 grand to fuck her. And then like months later, I guess he saved up another 10 grand. And it's them again on another vacation. Dude has lost significant amount of weight and like got a haircut All and a right. shave. He's like slowly, but I want to see that third date. <laughs> <laughs> the $30,000 date. <laughs> Yeah, right. Like, like you could tell, like he's made his life's mission to to get with this. And you know, she's the only fans model. She's super hot. Whatever. Not like they all are or anything, but that one. He must be rich. Or, uh, or I think, I think he's saving up. You know, ten k at a time and kind of living on rice and beans until he can get his hands back on that that internet model. Damn, that's pretty pretty rough. Good for her though, man. I bet that's the life, right? Yeah. 10 grand well uh, based on what you just said having sex yeah, with maybe not a big fat dude what, you, all right all right let's switch places right big big sweaty dirty girl wants to take you for a ride cowboy and uh, she's gonna put you away wet one way or another and it's ten thousand dollars <laughs> a night and she's gonna get her time right you gotta sleep in that bed with her and it's gonna stink and she did not pull the correct move and get two queens one fucking twin there and there it is air conditioning's not working she's just <laughs> grinding grinding into you and her pubic hair is just a little bit too long so it's like sandpaper How about and you shaved your more? dicks and her, <laughs> her 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 acidic vag vaginal juices are like burning the root of your dick root where you shaved and you just want it to end but it won't it won't because she's just she got that desensitizer Kyle, stuff, are you having it all a over. ptsd moment right now <laughs> ah, just, just have a little fun. he's just <laughs> riffing <laughs> like, this, is, uh, <laughs> this isn't a memory <laughs> at all no i mean she doesn't even pay you <laughs> she doesn't even pay you and then you find out that it was ten thousand doll hairs <laughs> <laughs> those were fish bucks apparently because they're not real <laughs> yeah yeah, that'd be a little different. You'd be okay with that, though. Like, like I don't know if you're bringing ten thousand yeah. home a night, like you could suffer through a big old nasty sexual experience. Oh, ten thousand dollars, absolutely. 100%. I mean, I've been with some women, and and like halfway through it, been like, God, I want this to be over with, and just you know, you just go to your happy place. Yeah, and you didn't even get ten grand. You were out two hundred bucks. I didn't get anything. Well, you guys want to call it a show? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. real quick, Hurricanes won. Next round, go Canes. Go Canes. Hurricanes in five. Told you. PKA is 647.